Oh, oh, did you feel that lovely cool air then? Like a gust <gasps> of cold air. Yes. We both Claire and I went, oh, it's hot in here, isn't it? Yes. Do you reckon? Was, do you reckon? I've got a big cardigan on. Oh, okay. I was just thinking it was my age. Oh, yeah, that as well. <laughs> that, no. Yeah, together. No. Together. Getting on a bit now. No. Getting on a bit. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> you, Michael. Michael Wolf's in the studio. Yay! Yay! You're right, Michael. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank are you, you feeling the love? I am. I'm so mushy this... at the moment. I know. <laughs> a bit, a bit <laughs> mushy. Yeah, I feel all mushy. Oh, bless you. Bless you, oh. bless you. Um, I didn't get the heart memo, so I do apologise. I totally forgot. <laughs> totally forgot that, that we celebrate the day before Valentine's Day now. Yes, absolutely, yes. There's that much love. <laughs> there is that much love. Yeah. Um, and speaking of love, I did drop you a message, gorgeous Claire. Oh, oh, Can did. we just say how amazing, how amazing was the collection on Saturday? Oh, thank you, thank you, and thanks. Thank. I, I read the messages, and they were so, they were so lovely. It made me cry all over again. Oh, you were crying all the way through the I show as well. I sobbed through the whole thing. Yes, but that's just. Thank you so it's much, very, and, and, and thanks for bearing with me as well. <laughs> it's very, very overwhelming, isn't it? Um, it was really overwhelming, and I was, I was very nervous. And if I get like that, then I don't sleep the night before, and that's not a good... I'm a bit like a toddler there. If I have no <laughs> sleep, it's not. I just cry. <laughs> Blessed, yeah. So, yeah, thanks, well, everybody. Thank no you. surprise at all. It was an absolutely amazing success. And then we had our gorgeous Mark's birthday yesterday yes, as well. Yes, yeah, happy birthday, Popped Mark. in with the girls yesterday, of course, Aww. completing us a bedlam. <laughs> absolute chaos. Ollie was there. He Aww. saw it all. Yeah, there's a balloon somewhere up in the rafters oh, really? that Tiggy let go. And oh, how fun. Like, it was all that, wasn't oh, it? Oh, no. Yeah. So Carol was like, that, that balloon shall forever be Tiggy's balloon, if it's Aww. still up there, that is. Um, it's still there? Yeah, there we go. She, she won't have, if I brought Tiggy in the studio right now, she'll still be looking up for it, because, Aww. yeah. Um, so it's been a lovely weekend, all in yes. all, then. yeah. And we've got a fantastic week ahead. Your Monday, I tell you what, it's such an amazing concoction of beautiful goodies. Yeah, exactly. We've got lots of lo lovely sterling silver. We've got things like... Oh, yeah. I like those. Yeah, coming up. These are coming up within this hour, I believe. Hang on, let me just double check. I should know this, shouldn't I? Uh, then, no, 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 no. I got it all wrong. They are not the early bird. They are the deal of the day. They are lovely. I know. I mean, we don't often get spools yeah. of, of chain yeah um so they're coming up as your deal of the day your early bird is oh honestly it's seriously claire you're gonna love these the oh. most oh my word beautiful parcel of tourmaline oh my gosh yeah look chrome tourmaline rubelites you've got the most amazing colors haven't you so these are coming up within this i i agree some zavarite um, yeah, Savrite coloured tourmaline. I'm not saying it's a garnet, obviously. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've, this is coming up as your early bird and you can shop ahead and pre-order right now. Right now, because remember, the eight o'clock hour is... It's a lounge hour, which means that you have these amazing deals until nine o'clock and nine o'clock only. And that is uh, obviously... Uh, um, if all the stock actually lasts. Remember when we've had parcels like this, where we've had these beautiful gem quality parcels, we've had them in Sapphire, we've had them in um, Burmese Ruby, that's right. We've had parcels of topaz, yeah. Beautiful blue topaz and colorless topaz. They always absolutely fly out because the price is so amazing. Mm. Um, and I promise you. Firstly, look how eye clean those tourmalines are, which and, tourmaline and is normally included. It's, it's a bad colour, isn't it? But also the mix of the, the different types. Yeah. I've never seen that where you get the mix of faceted and um, cabochon. Yes. That's exciting, that's wonderful. isn't it? Yeah. And for if you're, if you're a gemstone setter extraordinaire like our lovely Claire, or an aspiring one, or a collector like myself, then do make sure um, do make sure you check out nice and early because I can guarantee the most unbelievable deal. Now, at 9 o'clock today, I'm going to put a piece of paper just behind this so you can really appreciate the colour. This is Pareba. Pareba tourmaline oh, is the most expensive variety of tourmaline in the world. It is also the rarest. Um, <clears throat> you know, I was actually asked by a friend of mine recently, what gemstone should I be purchasing right now? I was like, okay, let me think. I was like, well, Mogok Ruby, definitely. I'd say definitely some of Jewelry Maker Pearls as well. Granted, you're right if you can get your hands on it. Pareba tourmaline. 
all day long. Um, the, this is Brazilian as well. Do you, I mean, to get hold of Brazilian Pareba tourmaline when it's completely mined out is a real success story. So, Incredible size, isn't it? Yeah, they're not they? small. I mean, these could easily be an 18 karat gold with your melee mm. diamonds surrounding them all day long. And it would be an astronomical price point as a finished piece of jewellery. So definitely one for the collectors and the connoisseurs there. That's coming up as well at nine o'clock. So literally at nine o'clock, we'll bring you those. Um, we've got the most amazing selection of heart gemstones, literally the best cut yeah, oh, hearts we've ever one seen. Of my favorite strands check, ever. check this out. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes. It's really lovely. The quality of this turquoise is just. It can't it doesn't get any better than what I'm holding on the back of the hand. Do you agree? It doesn't get any better than what you're seeing right now. So, yes, this is coming up in today's show. Plus, we've got a lovely selection um, of other heart-cut gemstones. Your kit, Claire. Talk to oh me about your lovely gosh, kits. Oh, my gosh, my kit. Um, just opal. The, the opals are absolutely incredible. incredible. And so what I've tried to do is, is do a mix. You know, we always say about, if you know, treat it as... A, um, a cabochon when they're that they're you know they're that good. So I've tried to do a mix of using the drill hole and oh. then some without. But look at look at the colours. So these on are them. strands. These, these are strands. Yes, these are strands. So the strands there. Um, it, I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And you get different sorts as well, like a you well, know, like quite a mystical and then just the power of some of the colors well you would assume that these were calibrated stones wouldn't you all your yes. pieces of jewelry yes. um all yeah. of claire's jewelry has actually come from this amazing bundle yeah it's not a deal of the day it's not an early bird it's not a star buy this is a steal of the day you it's know a, I, i've never had a kit like this no it is, it's um wonderful literally you get yeah. everything yes absolutely yes, everything yeah. so make sure you're ready for that and we're bringing you those um, at nine o'clock? Yes, that's nine, nine o'clock. Yes. And then your masterclass? Yes, so if we look at this one, so um, it's, it's, a, a, it's some gem setting and then working with the uh, different sorts of mounts um, so you can, you know, make your own. Uh, so there's, there's the lovely oh, bracelets wow. there and then um, you can put Love onto ring. ring shanks as well. So yeah, there's loads, loads in there. It's going to be unbelievable. It truly is. But before we go anywhere, before we say a single other Look word, Claire, let's yes. dive into the beautiful pieces created by our wonderful viewers. It's the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Starting us off this morning is Gloria. Good morning, Gloria. These are beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Love those. Yeah. Number 183, Gloria. And she says, hi, everybody. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. Um, the 8mm stunning nephrite earrings from Jewelry Maker um, are very easy to make. And I think these are so elegant. I get lots of complimentary responses when these are worn. Good luck to all entries. I've had a play with Sam's photography tips. Um, hope you like my uh, dabble, Sam. Oh, oh, I'm sure he will. He was. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, that was very talented. Show, yes, it, it was. Friday? It was. Yeah, it um, was. Number 184 is from Marilyn. Good morning, Marilyn. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely. So look at the quality of that agate as well. Um, sorry, amethyst. Um, hi, all. Please find attached my entry uh, to the Wall of Fame. A basic loop rosary link amethyst necklace and earring set using amethyst rounds. Amethyst slices and gold plated finings, all from Jewelry Maker. The amethyst pendant is from my stash. Um, this set was a Christmas gift from my mum, who, along with Jewelry Maker, is the reason why I started jewelry making around 10 years ago when I was channel hopping on the TV. I can't thank you all enough for the endless hours of pleasure I've had watching Jewelry Maker, though I don't think my ba bank balance <laughs> thanks you, lol. Sending you all a big hug, and that's from Marilyn. Marilyn, I hear you, so oh, does my bank balance as well. Yeah. That's stunning. And what yeah. Jewelry maker, Same you are, here. darling. Really, really great. Sometimes it's like, stop. Yeah, we're gorgeous. No. Sweet, You've got to weigh it up, haven't you? Mm. Jewelry making, eating. No, I'm only joking. Of course, make sure you eat. Um, Just beans. <laughs> Just baked beans. Yeah. Baked beans. Uh, 185 is from lovely Mandy. Hello, Mandy. They're, again, beautiful that's pieces stunning. of jewelry and amazing photography. And, yeah, that's fabulous. Loving that. Hi, uh, everybody. My entry to the we uh, to the wall this week is a pair of <coughs> micro kiss cross seed bead uh, drop earrings. Good luck to everybody entering the wall this week. Mandy, they are absolutely stunning, beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Number 186 is from Maggie. Good morning, Maggie. Again, pretty. I think that's some lovely. Oh, how nice. There. 
Hi all at Jewelry Maker, here's my entry to the WAF. It's a rainbow moonstone faceted nugget with sterling silver paper clip chain. All components are from Jewelry Maker. I love the contemporary look of this necklace and the blue is visible in the photo. Looks better in real life. Good luck to all this week. Yeah, I agree. Amazing quality moonstone and beautiful jewelry mm. making. Uh, number 187 is from Fran. Morning, Fran. Some lovely wire work there, Fran. Morning, all. Hopefully, this uh, the week's been sensible for you. Oh, I don't know about that. Has this week been sensible for you? No. No, I don't. No, it hasn't. Uh, and sensible's boring. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Try and be a bit rebellious, don't we? Um, this is four ruby zoocyte cabs I got from Jewelry Maker um, way back when. Um, I wrapped them in plated copper wire and uh, the case, uh, and the case of the bangle sitting on the unicorn. Uh, stone pyramid oh yes yes um, I've made a Celtic plat for the bangle after watching Sam's presentation I've been a little fancy with the background hope that's okay um, hope everyone has time to rest at least a little and time to play at least a little <laughs> amazing Fran. Oh, lovely man. Fran. beautiful absolutely amazing passing them over yes have a look here we go and I've got 188 and this is Julie Edmonds good morning oh, lovely Julie oh wow uh, I haven't made any jewellery this week apart from stretchy bracelets from my granddaughter's boyfriend and some of his friends. I'm waiting to get crimp beads and covers to finish about nine pieces of jewellery. So this week I've done some painting, I've made some pictures from pressed leaves and flowers and I'm making a Valentine card. I've attached some pictures. As you can see, I need Sam's help with my photography. Oh, I think you've done a lovely job there. Yeah. Julie. That's really, really good. But we definitely okay. need Sam back, though, don't we? That was, it was really... I love that. And can I just say, uh, your bear is absolutely beautiful. Yes, Look yeah. at him. Yeah. I've got a bear like that that was my dad's when he well, was three. Yeah. And well, yeah, yeah, well loved. Beautiful. Uh, here we go. So the next one I've got, 189, and this is Francis oh, Pankowitz. Hi, all. Uh, I found this orange agate star in my stash, and I teamed it with beads from a bundle and rose gold bead caps from the box collection. See beads <coughs> and 0.8 copper wire. I've been meaning to do this since I saw this combo used for a demo. Thanks for the inspiration. Loving That's that, and I'm glasses. loving that star. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Uh, next I've got is 190, and this is from Jim Hall. Wow. Wow. That is stunning, isn't it? Good morning, everyone. Here is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a necklace made using different shapes of hematite and different sizes of neon apatite. Best of luck to everyone in the draw. Take care. And that's from Jim. Jim, that's amazing. It is beautiful. Really Love striking that. piece. Yeah. Uh, and next we've got uh, 191, and this is lovely Sharon Drew. Oh, hi all. beautiful Sharon. She's such a lovely, lovely lady. I've met her, she's really nice. Uh, hi, uh, hi all, hope everyone is well. I received the wonderful multi-disc cutter that Claire MacDonald demoed last week and lots of lovely silver and copper sheet. After attending one of lovely Claire's brilliant soldering workshops, thank you very much, Sharon. Uh, <clears throat> I've been having a play this week and I'm quite pleased with the results. The spinner ring is made using the, the ring flare, also from JM. I hope you all have a great week. Love and best wishes, and that's from Sharon. Aww. That's gorgeous and incredible photography as well, Amazing. Sharon. Amazing. See you soon. Uh, and then I've got 192, and this is Karen Romanovsky. Hi, all at JM. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Rope sliders inspired by Hannah's recent masterclass. Using up lots of loose beads left over from strands, they were quick and easy. I loved making them. My customers loved them too. Good luck, everyone. And that's from Karen. That is stunning. And look at all the colour. And again, the photography. I was, gonna, I was about to say it's exactly so the same. Your photography skills, everybody, are absolutely amazing. They are, aren't they? So Wonderful. good. Oh, good um, luck, everybody. It's an incredible work so today. So many isn't ways. There really is good luck. The draw happens on a Wednesday, so you've still got time to send your photographs in. Now you can shop ahead during your eight o'clock hour. If you go to all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, if you click watch live just below our faces, basically, um, and then scroll down a little bit, you can see um, items coming up. You can see all the items that are available in this hour. But remember, some will be going lower, some will be already set at their prices. Um, but yes, do, uh, do have a little look at that. Now we've got competitions literally running throughout the course of the day as well. Um, I'll talk about those in a few moments, but all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, it looks something like this. Um, yeah, click watch live and look, latest deals. They are all there. Items are already selling out, like Ooh. the past of the Grand Did You Right. Um, shop ahead on your tourmalines. Look, you've got beautiful tanzanite just there. Got some lovely faceted 
pearls. Uh, Foolite, how lovely is that? Amazing parcels. Look at that fireball pearl for $29.99. Mm. Um, I would encourage shopping ahead because items do sell out very quickly in the first hour. And even then, don't just leave them loitering in your baskets. No loitering is allowed. No, definitely not. Um, if you check out, you still only pay the one post and packaging, even if you come in and shop again. Um, yeah, Olmec Jadeite just there. There's only two of those available. You've got some peach and purple freshwater pearls and a closeout deal. Ooh, yeah, well. Laramar, okay. some, honestly, some stunners. Oh, look at that. Rhodonite Sphere. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Um, so shop ahead and they will all disappear at nine o'clock though. So um, even if you've got them in your basket, they're not safe and secure until you make that confirmation. So amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, right, first competition. You're gonna have to remind me, Ollie. I looked at this and I've slept since then. All the competitions that are going on today. The boxes that are here. I have got 10 boxes, yes. Five of these boxes have a one-off discount code. So what that basically means, one customer, it'd be first come, first finger. Uh, first come, <laughs> first finger. <laughs> first come, first serve with this item code. What? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you use, you've got to check out using that one-time code, okay? Um, but it's only valid for one customer. Only valid for one customer, so you've got to be quick. When do we do, are, we, are you going to cue me, Ross? Just throughout the course of the show, we'll grab these boxes. Oh, it's like you're matching the boxes, Claire. It's isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Claire, honestly, <laughs> honestly. Um, also, we have a game called Count the Hearts. Ah. Oh. Oh, hang on a minute, though. Hang on a minute. We're not talking about the hearts on Claire's jumper. <laughs> or the balloons. <laughs> <laughs> hang on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Have an emoji, look. Have an emoji. <laughs> that wasn't one of them. Don't count this heart. Don't count this one. So that's another game that we're going to be playing each hour. Yeah, we'll do it throughout the course of the show. Um, it finishes at 12 o'clock, yeah. So count them literally throughout the course of the entire show. And then at the end of the show, I'll give you a little bit of a cue. Text in how many hearts you've seen, um, your name and your customer number. That's so, so, so important that you put. As it stands, we are on zero hearts, no hearts, because the balloons don't count, the hearts on Claire's jumper don't count, and these don't count. It's that one that we just showed okay. you. Okay. Um, all right? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Um, oh, dear me, that was quite a lot. Um, <laughs> right, should we get cracking? Shall we? Let's get uh, let's get cracking with a beautiful strand of tans tonight, shall we? Um, absolutely stunning. I was watching. Um, well, I've been watching all weekend, actually. Our lovely jewelry maker shows, and I know you've had some stunning pearl opportunities. I always think Rondell strands like this with tans tonight alongside pearls look absolutely Gosh, divine. Fast. But when when did it become a thing? When did when when was tans tonight at twenty pounds? I know. Thing? And look at that incredible colour. Yeah, exactly. It's not it's not tans white, is it? No. It's tanzanite with a beautiful intensity of vanadium. Um, it's got that most desirable sort of uh, graded quality of colour. You are, uh, I mean, at 1999, here's a gemstone that we all know. We all know the basics. We know the we call it the one generational gemstone. We know that it is likely to deplete within our lifetime as well. Um, 1999 only to get hold of this strand. But we're not stopping there. This is our Roscoe. Let's start your week with a mega deal there are only 12 though so you have to be quite quick off the mark are you feeling are you feeling quick off the mark this morning claire uh, do you know i'm not oh but i think i'll um warm up good yeah that's all right then yeah you do your warm-ups then okay get yourself all ready because yeah. it's going to be pretty fast yeah. and pacey today <clears throat> did you yeah did you celebrate did you have a few glasses of wine i had several a, a lot of wine <laughs> on saturday drink responsibly kids yes Hopefully kids are... Or maybe, no, it's half-term some places. Some it? places are half-term, yeah, absolutely. Don't drink kids. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> 12 
99 <laughs> only for beautiful quality. Look at that blue. Look at that beautiful blue. 28 carats um, of this wonderful gemstone. Yeah, I mean, what's the price of tanzanite these days? Is it is it all of a sudden more affordable? No, it's definitely not, especially of this grade. Plus, you're getting 28 carats. Hello, Lincolnshire. Hello to you, Hampshire. I can see you've got two in your basket. Um, darling, nice and early. Make sure you check out nice and early. Again, uh, you know, I was asking the question, when did tanzanite become a, th a thing mm. at 1999? Never is the answer to that question. Um, it's, I don't even know how we do it, to be truthful. Make sure you check out. There was only 12. There's a lot of you there. Um, again, yeah, check out to make sure you are successful. I've only got 20 of the next opportunity. So again, they are all limited edition. Thulite, um, named after a magical, mythical location in Norway. There we go. Hmm, where it was initially discovered. It's a beautiful, very romantic stone. I think that's very apt, given that Valentine mm -hmm. vibes um, that are going on. How lovely are these? It's a wonderful colour, isn't it? It's beautiful. It always reminds me a little bit of like, you know, if you were to mix fresh strawberries with ice cream. Mm. Again, very Valentine's vibe, isn't it? Mm. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you're up to as Valentine's Day. Are you doing anything? I'm, I think we're going to be really romantic and I'll probably have a cup of tea and be in bed. Yeah. Sounds lovely. Yeah. Just, got, just knocking up some Z's. I'll be driving around netball training. Yeah, nice. Yeah. 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 That's all good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, for this beautiful gemstone that's completely and utterly natural, be great with lots of Claire's techniques. Lots of Claire's wonderful techniques, for, for instance, the gallery wire yes, and your bezel yeah. strips. Um, oh, hello, Rachel saying, Claire, congratulations again. Wishing you both love and happiness every day. You're both beautiful inside and out. Oh, isn't that Thank lovely? Thank you so much. That's really lovely, Rachel. Thank you. You do Don't deserve it. Don't be too nice it. again now. Thank no, you. you do deserve Thank all you that. So all much. the That's congratulations. Lovely. They were stunning pieces. Thank you. No surprise Thank there. You. Thank you. Um, hello to you, Eloise. <laughs> hello, lovely, saying, uh, hi, all. Elna, it was lovely to see your two girls yesterday growing up so fast aren't they it's frightening how quickly yes. willow's like she's so tall now willow and she's not a baby anymore no she? she's she's out of her cot now this it's weekend she girl. went into a bed oh, oh we've already had the dunk oh <laughs> mummy she's fallen out of bed all the time now i know and just talks as well at two years old yeah. she was saying to me yesterday mommy this is impossible. I'm like, how do you say it? I couldn't say impossible till I was about 12. You're two. Impossible, mummy. Aww. Yeah, bless them. Thank you, Eloise. No, I hadn't brought I hadn't brought them in. That's the thing. COVID and everything. And yes, then, yeah. Yeah. So I used to bring them all the time, didn't yeah. I? Um, well done. $24.99. Hello to you all. Thank you, Eloise. Uh, Gabrielle, Denise, you're there as well. Hello to you, Dorset. Good new customers getting involved. And you're not getting a small carrot weight here. You've got a huge amount of thulite. Mm. It's, you know, it's, it, it's not a high street <coughs> gemstone. What I mean by that, mostly collectors will be, will be the owners um, of this beautiful gemstone. $6.99, Claire. Which, and if you are starting out um, with doing your uh, netting or you want to work out how um, to oh, secure capuchons, these are ideal because you see the, the, the depth of them. Yeah. So it means if you are netting. Nice and shallow. Yes, nice and shallow. So uh, that's like one strip, you know, bezel strip, or if you are netting, maybe uh, two, two to three rows of your netting so it's, it's a good it's a good start oh we had some lovely wire work on the wall of fame as well didn't yeah we? so yeah, you can take fran. some uh, take yes. some inspiration yeah. from fran on yeah. the uh, on the wall of fame have a little look back beautiful and you are getting a selection of different shapes and cuts all with this amazing quality of color we've got multi buyers good morning emma hello elaine denise dorset maker gabrielle yorkshire well done to you as well uh, make sure you do check them out we only had 20 that's not a massive quantity not a mass and i would wear that as a ring i think it's a great shape. Yeah, even nice. though it's yeah, it's, cocktail. It's, yeah, yeah, even though it's it's quite big. Yeah, I'm not no, afraid. I'm, I love I love rings. I'm like not that. afraid of large thu like you. No, I'm not. Why not? Why not? How lovely oh, is that? That's really pretty. It's like a paisley design. Loving that. Keep your messages coming in as well. We'd love to hear from you this Monday morning. I hope you're all well, um, feeling fit and healthy. Are you going to get romantic on Valentine's Day, or are you just not bother? Mm. To be honest, I'm not big into Valentine's Day. I think every day is the day of love. Yeah. I'm not big into it. Are you into it? Um, no, not really. I mean, although I did get, um, have you seen like, you know, you know, the Connect Four? Yeah. You can get, um, and it's, but it's in a heart shape. Oh. So I'm, I've, I've got that to play with Lola tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Your Willow's really worried. She, at six years old, she's like, mommy, what if I don't get a card? 
Oh, I like you should be. One. Yes, I was like, you shouldn't be worried about this. It's uh, six years old, whatever. Oh. Um, this is coming up at nine o'clock. I have to show you. Honestly, it comes boxed. Absolutely beautiful. I have got the right one here, Ross, haven't I? Oh my goodness me, Ross. Oh. Oh my goodness me. I'm not going to tease you any longer. You have one of the biggest. Oh my word. Fireball pearls. Look how amazing this is. Look at how. Oh look at that. It literally looks like folded silk. Look, look at the colours, Al. That's yeah. incredible, isn't it? Stunning. And and hang on, let me grab my tweezers. One sec. And and you get the most beautiful bale, which is set with the gorgeous natural amethyst, just to complement those lovely, perfect, well, this beautiful, is beautiful isn't it? purple tones. How amazing. All you need is a little bit of your specialist jewellery maker mm. glue. Dab it onto the end of the, the post. Um, you get the box as well. Yeah, absolutely. So if you are thinking about the presentation and gifting, um, or maybe even retailing, then yeah, it's all it's all there for you. How unbelievable is that? It's coming up at nine o'clock. Don't miss out on that because I was actually admiring this earlier on. Yeah, you've got the most unbelievable deal um, coming your way with that one. So at nine o'clock today. Um, okay, what next? Let's do... Have you gone blank? Should we do some highlight? Yeah, let's, because we don't see highlight very often. I also think, Claire, this would be lovely with your with your opals. It would, wouldn't it? I love highlight. Look at that strand. Look at the sparkle It's such a there. pretty colour, isn't it? It's it such is, a unique yeah, colour. It is. Um, you have this, uh, like an indigo. I always describe it like an indigo colour. It's full of pleochrosum <clears throat> highlight. It's, got, it's a wonderful gemstone that, here in the studio, we're actually looking at it in its worst possible light. When you get highlight home and you look at it from different angles, of course, you see flashes of different colour. That is what pleochrosum is um, we seldom ever see this beautiful blue gemstone and that goes by the way likewise for our sister channels um, it's you, you, it's very distinctive you won't mistake I, I, I don't think anyway oh, for that of your yeah. sapphire or of your tanzanite or <clears throat> your kyanite even it is very unique in its yes, beauty standard. yes it is yeah Love it, absolutely love it. We're firm fans of three mm. millimeter fasted rounds, aren't we, yes. Claire? We yes. love them. Yeah, love them. There's so much you can do with them. I mean, I'm, again, I'm looking across to your lovely uh, opal earrings. earrings. If you want to do a cluster, great. yes, yeah. Put a few of those in amongst your opals. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. There we go. How about some of the uh, smile lights in amongst there? The beautiful opals, aren't they? Let's get this under ten pounds. That's an absolute giveaway deal. Ah. Oh, I, you, you, literally, this price tag is literally clicking me into pri into shopping mode. I, that's an unbelievable deal for Iolite, especially mm. of this quality. Uh, if you're looking at thinking, oh, I can see green in there, I can see a flash of pink in there, that's the amount of clear crozen that you see within this gemstone. Um, I can't believe we've got a clock on our screens. How many have we got, Roscoe? Seriously, we shouldn't be going lower than 9.99. There's 39 available within the vault. Um, I could probably count on. I'm lucky to see an eye light per month, to be honest. Yeah, I'm probably, lucky yeah. to see it, yeah. as in one opportunity per month. We don't see it very often. Um, we wouldn't be able to put together a showcase for you. I could probably put together something like Tanzanite, couldn't we? We could do a Tanzanite showcase, maybe. I don't know about... Uh, about um, why have I gone blank? Why have I gone blank? Kyanite, maybe. You know, there are certain blue sapphires we could, but we couldn't put together an eye light showcase. It is uh, very, very, very scarce, very limited within our vault. Now, the fact we're going even lower than 9.99 is just ridiculous. So well done to those of you that have shopped ahead. Hello to you, Sheila, Denise, Kayla. Hello to you, Lorna, Gabrielle, Carola. Lovely to see you all. This alongside the opals that Claire's got in her mm. kits in the nine o'clock hour. How and amazing would that well. be? Yes. Oh, yes. Mm. How about using this with that, with that pearl, that fire? Yeah. Pearl. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe a parcel of pearls just like this that we've got coming up. Just mixing them all together. How that's, beautiful would that be? That's incredible. Because look at look at all the work as well into that in that strand. It exactly. Seems like it's, it's quite. It's it's. Um, you've almost got that ombre effect, haven't you? Of like it seems to be going down, so it's darker in the in the middle section as well. It does actually. It looks like it's been deliberately ombre. Yes. And we always talk about Claire. Oh, this gemstone does this. This gemstone does that. But and we almost overlook what you've just mentioned, you know, the, the work that has gone into yeah. faceting each Absolutely. and every single one of these beautiful three millimetre rounds. Six ninety nine. Look, I mean, those of you that have been shopping with, with us for, 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 for an age, 
you know that this is not a 6.99 strand. I remember when we were doing strands like this. Claire, you and I, we did some pretty big shows with the three millimetre mm -hmm. faceted rounds. Yeah, we and it was did, all about yeah. sort of the stacker styles. Yeah. They were like 14.99 then, weren't they? But I mean, you, have you got they bolt ring class? Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. I mean, you, you you know, you could get at work maybe pop, pop a space rim, but you'd have a couple, wouldn't you? Definitely. Definitely. Guess what? Sold out. I'm not surprised. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, the bolt rings have. The bolt rings have already sold out, but I'm sure um, we'll be able to bring you some more at some point. There's 10 left of this strand. A lot of you have chosen to multiply. 6 99 if we were lucky, was maybe a nugget strand. If mm -hmm. we were lucky. Mm -hmm. And even then, not a violite. So yeah. that's an absolutely unbelievable deal. Well done. Debbie, Beverly, hello to you, Victoria. Hello to you, uh, Cornwall. Well done, multi-buying. London's multi-buying. Helen in Dumbartonshire. Good morning, lovely Victoria. Lorna, you're there. Hello, Patricia in Devon. New customers getting involved. Look at that. A vision of blue, full of luster, full of pleochroism. Again, you wait till you see it outside in natural light. Unbelievable. Well done, well done, well done. Um, okay. Shall we do some faceted pearls? When did we start doing these? singularly because um, not that long ago, a couple of days ago, I brought, uh, we spoke at length about faceting pearls, didn't we? And the fact only the best quality pearls are, will be faceted. Um, if you think about the whole process of culturing pearls, they have to obviously be, you have to mature the mollusk to a size that's obviously big enough to house a pearl. Then you have to hope, love, nurture, care for this mollusk in the hope that they are housing one of these wonderful treasures of the ocean. And you have to leave it. You have to leave it for a longer period of time because you need more nacre if your intention is to then facet it um, because you're cutting areas of that away. The quality, the absolute quality that you're about to see in this pair is going to blow your mind. Yeah, only not, not, not that long ago, I think it was last week actually, I brought you a strand of faceted pearls. Um, and I said, look, this is not going to be one of the most, can you see that there? It's not going to be one of the most affordable opportunities that Jewelry Maker brings you. That's because of the level of skill. That's like me saying, oh, here's a decolourless diamond, it's eternally flawless, um, and let's give it to you at an affordable price tag. That sentence just would never be put together. It's all about the level of quality. You know, very, very, very few. I don't know if you've got any of those um, photographs, do you, Ross, handy, of the faceted pearls. Um, you know, we were showing some pieces of uh, pieces of jewellery. It was all written about um, uh, on the GIA. The GIA spoke about the you know the the uh, love of faceting pearls, but only the finest. This is a development that's only recently actually happened. Um, because I spoke about Su uh, Lucy. That's right. I was watching one of the old jewellery maker shows back some time ago, and Lucy was talking about shell pearl, and she was saying, "Well, you can't facet a cultured pearl." And that, she's not wrong. At that point, you couldn't. I think it was in the mid 1990s when this technique was actually developed. Here we go. GIA wrote about faceting pearls. The pearl has been shrouded with myth and mystery since antiquity. The ancient Romans imagined they were tears of gods and angels. The ancient Chinese thought they offered protection from fire-breathing dragons. And the Europeans believed they symbolized modesty, chastity, and purity. In the 20th century, the classic culture pearl necklace became an essential fashion accessory, adorning icons of sophistication like Jackie Kennedy, Audrey Hepburn, and Coco Chanel. Um, pearls have been coveted for thousands of years, and in 1998, I was close, wasn't I? Pearl lovers were given a new and unique option, the faceted cultured pearl. With up to 200 facets, these miniature marvels that were the result of 20 years of experimentation uh, by Komatsu Diamond Industry, a Japanese uh, diamond cutting company, and were a dramatic alternative from a smoother surface cultured pearl. Um, our sister channel actually sell Komatsu uh, uh, pearls, faceted pearls, and I'll tell you, they are very expensive. Even our sister channel, which bring you the best possible deals, they are very expensive because of the technique that goes into it. I've never seen them in a pair before. They've always been on a strand. And that's only one strand we've ever brought to air. Uh, to, get, to get hold of them in double figures is absolutely crazy. Look at the photograph on the GIA. <clears throat> and then look, at the, then look at yours. Can you see any difference? In fact, I think yours are more lustrous. But the quality is there, hand in hand. I wouldn't sit here and say that you have that you've got uh, that you've got 
Do you, do you, do you, hang on, what's this? Sorry, Alison's saying, uh, wasn't into these, but got some home and definitely had a change of mind. Um, there is an optical illusion where the faceting looks uh, domed, magical and mm. lovely. Do, do you it's know, me point, too. Yeah. Alison, I think you've just reiterated what lots of us actually said. We, would, we weren't behind it initially. We're like, why would you do that? Why would you cut away the gorgeous luster and nacre of a pill? Until you see it... And then you go, okay, okay, I was very, very wrong. Because they almost look like they're coated, don't they? Mm. They're not coated. That is just solid, pure nacre. We shouldn't be able to get hold of faceted pills at a double-figure price tag. Because, again, if I quickly flick through, how many do we have of these, Ross? Only seven, so it's a limited opportunity. Here we go, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, look at this piece of jewellery, which this is called the Equilibrium Ring, uh, has a faceted black Tahitian pearl mounted in platinum. That's not an inexpensive piece of jewellery. Look at the quality of the pearl, though. Now look at yours. Honestly, the quality mm. is absolutely up there. I'll leave it with you because there's only a couple available. Absolutely amazing one for the collectors. The ones who want something a little bit different, I guess, than the traditional mm. pearl. Um, shall we do a bundle of pearls? Yeah, all these. Look how many there are. Oh, these. Here they are. I can see them. I can see them. There we go. There's such a selection today. Ah, plus you get your beautiful vel uh, grey velvet pochette. Your nice little pochette. Um, Hang on a second, hang on a second. Every time, I've only ever brought this to air once before and I did the same then. You don't just get those. You don't just get those, you get two beautiful strands. These are oh, completely yes. yeah. and utterly natural. There are three chances, these have absolutely flown. Shall we open a box? Yes. So that means if you want these, be quick, because this, this code, if there is a code inside that is, um, you can use with this. Are you ready? Go on, pick a box, Claire. What's in the box? What's in the box? Better be lucky. It's a one-time code, remember. Fast as fingers first. Oh, go, 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 go. You can use this on the item if you wish. Are you ready for your price point? Are you ready? Close out deal. Those are natural purple and peach sashes of colour across the surface of this beautiful bundle of. Oh, my chair just dropped. Only one of you will be able to take advantage of that. Is that 20% then? 20% discount. How amazing is that? Wow. That would make sense, wouldn't it, if it was 20%? Love 20. Um, 129, but then you can take 20% off that. But make sure you use it on your checkout. Who's going to do it? Because there's a lot of you within your baskets. Oh. There's Neil and Linda, London, Carola, Margaret, Dorset and Maker. You have to check out who's going to get it. Karen and East Sussex, you're joining the race as well. It's a one-time code. You can't all use it. One of you is <laughs> going to get to use it. That's another what? How, yeah, £25 off. Carola, Yay. did you use your code? Please tell me you used your code. Did you? Oh, and Neil and Linda, you're in as well. There's one left. One left, one opportunity remaining. Who's going to grab that last? Let's be honest, though, £129, absolutely it's amazing. awesome for the amount that you're yes. getting here. Yeah. Look at the quality of these pearls. Um, these are all half-drilled, and then you've got two of these gorgeous strands and the little pochette. Is that actually Stunning. a word, by the way, pochette? Is that actually a word? I don't know. should be a word. It's I a quite... good word, though, isn't it? Pochette. Who's going to get that last one? There's loads of you there. Northamptonshire, Mary, Karen, London, Margaret, Dorset, Maker. I can see you all there. And some of you want multiples. I can see multiples mm. in certain baskets, but there's only one remaining. You do get absolutely everything that's before you. Pochette is, is a word. It's French for what? Cover. Ah, there you go. Mm. That makes sense, doesn't it? Wallet. Kit or jacket. Oh, oh there we go. Pochette. I like that. I like that. Mm. Text in, what's your favourite word? What's the most romantic word? What do you think? There are a certain, romantic word? Well, there's certain words that sound romantic, don't they? <laughs> no? <laughs> no? I just, I just, I just, have you got, is there a certain word that you think, ooh, um, that makes you go, ooh? Is there a certain word, Michael? I feel like you would have one. Well, I'm not going to say it out loud. <laughs> I'm not going to say that word out loud. I didn't mean dirty. What, what's yours? What, what, what's... Can be misconstrued, can't it? So... Oh, okay. What's yours then? I don't know. 
I don't know. No, not really. Not really. Anyway, there we are. There's one of those left. The text in. Have you got a certain word that, a certain word that you think, oh, that's a nice word. That word. Is it? <laughs> Moving on. Well done. Shall we do a bundle of agate? Yes. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't say that out loud, Michael. Way here we go. All that lovely, joyous colour. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Was I overcompensating then for a second? Look at all that lovely colour. Beautiful visions of colour in your six mil round. I mean, the things we could do with this bundle, Claire. That is very happy, isn't it? Is, it is. A, going out festival, summer days. I Layering, stretchy yes. bracelets, rosary yeah, linking, yeah. Mark's kiss cross. Doing all, you know, your different chakras where people like oh, to yes. have wonderful colours. Actually, I think great. these are your chakra colours. Yep, it's twenty four ninety nine. Brilliant price, isn't it, for mm -hmm. how much you're getting there? Set of ten. 10 strands. Um, how many do we have of these available then, Roscoe? 14, oh, okay. And they are only available until nine o'clock. You've got 20 minutes to make the most of all of these amazing early bird deals. Um, make sure you're shopping ahead on that beautiful tourmaline. We've also got a lovely strand to bring you on the back. Um, so yeah, super, super opportunities for you all this morning here. Beautiful visions of color. Yes, I mean, have you noticed like Miss Soma, all the big jewelers are all really going. I think it was on the back of the pandemic really, where we just needed that little injection of positivity. Mm. All the big jewelry houses started and, yes, yeah, yeah started using color all the more i mean look at that l'amour says lorna Ooh. yes lorna yes l'amour what does it mean what does what does it mean it's love is, is it love that's amour isn't it l'amour or j'adore amour is love as well isn't it yeah okay. amour i don't i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know j'adore amour Anyway, French, yeah, just French, it's a lovely accent, isn't it? Really lovely. <laughs> ba baguette, says Ross. <laughs> What's, what am I saying, though, there? That's all right, then. OK. La Pacina. Why do I sound Spanish? I sound Spanish when I'm saying that. That's, a, that, that's only swimming pool, don't worry. Um. <laughs> OK, moving on, because that could go horribly wrong, couldn't it? Um, OK, have I got what? I have. It's gorgeous. Oh, look at these. Ah, mm. these with your opals. How often do we see a strand like this? And oh, we bring you a lot of pearls. Of course we do. It's one of our biggest sellers. But this strand is so unique. It's natural papaya colours, a really lovely, delicate, peachy pink. And what a lovely size as well. Through drilled, so they almost... You could That's literally beautiful. just put a head pin through the, through, yeah. through the bottom, couldn't yeah. you? Just do a little wrap loop. Yeah. Look, yeah, perfect size. You know, not everybody wants the massive fireball pearls, do they? Some of you would prefer the more petite, delicate sizes, especially if you're thinking about, I don't know, earrings. These are naturally coloured. Um, yeah, we, we seldom ever see pearls like this. You've got La Peregrina-esque uh, shapes here. Um, again, through drilled rather than actually being drilled in that direction, which means that, you know, really lends itself to just using a single head pin, mm. I guess, Claire. Yes, yeah, and you get that lovely drop shape, wouldn't you? I just, I love them all together. I think it's a really unusual, it's beautiful, but it's very, very different, isn't it? It is, that it's a different is, strand. Yeah, it's incredible. We're, not, we're used to seeing, say, your Baroques or your potatoes or maybe your perfect rounds. Mm -hmm. It's lovely to see these droplet shapes. And, and we just said, didn't we, the, the, you know, the myths and the legends that are intertwined with pearls, um, you know, the tears of gods and angels. You almost see that, can't you, even more mm -hmm. within this shape. Um, this is coming your way to an early bird deal. Make sure you do check out, wow, £79, that's amazing, or £39.50, and and uh, pence, sorry, um, on your split payments. Um, these haven't been on your screens for a good few months. In actual fact, they've been under lock and key. I can absolutely understand why i mean we had that lovely strand of um tanzanite earlier on man you could put some of those in amongst it i think would be yeah, so beautiful well. oh yeah, yeah. that would be lovely because it would complement those peachy tones how many do we have then roscoe only six and we've got collectors straight away getting involved like i said we bring you baroques keshis even we bring you beautiful plain rounds we've just brought you the fasted pearls we really ever 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 actually see this kind of a uh, sort of teardrop shape mm. hello jan hello lovely saying hi uh, uh hi all 
excellent jewellery maker. I think couture is a romantic sounding word. My husband is couture, um, as oh. he must have been made for me. Oh, oh lovely Jan. I love that. Jan, how yeah. beautiful. Couture is a good word. It is a good word. Mm. Sweet, sweet, I was about to say I think sweethearts is a really nice word. Because it tells me that, you know, that, that, like childhood sweethearts, sweetheart, sweetheart, yeah, sweetheart. Yes, I get, yeah. But then I think I, I always call um, Ellen sweetheart. Do you? Yeah. Pop yeah. it, I call my kids all the time, right? Pop it. My mum and dad were childhood sweethearts, so I love that word. Oh, no, Literally went to yeah. school with each other. And I think that's just so lovely. So, so lovely. Darling, I do like. Mm. I do like the word darling. Jan, that's beautiful. Make yeah. sure you check out your baskets, though. We only had six of these. Victoria, Debbie, Dorset, Channel Isles, Maker. I can see you all with it in your baskets. You need to confirm to make these confirmations. These uh, uh, guarantee your success. And they are only available and for another 15 minutes. I don't know where time is going this morning. Coming up, you've got the most unbelievable parcel of multicoloured tourmaline. Check these out, honestly. They are so interesting incredible the quality of the tourmaline um initially i i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna be completely honest and say initially I, I was expecting these to be exclusively cabochons the price that we are taking them to they're not you've got beautiful rubelite colors within I there i think you'd all mix. agree oh, i love that yeah i know the, the quality and the deal that you're about to see on those but you know normally when we bring you parcels like this we'd be lucky to have we might have oh, i don't know 300 Everything. we've got 100 so there's not that many These of those available. Let's do what, sorry? The Ouroboros, I love this. I can't believe we've still got this in stock. Um, there's only three, okay. So the Ouroboros is a, a, an ancient Chinese symbol. It's a, a dragon or serpent-like creature that is sort of eating its own tail, effectively. Um, the meaning behind uh, the meaning behind the Ouroboros is that circle of life, basically. You know, it's about rebirth, it's about life and death. So there's lots and lots and lots of great meaning. Now, this can actually be worn as a ring, or you could wear it as a single pendant if you wish. So you can see there the Ouroboros tail. You can see the Ouroboros head. You've got all that lovely detailing all the way around. These will all be unique because because they are quite literally hand carved. Look at that amazing scaling. Look at that amazing scaling. They are all completely unique. Again, this is their individual little works of art. Whoever is lucky enough to get this one, I tell you what, it's amazing detail, even down to little feet that you can see within this. There's only, how many do you say? Three, three left within, and there's three of you within your baskets. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. I didn't, I've never heard of the Ouroboros bit before, and it took me a while to stop saying Ouroborealis which is two different things, of course. Um, um, Ouroborealis is, of course, the Northern Lights. Ouroboros is an ancient Chinese symbol, and you see it quite a lot, uh, um, in, actually, in lots of different cultures, again, and the meanings behind it. Um, £129, or you can get hold of this on your 0% interest split payment of £32.25. Um, hello, Richard. Hello, new customer. Hello, Swansea. Hello, London. We're actually over-allocated. Um, not everybody will be successful. It is type a J die. Oh, 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 news flash. Hold up the little ticket again. Nobody has used this code. Well, we don't think so. Nobody's messaged in. Try it. It's worth it. Text in if you did use the code. Fastest fingers first. It will only use it will only work once. And you can it's not an exclu you know, we're not just gonna say, oh, you can only use that on this, or you can only use that on that. You can use it on what you want. Um and remember, we're playing Count the Hearts throughout the entirety of the show. How many of you counted so far? <laughs> How many of you counted? You've counted 145. He must have been counting your hearts on your jumper. He must have been. Must have been. Those hearts don't count, Ross. <laughs> I think that could be a fun game. Count Claire's hearts. Yes. As well, yeah. You just have to have you pirouetting. That's yeah, all. that's so okay. I'll do hearts. that later. There we go. Yeah. Um, um, we're so over allocated. So over allocated. Victoria, London, Tracy, Richard. We'll do more of those codes, by the way, throughout the course of your Valentine's show. I'm very disappointed, though. I'm not disappointed in this. I'm disappointed in myself. It's Valentine's Day and I've not brought chocolates in. Oh. Oh yes, but I know I know it's tomorrow. But you know we've got balloons. Why not? Any excuse? Should have brought in chocolate, shouldn't I? Mm. 
Uh, I'll do it tomorrow, I promise. Make sure you check out, they're still there, amazing. Shall we do, to go alongside your Ouroboros, shall we do a selection of your Olmec Jadeite rounds? This is a full parcel, but the joy of this is that you're actually getting different shapes, so if you want, uh, different sizes rather, so if you want to create that graduation, you absolutely can. Your beautiful tourmaline bundle is coming up in a few moments' time. The sizes of these, so you're getting, what, three of the large, see if I can do them in ascending order. There we are, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Can you see that? Um, so yeah, you've got the different selections. So starting from eight mil, would you say that eight mil, Claire? Yes, I think Yeah, are, eight, then you've got yeah. six, then you've got, I think, five, four, and three, I think. Um, so look at that, all completely and utterly natural. All completely and utterly natural. Um, the lost treasure of Guatemala. It, the story behind this rediscovery is super exciting. We knew it existed um, because amazing ancient carvings had been displayed within the Smithsonian Museum. So we knew that Guatemala was a location which produced this, and only Guatemala produced this beautiful, very distinctive shade, um, shade of jade. It is totally and utterly natural. Um, but yes, literally in the 1980s, um, an amazing husband and wife team literally went on the quest to rediscover this beautiful location of source that had been lost for over 450 years. Um, they were successful, thank goodness, um, but it's super, super, super rare. Um, literally, Indiana Jones was actually, the, mm. the whole idea of Indiana Jones um, was actually uh, um, inspired by the riding as themselves. £399.99. pence. Um, for the entire parcel, but <laughs> maybe maybe we have all got love hearts above us. That maybe that's what it is. Bear with us. Our computer system's just having a moment. Just having a little moment, Claire. Yeah, it's taking a bit of time yeah. out. Yeah, it's fine. Fair enough. It's the, it's the the little ones that I love in this. These I, little I, dinky I, ones. Yeah, I think they're wonderful. They are beautiful. You've love. got such a huge carrot weight here as well. Um, I'll tell you in a second when the when the uh, graphics appear. What's the carrot weight on this then, Roscoe? Can you see it? The carrot weight. There's loads. There's literally loads. And uh, just how nice that you've got that graduation. So I mean, yeah, well, you took that on a yeah, so strands. exactly. But you could, you know, you think about like graduated pair of earrings on, you know, get your precious metal head pin. Stunning to have that graduation either way as well. 45 carats, eight, seven, six, five, and four millimeters, all with that quality of color. Do you notice how you've got that fine texture? Notice how they're not opaque. Notice they're not sort of matte in their appearance. That's because you've got a fine crystal structure. That, um, uh, of course, we talk about translucency when it comes to jade eye. It, uh, it doesn't make any difference whether it's from Burma or whether it is from, um, from uh, Guatemala. In this case, you want that fine texture. Only in Guatemala does it exist in this beautiful Olmec blue. You can get hold of this amazing parcel. 45 carats with those different, different sizes. Sold out. Amazing. Um, <clears throat> for that incredible deal. Okay. Well done. Now, heads up. You've got eight minutes remaining on this hour, lovely jewellery maker. So do start considering checking out if you haven't already done so because those items will literally disappear as soon as we close this hour. Be prepared for a complete frenzy on the web, a complete frenzy on the phone lines as we enter this this next early bird. Oh my goodness me. You could just stare at that forever, couldn't you? You literally didn't make anything with them. There's heart cut tourmalines in here. I know. Oh. I don't know if you can see it just there. Just here. This one here. Oh, oh, that's perfection. Isn't it? <gasps> Let me just explain. Tourmaline is, and I know so many of you already know this, with a wealth of gemstone knowledge that you have. Tourmaline is what we call a type 3 gem. Type 3 gemstones, much like emeralds, are expected to have internal inclusions. Um, so we shouldn't essentially... We shouldn't um, aspire, really, to have a tourmaline that is completely flawless in its clarity because that's not how it forms. That's not how it occurs. However, we're under magnification right now and I can see beautiful, beautiful clarity. 
You've got a selection of colours. Tourmaline is widely known as the most one of the most colourful gemstones in the world. Believed to have fallen through a rainbow, that's how it achieved these beautiful ruby-like pinks, the yellows, the greens. You can get black tourmaline, colourless tourmaline. You can get swimming pool blue tourmaline. You can get all of the above. Look at where we're starting for 10 mm. carats mm. of this amazing gemstone. I mean, I, I could to, you know, chew your ear off, if you like, for ages about, about how this gemstone occurs. We know it is a, a, an amazingly complex gem. Literally, if you imagine putting a pin in our globe and then you visualize 50 particular chemicals being present in that pinpoint location under the most perfect conditions, heat pressures and conditions, and only then will it actually uh, form a variety of tourmaline. But then every single one of these colors has got a different cocktail of minerals. It's just fascinating gemologically. Most gemologists, as I've mentioned, will say this is their favorite gemstone. And I can see why. Your sister-in-law's one of them, yeah, and she's a gemologist. There we go, Ollie's just saying that in my ear. You have rubellite. I don't hesitate, hesitate at all, I can't talk today, hesitate at all in saying that you have got rubellite within this parcel. If it has got a dominance of pink and red and it stays that color under every single lighting condition, that's what gemologists will qualify as rubellite. Rubellite is one of the top three most expensive. Seriously, look at where we are. Remember, you have five minutes to make the most of these deals. You know, if you are thinking, I don't do gem setting, Al. Um, I've never had a go at setting a gemstone into a pearl. I've never used some of the tube settings. Well, this would be ideal for all to of give those, it all wouldn't a try. it? Yeah, yeah. But do you know what? You can learn those those techniques at a later stage. If you love beautiful gemstones and you would consider yourself a collector or an aspiring collector, then look no further because we are not stopping here. But be quick because they are not going to hang around at your early bird price tag. That's a full parcel of beautiful tourmaline. Exactly. Wow. Ollie's like, what? In my ear. I agree. £14.99. pence. Let me just, let me just for a second, I'm going to open this parcel up. There is a clock ticking away, which tells me, lovely jewellery makers, we're not even stopping there. I'm going to tip these out of this little box just because I actually think the Perspex is hiding just how beautiful um, each and every single one of these are. Gosh, my goodness me, they're absolutely huge and you get so many of them. I'm still getting them out of the box. Oh, there we look go. At them. I know. They, 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 they literally come into their own then, don't they? Um, seriously. P choose one, Claire. Whichever oh, one. Wow. <clears throat> Which one? I do, I do love these. You like ones. the round? Yes, but then I also love the, the Here we gorgeous. Go. Um, yeah, sand casting oh. or cast. Yeah, yeah perfect. Right, for, seriously, that tourmaline should not be fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Look at the quality oh, of it. Look at that. It's basically <gasps> what a pound. Less than seventy p oh, is... per carat at the moment, and we're not even stopping there. Are you ready for this? Even if you've got no Scooby Doo clue what you're going to do with them, a third of the stock is already gone. You know, yeah, it's treasure, absolutely. Mm. Maybe at some point you might think, I'm going to make an amazing piece of jewellery for, uh, for that. I don't know, you might have um, a daughter, a, a son or grandchildren, nieces, nephews, friends, whichever it might be, which at some point you decide you want to make a, le make a legacy piece of jewellery. £11.99. I follow, and I've mentioned quite a few times, oh my goodness, I've just noticed it's Brazilian tourmaline too. That's the best location in the world. I follow a jeweller on Instagram called Catherine James. Um, she's an independent jeweler as far as I know anyway um, and she sells some absolutely beautiful pieces of jewellery some of which are pre-loved. I've been admiring a pink tourmaline ring that she's had on her on her Instagram shop for ages and it's four figures it's a four figure piece mm. of jewellery I can tell you, come here I can tell you the tourmaline that is within uh, that piece of jewellery is no better than what I'm actually holding right now. Um, I like this one here, I'm looking at the really beautiful hot pink in this round mm. look at this, look at this that's a rubellite in my eyes. Wow. I'd pay eleven ninety nine and then some for this stone. So look at, I mean, all your tube setting you could do, can yeah. you do your bezel setting. Claire. <gasps> yes. Eleven ninety nine for this brand new parcel when we could only get just over a hundred, which is amazing. Let's not be blase about this. That's an incredible quantity. We're gonna get it under ten pounds today. Uh, do you know what? That's, that's 
you know, you know the term no-brainer? That's what this is. It's an absolute no-brainer because not one of these stones in my eyes should be £10. No. Not one of them. I'm actually holding one of the smaller pinks. Shall we give them a quick count? Shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. I I I I think there's thirty-two here, give or take. Approximately, it's the parcel we guarantee, the parcel the carrot weight that we guarantee. Look at that colour there. Can you see that? You've Gosh, got like look a at that. How beautiful that is. 32 individual stones. It's like a cognac colour. Seriously, it's apps. You've got. Oh, look at the glow on that cabochon. I, these are absolutely amazing. Oh, really? Look at the heart. Let me pick up the heart. Our computer system is not letting us crash to under 10. But we've said it now. We've actually crashed it. We will do it. Don't worry. Keep dialing through. We'll just. We'll find a lockets. way. Look at that one stone. That's a heart cut tourmaline. Can I imagine if you got that for Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, yes, please. Keep your flowers. Mm. Do you know, it's the one day I always say repeatedly, you watch him buy me flowers now. But it's the one day I always say, to, don't buy me flowers on Valentine's Day. Don't do it. They're so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> don't, I, 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 I'm not big into Valentine's Day anyway. But you know what? I would appreciate a lot more. And I don't care what the price tag is. A beautiful parcel of tourmaline, especially if they're single figures. Oh, yes. Single yeah. figures, yeah. just a few pounds. That is an amazing Valentine's oh, gift Oh, I can see Marge. Marge, you're going to love these. Oh, Marge, they're, they're gorgeous. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And, you know, every time I pick up oh, the look parcel. At that. Look at that one yeah, as well. Lovely colour. <gasps> I think, Claire, you and I are fond of the pink ones. But I do, I do like the... Um, I do like the... Uh, the uh, cabochons as well. Yes, the cabochons are absolutely beautiful. Should we? Uh, should we? Should we? <laughs> there we go. That beautiful chrome tourmaline. How amazing! Nine ninety nine for you all this morning. Absolutely beautiful. That's thirty one pence approximately per natural Brazilian tourmaline. I mean, that's chrome. That's a chrome tourmaline right there. I remember chrome tourmaline's only ever been in Larique. Do you remember that? Mm. They were one of a kind pieces. This is one of the rarest colors that I'm holding in, the twe in my tweezers right now. Gary, Cheryl, Yvonne, Natalie, Devon, Essex, Richard, Jane, hello to you. Maker getting two, Janet, well done. Sue, Lorna, Mary, Vivian, Joe, Suzanne, hello to you. Um, we had a hundred of them. They're absolutely flying out. Hello, Rachel, hello to you. Sarah, Lorna, Susan, London, Caroline, Anne-Marie, Yvonne, Anne in Pembrokeshire, Gloria, Pearl, Lorna. Make sure you check out. That's an absolute giveaway deal. Which one now? Which one now? I was just thinking, can you, can you, you know the large pearl that's I can, there? Because yes, that, that would be lovely, Which one it? would you like me to pick oh. up to go alongside the pearl, though, Claire? Maybe some of the pinks or maybe that, there's that, that's a, that is stunning, that one that, there. Oh, Look the yellow. That one. We don't see yellow tourmaline. No, I'm not sure. Yeah, How would you set that? it? Let me see if I can oh. hold it as best I can. Yeah, that's oh, look. beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And that's a technique that we can show you. Yes, yeah. How amazing. Let's get that heart back, I think. I'm going to get the heart, see it if I can. a beautiful heart. It's isn't stunning, it? isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Am I holding it the right way? Oh, I'm making a... Can you hold that, Claire? Yeah, you have do to I press it? Yeah, press down, oh, not oh. too hard. There you go. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. How sweet oh. is that? $9.99 to source natural Brazilian tourmaline. It's completely unheard of, purely because it's your early bird. Only available for a couple of minutes. I'll leave that one with you just because time is running away with us. Okay, let's do the strand now, Claire. So maybe you want the perfect, I don't know, tourmaline yes, necklace yeah, to go Yeah, rosary link maybe. Also yeah. awesome with your next kit. Yes, yeah, tourmaline all the colours in there, yeah. Well, it's just the visions of colour that you see within That's these. It's, it's It's one of, I'm oh. going to say this. It's it's premiering. This is one of the best strands of tourmaline I've ever brought to air. Would you agree? The colours of these 
are absolutely beautiful. And if I just pick up, I'm going to do that, show it on a white background. Look at the quality of the colour that you're seeing. You've got pretty much every single shade that tourmaline um, uh, forms within. You've got colourless, you've got paraba, you've got your cognac, you've got your beautiful blues, pinks, um, black tourmaline as well. This is more limited than the first parcel. So again, make sure you do check out how lovely is that, the quality of these. Mm. Again, completely and utterly natural. We've brought you a few, you know, a good few strands of tourmaline in our time here um, at Jewelry Maker. But again, it's the intensity. Colour is king, you said it, Claire. Um, it is like a bouquet, absolutely. Um, a, a vision, and it's all completely and utterly natural. Look at where we are. You've got 25 carats of natural Brazilian tourmaline. Again, you can see the location because of the quality of the colour. We're not closing it there, though. This is how we like to start our Monday morning, isn't it? I know, it? what a start to the week. $24.99, that would be great. That's amazing. That's what, a pound a carrot? A pound a carrot. Oh, look at that. <gasps> really beautiful quality of colour. Your early bird deal. Wow. That's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. $12.99. Oh, that'd be so lovely to work with, wouldn't it? I, I wouldn't do anything else with that. I'd probably do re what, a restrap. Yeah, I would. I think it's. I think that is perfection. I think the work's done for you because it's yes. a mirror image, isn't it? So you could literally just restrap. Amazing that. colours in there. Oh uh, yeah. I, I do it's, think. I do think with tourmaline, it's it's the like an adult way of wearing. You know, very bright colours like yeah. that, isn't it? Like a, like you know, rainbows and such such elegance and, the, and all the colours that you're getting in there. And, you know, it's so easy for us here at Jewelry Maker to lose sight of and almost become blasé. $12.99 is not a price tag for tourmaline. No. Tourmaline is astonishingly expensive. Now, there is a clock on your screen. At the end of this clock, this auction and every other auction, the tourmaline parcel, the pearls, for example, everything that we have, we have brought you thus far, those tanzanites, will disappear. We are going to dive straight into your uh, Brazilian Pareva tourmaline parcel, which Ooh. is just unbelievable that I can say that. Lots and lots and lots of sellouts already on the website. Well done to those of you that have um, secured any of your early bird deal. There's still loads to bring you as well. Beautiful kit. And we've got lots of Valentine's boxes to open as well with your one-time codes. I can see you there. If you've got any baskets, make sure you check out because you're going to miss that opportunity. Otherwise, if you've pressed your option one on the phone lines, you should be all good. Well done. Um, speak to our call centre. 14 seconds. Each and every single one of these items are disappearing. We'll dive immediately before the break. We'll dive immediately into your Pareva Tourmaline. Um, it'll be, I mean, to say that your own Pareva Tourmaline is incredible. Um, well done. Check out. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Amazing. Absolutely amazing that parcel. Can I think I think I best. I think I best pass it to you because I wouldn't want to lose any of those. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Claire. Oh, wow. Stunning. Oh. Now, can I have a piece of paper back when you're finished? Yeah. Um, <laughs> keep the gemstones. Oh, okay. Thank but you, I do yeah. need the, I do need the piece of paper, and the reason for that is because I need to show this with a white background. Oh my goodness, the quality of these parabas are unbelievable. Now, I've said many a times before that location shouldn't be what initiates your purchase. However, location does have a big impact, if you like, on certain gemstones price point. Brazil to Paraiba Tourmaline being absolutely one of them. Some time ago, Dave Troth spoke about the difference in price tags between Brazilian Paraiba Tourmaline and Mozambique Paraiba Tourmaline. And it is literally thousands upon thousands of pounds difference. This is a star buy for all the collectors out there who have longed to own this gemstone, like myself, maybe thinking it would never be one that you would afford. A star buy, it's unmissable, the deal is unbelievable, and it's next. Let me explain, um, because I'll be honest, until I actually came to work here at Gemporia a, a few, well, it was just over a decade ago now, um, I'd heard of Pareva Tourmaline and I'd seen it in magazines, never actually in person. Um, but I didn't fully appreciate its rarity. 
Tourmaline is incredibly complex. I think we've covered that already. There are approximately 50 different chemicals present within that gemstone and they are they vary in terms of the cocktail themselves. But Pareba is very unique. Pareba has a copper presence within and it's that copper presence that literally brings these gemstones to life. Now, I'm going to share with you literally Dave's PowerPoint. Um, Dave Troth, our amazing uh, um, uh, a gem investor who brings you some of the best gemstones in the world. I'm going to use his PowerPoint that he's brought to air because in particular, we are talking about Brazilian. You are looking at a parcel of Brazilian. Pareba tourmaline is the fascinating story of a rare gemstone. And you will find this gem more, quite frequently, actually, in articles of the top, uh, top 10 rarest gemstones that exists. From the Brazilian state of Pareba, neon bright Pareba tourmalines are one of the most sought after gemstones in the world. And that is 100% the case and has been for, you know, since its initial discovery. You know, uh, the team went over to Tucson recently, 100% when they were in the AG, uh, um, AGTA um, location that's the biggest that the, the most high end there would have been some absolutely amazing examples of prey but normally probably for tens of thousands of dollars but it is most definitely one of the most sought after gemstones in the world um, in just a few decades, Pareba tourmalines have become one of the uh, one of the sought-after gemstones in the world. First discovered in the 1980s by uh, Hito Dimas Barbosa, uh, who spent years digging in the hills of the Brazilian state of Pareba on a hunch that something special was hidden there. He must have known he had hit the jackpot, uh, jackpot sorry, when he set eyes on his first neon bright Pareba tourmaline. And you would, wouldn't you? If you've just seen that beautiful gemstone, that, that electrifying blue literally come from the ground. Almost every shade um, of tourmaline can be found in Brazil but none has the vivid glow that distinguishes the Pareba tourmaline, also known as Cuprian Elbite, uh, a product of trace element copper. Colours range from startling turquoise to majestic uh, blue-green, but it is the incandescent glow that appears to light up the stone from within that makes Pareba tourmaline incomparable to any other gemstone. Can I also mention as well, this parcel includes the colours that you're seeing on your screens right now, but it also includes Windex, the Windex Blues, which is one of the most uh, the most expensive varieties. But let's put this into perspective. How rare is Brazilian Pareba tourmaline? Well, to put their rarity into perspective, there is only one Pareba tourmaline mined for every 10,000 diamonds. A good quality Pareba from Brazil weighing over three carats is virtually unheard of. So rare are authentic Brazilian Pareba tourmalines that it is not unusual for them to achieve five-figure carat, uh, per carat. And that, you know, you can get Parebas from different locations, which we'll talk about in a few moments' time. But Brazilian, which is what this is, this parcel came from Steve's, uh, um, this opportunity rather came from Steve Bennett's parcel. That's the only reason we have it. Um, in a surprising twist to the Pareba tale, in 2003, a new wave of luminous green blue tourmalines entered the market, mined by hand in a copper-rich mountain of Mozambique and Nigeria. Pareba like in every way, with only minute chemical differences to those unearthed in Brazil. They are often found weighing five carats or more and have caused an ongoing debate as to what can and can't be defined as call, uh, to be defined to be called Pareba tourmaline. Some insist that only tourmalines from the Brazilian state of Pareba are Parebas, while others are more inclusive. You know, and, and you know, I'll go with Mozambique's being called Pareba tourmalines for sure, but you can't escape the fact that Brazilian uh, tourmalines, Pareba tourmalines, are the most desirable, without doubt, because they just seem to have this amazing presence. What's the price difference then between these gemstones? Well, a quality Pareba tourmaline ranges from $2,000 to $50,000 per mm. carat. It is one of the most expensive gemstones in mm. existence. And it deserves that price tag because it is one of those that you will spot from meters upon meters away. Um, and you might think 2000 to 50000 that's a pretty broad spectrum. Okay, let's see if we can simplify that some more. In 2022, there was a Pareba update. Some Mozambique mater material sells well over 5,000 US dollars per carat. 
Some Brazilian material sells well over 10,000 US dollars per carat, and it can fetch up to 100,000 per carat. It is the most expensive tourmaline, much more than any other colors. And you don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take Dave's word for it. If you look at the World Wide Web, you will find countless information on the cost of this amazing gemstone. But it is worthy of that price tag. You know, I have to be air on the side of caution. I'm not, I haven't got a crystal ball. I can't say that any gemstone is an investment because, I, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. However, is Brazilian tourmaline, uh, rather, Paraba tourmaline being mined currently? No. Very, very, very little of it. Even when it was actually unearthing, you saw there one, one Paraba comes out of the ground to uh, every diamond's 10,000. So they are astonishingly rare. This is one for the collectors without doubt, but to be honest, the collectors will have already checked out. Now, just before we get into this auction, I can't believe I'm about to do this. We're gonna open one of these boxes. That means one of you will benefit from a one-time discount code. I tell you what, we'll start making our way towards that price tag, then, so you can add it to your baskets, etc. You can add it to your baskets because it is, it is classed as an early bird. Um, and then you can use that discount code. It's a full carrot. You've got across different stones. But the fact that you have got, Claire, you've got your Windex color. You've got your beautiful, you know, we, we spoke about those intense, beautiful turquoise. It's like a, a color that no other gemstone mm. actually achieves. Yes, yes, totally. So unique, rare. Yeah. So, so, so rare. Never in my wildest dreams would I have ever entertained owning a Paraba tourmaline, particularly a Brazilian Paraba tourmaline. I was, I'm not too proud to admit this. I'd have never thought I'd have been able to afford it. This is one of the most expensive gemstones out there. One of our amazing buying team years and years and years and years, uh, no it wasn't years and years and years, it was about five years ago when he proposed to his girlfriend he, he decided he was going to get a Paraba tourmaline. I don't know if it was Brazilian or if it was Mozambique but and I do know that it set him back quite a, you know, a, a considerable price tag but what an amazing stone to have mm. as your engagement mm. ring. Um, so much rarer this is a great opportunity, an opportunity that does co not come around every single day. We do not see Paraba tourmalines on our screens, be them from Mozambique or from Brazil, every single day. This parcel, if you were with Dave and I when he first launched um, Paraba tourmaline, uh, this opportunity, rather. Um, the only reason we have Brazilian Paraba tourmaline, we can probably get you the Mozambique location, but the only reason we have it from Brazil is because basically Dave persuaded Steve to release some from his own personal collection. So you are literally purchasing from our founder's um, collection. Even here, at £2,499, it is a great deal. It is. I'm not saying it's not a, a considerable amount of money. Of course it is. But it's a great deal, even if we were going to stop at this price tag. Can I just put something out there? Not saying that you would want to do this, but you could buy this parcel and sell it on straight away. You could, and you should sell it at a considerable profit as well. Mm -hmm. um, remember, earlier on in the show, I actually said I was speaking to a, good, a friend of mine um, who's really into watches, really into gemstones, or yeah, he's into the watches, his wife is into the gemstones. He said, what gemstone should I be buying? You can bet your bottom dollar I said Brazilian Paraba tourmaline. If you ever see an opportunity to buy this location of Paraba tourmaline, snap it up. Right, let's take some serious, serious price crashes now. A full carrot certified Brazilian Paraba tourmaline. Get that, by the way, it's invaluable. It is absolutely invaluable for a whole carrot, you know, to have that documentation saying that just a little bit of heat treatment, that's fine, it's not a problem whatsoever, it's only doing what the sun will do in nature. If you are, sorry. Oh, if they were natural, Brazilian Paraba tourmaline, yeah, you'd be talking about to five figures yeah definitely five figures imagine this on an 80 in an 18 karat gold mm, yeah piece of jewelry it wouldn't be 1499 uh, 
No way. No way. Hello, Angela. Um, there is a ring in our local jewellers with a Prava Tormley. It's beautiful. It's £35,000. I drool every time I walk past. And uh, that doesn't surprise me at all. That is the norm, to be honest, for Prava Tormley in five-figure price tags. It, the jewellers that I worked at, Ange, didn't have Prava Tormley. Didn't. It didn't have it. In fact, Ham said that, of course, was it discovered? Yes, it had only just been discovered when I worked in that, um, in that jewellers. Ollie is just saying he sold Pareba Tourmaline before. What, what single-figure quantities? Yeah, yeah, but he's only ever sold single-figure uh, single quantities, and they are literally thousands upon thousands of pounds. But that's the difference between us and our, and our jewellers, you know. We, they'll be lucky to... They'll probably have that piece of jewellery there for months, if not years, to be honest. And when they do sell it, of course, it's, you know, um, it, it, it's, it, it's a big payday for them all, of course. But we do sell quantity. We're going to do this in one price crash, and we're going to open one of those... Um, single time uh, one time discount co uh, discount codes as well are you ready this is a limited opportunity it always will be wow. that's madness 499 pounds we've just i mean thank you so much for that and as well messaging into the studio mm -hmm. if you've never heard of paraba tourmaline it is one of the world's most beautiful definitely one of the world's most expensive incredibly rare you can get paraba tourmaline whether you go whether you are okay it's mozambique is is, is not paraba or it is paraba massive collectors getting involved right now to get a carrot of Brazilian and I will always keep saying Brazilian 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 pray for tourmaline because it really does um it's invaluable when we're talking about such an opportunity but do you think we're done there wait one second this is actually ridiculous though isn't it it's actually ridiculous um Ross you've worked with high-end gemstones for many years haven't you He says, he says he's only ever seen it like five, ten, fifteen thousand pounds. Here is ridiculous. Ross, have you bought this parcel? Yeah. I'm going to get this parcel. Have you bought this parcel? No, I haven't, but I'm just looking at... I'm just I was about to show you there. that. That's... We've got quantity of these, which is mad. And Claire... I know, because I'd heard of it, but I hadn't seen it until this year. I'm going to do this in two price crashes. The next price that you see is not the final price. For a carrot, for a carrot of Brazilian Paraba, are you ready? Not what you are going to pay. Oh, my goodness, I'm so... Oh, look at them. Seriously, <gasps> seriously, seriously. Next price crash. Oh, my gosh, Al. I know. They're unbelievable, aren't they? Oh, my goodness, mate. Let me pick this up. Not what you were paying. I, my husband, if you're watching right now, please can you dial through, darling, because, um, I mean, he knows Pareba Tormley and I talk about it all the time. I talk about it all the time. So he would know to dial through. So, darling, if you are watching right now, please can you dial through. You know that Brazil... I looked at buying a Brazilian Pareba Tormley a while ago. Not for my... We were going to try and make some money on it, basically. I couldn't afford to buy the stone. I couldn't afford to buy just a single loose stone. They are astonishingly expensive. The next price is not your final price, but we do need to see you on those phone lines. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Not what you're paying today. We always have a laugh and a joke here at Jewelry Maker, but that's beyond a joke, isn't it? You know when Dave got permission from, from, from Steve Bennett to, 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 to get hold of this parcel... Did he ever tell Steve Bennett that it was going to be on air at £99? I don't know, because I'm not sure he would even be able to buy them at what's on your screens right now. Claire? Yes, yeah. Let's open, open another box. Yep. Yeah. Should we go for this one? Yeah, let's do it. One-time discount code. Um, nobody's paying this. Nobody's paying this. We are going lower. That's crazy. It's actually crazy. You shouldn't be able to get one of the teeny-weeny ones for that. Are you ready? First come, first serve. Ready? Either way, this is a fantastic deal. Wow. Love 15. There you go. 
one-time deal for one amazing customer. Fast as fingers first. Um, hello, Gloria. Hey, beautiful ladies. I purchased this parcel last time on air. They are gorgeous and I'll be, um, and will be in my engagement <laughs> ring if he ever asks me after 20 years. Let, well, he, do you know what, Gloria, oh, you, Gloria? What an amazing engagement ring stone it would actually be. And he needs to get a, a wriggle on, doesn't he? Chop, chop, come on. And, hello, and Gloria. Her yeah, her work is beautiful you can make it yourself can make you? your own yeah. braver tourmaline engagement ring yeah. um hello caroline lovely saying lady stunning braver bought two parcels from your show last time boom winner by now absolutely um well done if any of you did get involved the first time they're brought to air hello mrs wender saying i love the braver greens i bought a one-of-a-kind ring uh with three marquees a few years ago beautiful oh my goodness me mrs wender have you had that valued and insured i do hope so because that would be some piece of jewellery. Uh, this is crazy. It's actually madness that we're at £99.99 99 and we are actually going lower. If I had my phone, I'm kicking myself right now for not having it next to me. I would 100% be joining you. Remember that discount code. One of you can use that discount code, but only one of you. Either way, either way, it's absolutely incredible. If you're thinking, well, what am I going to do with it? You don't need to do anything with it. The fact that you have a parcel here of Brazilian Prey Batormin is excitement. Uh, you know, take it to a jeweler's. Yeah, yeah. Take it to a jeweler's. Say that's Brazilian Prey Batormin. I'm fairly sure they would be interested in purchasing it as is. I, I agree. Ross, Ross is saying in my ear, this might be one of the biggest opportunities that you ever see here at Jewelry Maker. I totally agree, Ross. Uh, this is the Windex Blue. That's the Windex oh colour. I've picked up a different one now. Look at how beautiful. We are going lower. I think this is probably one of the best opportunities you've ever had in 12 years of broadcasting here at Jewelry Maker. I genuinely do. I, even our sister channel would think this is utter madness. A carrot. Mad. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. You are literally sourcing one of the most expensive gemstones. Mm in the world you know we didn't talk about you know when i spoke about uh, quality parade baton means range from two thousand to fifty thousand dollars per carat no nowhere did they say 79 quid yeah. you know 79 pounds for a carrot of parade baton and it's not this is not lesser quality you know it's not heavily included you've got that beautiful luminosity the only treatment, a little bit of heat treatment. Some gemologists, some laboratories don't even um, don't even highlight that treatment because it can be replicated by the sun as well. You know, unbelievable. Hello, Gloria. OMG, get it? She said, absolutely, Gloria. Absolutely. Um, I'd be. I'm going to get it 100 because you know, even if that was, even if that was 799 pounds, I would still sit here quite confident, confidently as one person that's, in, you know, very passionate about gemstones to another. That's a great deal if it was 799 for a carrot of Brazilian Prey Batomli. 79 pounds is sheer madness. Now you've got to remember, and people will be thinking this as well, it's that old uh, sort of devil's advocate right now. Uh, well, how are you doing it then, Al? How, how on earth is Jewelry Maker bringing us one of the most expensive gemstones in the world at 79 quid if you've just told me prices like that are we exaggerating no we really aren't exaggerate, uh, exaggerating steve bennett who was the founder of gemporia he firstly is known widely by lots of gem traders out there he would have bought this parcel i would imagine decades ago decades ago and he's literally said oh, go on then you can have a you know he's he's semi-retired now he's doing what he wants to do um he's probably just released a few of these and so that's how this opportunity has come around that's the only reason so we would be absolutely crazy to miss out on this opportunity mm. uh saim hello to you jacqueline renata hello to you christine pamela valerie well done getting four valerie you've got four carrots of brazilian parade but normally how amazing is mm. that yeah, there's, yeah, Claire, there's loads of different ways of setting them if you want to use them. Yes, yeah, and, and today we'll be looking at, you know, we'll look at a little bit of bezel setting as well. We'll look at um, prong setting later. Lots of different ways, aren't there? Oh, lowest price. That I mean, uh, yeah, in the world, quite probably. Lowest price okay, in the world. I've never, you don't see Brazilian Prey Batormi 
hang on a minute, you don't see Mozambique Preber at double figure prices. Mm -hmm. Now, if your name is on this side of the screen, we had not, we had what a quantity of them, but they are flying out the door. So if you are Linda in Yorkshire, Cardiff, Leicestershire, Helen in Suffolk, London, M in Surrey, Debbie in Northamptonshire, Gloucestershire, Ayrshire, Susan in Wiltshire, Sue in Merseyside, you disappear off the screen. I can't see you all. If you are any of these people right now, make sure you check out your baskets because this opportunity may slip through your fingers. And I really, really don't want that to happen. Valerie, you've got five carats of Brazilian Preba tourmaline on its way to you. How unbelievably exciting. What, what an amazing collection that is. Um, hello to you, Telephone Bidders. Do you want to see how many we've got left? Uh, are we diving into a break after this? Yeah, cool. I am actually asking because I want to get some of these as well. We'd be silly not to, wouldn't we? We would be crazy not to. Um, because I haven't got this gemstone. I've got, I've got a lot of gemstones in my collection. I've been, you know, 20 years I've been sourcing mm. gemstones. I don't have Brazilian Preba tourmaline. No, scrap that. I haven't got any Preba tourmaline at all. And, and I wouldn't expect to be able to get it at a double figure price tag. Victoria, darling, you've got two carats of Bra a Brazilian mm. Preba tourmaline. Uh, Saim, you've got two carats. And you've got two carats. How amazing is that? Hello, Debbie saying, ladies, so happy with the price. Um, um, that I will pay you back the love. Uh, what's that? 15 discount. Uh, such a good price. Take advantage, people. Debbie, did you get it? Did you get well it? Done. Did you get that discount code? I mean, seriously. How amazing. It was good. £79. Pounds. How amazing is that? Well done, lovely. Um, hello to Lincolnshire. I spoke to a local jeweler about Pareba Tourmaline and he didn't know the gemstone. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's how rare it is. You know, um, okay, uh, how do I say this in a respectful way? Listen, I worked in those jewellers. I worked in a very high-end, expensive jewellers. Um, I've spoken, uh, you know, where we sold uh, where we sold Piaget, we sold Bulgari, we sold Cartier jewellery. It was astonishingly expensive, and there was quite, a, a, you know, it was, it was an expensive jewellers. I didn't know about Pareba Tourmaline then, because, you know, why would they teach me about Pareba Tourmaline if they couldn't stock it? Mm. That's the difference. That's why. Um, it is very, 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 very rare. You speak to a gemologist, they'll know about Pareba Tourmaline. Of course they will. You speak to anybody that, you know, uh, um, that learns and educates themselves about some of the world's greatest, most unknown and beautiful gemstones in existence, they'll know about Pareba tourmalines. Absolutely unbelievable. I've literally got 10 left now. Eleanor, Victoria, well done. Linda, Jacqueline, well done to you. There are 28 of you with it in your baskets and I've literally got seven chances. We're going to put a clock onto your screen. We're going to, just to give us all a chance as well. Um, literally in 57 seconds, we're going to be closing this auction. You can still do it though. Opportunities like this, let's just say it as it is. Opportunities like this will not come around every single day. They won't. You know, you're not going to see Pareba Tourmaline, even if it's Mozambique Pareba Tourmaline, at double figure prices. Hello, Linda saying, morning all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just got mine um, to go with my rough Pareba Tourmaline. How amazing is that? I purchased a while ago um, and you showcase. I remember the strand. I do remember it. It was like they were like kind of elongated, weren't they? I remember that very clearly. And that, you know, that I was so excited to be able to bring Pareba Tourmaline in its rough form but right now this is gem quality there are literally four left absolutely amazing carol amazing olga amazing victoria's getting three use that discount code if it's still available is it we don't know we don't actually know no one's confirmed um hello debbie saying sorry didn't get the discount code but i would be happy to pay 15 percent on top of that price jewelry maker has offered it's so good totally agree and me and me i wouldn't be disappointed if i missed out on that there's three of them left i'm gonna leave that with you do not go anywhere because claire's amazing kits are coming up um beautiful stones today so <coughs> honestly isn't it You've got a full parcel here. You, you don't just get one strand, you get all five strands in Claire's amazing kit. We'll put that available on pre-order as well. Two left on your Brazilian prey, but tourmalines, lovely jewelry makers. Um, make sure you check out your baskets. I'm going to get mine, be quick and check out. I'll see you after this.
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hello, crafters and makers. We're excited to announce that Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker, and Sewing Street will be attending the Creative Craft and Sewing for Pleasure event at the NEC from the 16th to the 19th of March. We'll have talks and live demonstrations from some of your favorite guests and presenters, special offers on selected products, and of course, the popular Tombola with lots of amazing prizes to be won. You can also receive 40% off your ticket by using code CREATIVE40. We would love to see you all there, so come and say hi at stand number F01. Let's get our craft on with Creative Craft. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just want to give you the heads up about the 14th, Valentine's Day. Coming up, the 12 o'clock kits are incredible and it's all about love. Don't miss it. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Ah, oh, welcome back. Well done, everybody. <gasps> As if it's only half past nine and look what you've achieved. Can you just, 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 just let that sink in? It's half past nine in the morning and some of you have just literally bought parcels of Brazilian prey but tourmaline. No, just to see it is wonderful. I know. Isn't it? What a way to start your week. And we are by no means done. We've still got so much to bring you, including Claire. Pass me that little box, actually, because that's in the way, isn't it? Talk us through oh. your beautiful jewellery. Um, and it's very you jewellery, this. Do you know, when, um, like I said, I don't think I've ever had a kit with that, that much of, 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 I mean, I love opal, yeah. um, of, of the gemstones and the different shapes, different sizes, um, but the quality in each of them. And, and, you know, and it was lovely because we always talk, don't we, about, um, oh, if you get a strand, you could use that. Don't worry about the drill hole and because of the quality of it, you know, that you'd want to maybe set it either in prongs or um, 
uh, bezel setting. And so I felt like this was an opportunity to... Um, really show it. Yeah, just and, and use different things in my stash. So head pins, sterling silver wire, um, bezel strips, sterling silver sheet. And it was just love. It was su there were such nice projects to work with. Just wait till you see the quality of, of these opals. Uh, well, and put the size is pass, pass some of your jewellery over yeah, so I can show look. everybody should at home. Because you these. showed me this, didn't you? In um, yeah, it's in, just, the, in, <laughs> in the ladies actually did, before we ladies, came yes. uh, we came on. I was just like, look at this opal, Al. It's I mean, magical. Seriously, the quality. The absolute quality, the, the, the amount of... Well, you can see even from here, can't you? You can see the play of colour even from great distances. Look at that. Wow, Claire. And I think because the, the sort of... The, so I love doing that style where it's sort of maybe slightly, uh, you know, with bezel setting and then the, and the granulation. And these work. They work perfectly for it but i mean look at that it's yeah. mesmerizing unbelievable apps and that's just one of the uh, that's one of one the of stones them. that's not one, one strand them. that's one stone that's one now, of those this is a steal of the day it's beyond deal of the day it's beyond star buy it's beyond uh, probably even well any auction i guess um look at those so what you are going to get today is basically five strands and what you are purchasing those five strands for should be equivalent to one does that make sense? You know, would it would be the price of one maybe elsewhere. So that's what this this you know this should be. Can I have the stand? I don't want to put your ring just down on the on the Oh, here it is. Sorry. Yeah, I've got it. Um here it is. Look at how beautiful that is. The quality and the caliber of the uh, of the opals that you are getting here is absolutely beautiful. Um so let's talk through. Let's talk you, you tell me which one first. The graphics are on your screens. There's a hundred of these available. Use this time wisely. Um, oh, it's, it's, it's almost impossible. To, I mean, maybe maybe the pairs, uh, maybe it's just the order that, that, that okay. they're in because they are. Well, there's the pairs. Gorgeous. Now, these are in the earrings, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, so so uh, in the earrings and, uh, and that's a pair as well the, the, in the ring. Is it? This one? Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, and you can see it now, can't you? Look at that quality. Opal does not like our studio lighting ordinarily. And then uh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Look at the quality of that play of colour. The more play of colour that you see within Opal, the finer the grade of the Opal. Um, I prefer Ethiopian Opal, personally, because you have that level of translucency which means you see play of colour not just on the surface, you see it right into the heart. I love this next strand. The quality of these Absolutely are amazing. Um, yeah. yeah. I think that's the strand that I've used. Um, I used on the earrings as well with the, I mean, again, the, the flashes and the, the colour that you get in there is so, so pretty. It is, isn't it? It's literally like a, it's a, a party, if you like, of play of colour within. Um, so there's the next strand. I'm actually going to struggle to hold all of these because you are getting all five of them. Now, these are not small. These are big Ethiopian yeah. opals. You've got a really lovely purity of that body colour as well. Um, and again, here in the studio, I don't want you to think that these are going to come home, they're going to land on your doorstep and they're going to be pure white. They most definitely, definitely aren't. What, what we are seeing and what you're seeing through the TV monitor is two different things, it really is. Um, but yet, yeah, when you take them out and actually sort of just surround them a little bit with the precious metal mm. um, in clay, amazing creations that's when you can really appreciate that color we've got another amazing strand of rondelles just here as well these are a little bit um squarer i would describe them um and last but by no le no means least you have this lovely almost like a honey a honey strand you're getting all four so pick a favorite whichever it might be imagine the price that you would pay for that one strand well right now it's at 29 pounds about 30 pounds, let's say, per strand of Ethiopian opal. Yeah, yeah. You know, we only discovered Ethiopian opal in the 1990s. In that very short period of time, gemologically speaking, it is. They're babies. It has gained immense popularity, not because you've had the likes of De Beers throwing millions of pounds behind it or Tans Night One literally marketing it, celebrity endorsements, etc. It's gained that achievement on its own accord because of the beauty that you get of Ethiopian opal. Opal is, a, it hasn't got a crystal structure like your diamonds um, or your sapphires, your emeralds, or your rubies or your tourmalines that you just saw. This is literally made up of silica, water that has become trapped between cracks and crevices over 
over millions of years. How the silica spheres are actually positioned within your opal equates to how much play of colour that you see. If they are kind of sporadic and dotted around or messy inside, then you're not going to see a play of colour. If they are aligned beautifully, then you see this. You see that beautiful performance. We said earlier on that you are going to get five strands as a steal of the day, probably the best purchase for the price of one. Hang on a minute, Ross. It's just, it's literally, how has it just dawned on me that you've, what you've just said? How is it, how has it just dawned on me that what you've just said? Because you have said it out loud, haven't you? Do you know what I'm talking about now, Claire? Yeah. You said it out loud, didn't you? I did yes. say it out loud. Yeah. How, yeah. Is the, how are we doing that? Yeah. How are we doing that? You're going to get five strands for the price of one. And for the those of you that were paying attention, I clearly wasn't because it's only just <laughs> dawned on me. Um, you're going to get all five for that price. How is that even happening? And what a wonderful way of getting that, that gemstone in all the different faceted, plain, your rondelles, your pears. Or with a great drill hole that, as I've tried to show you, you know, yes, use them. 20 pounds. Or, or, or don't Claire, use them. Do you remember when one strand, I'm just going to go with this one here, when that strand on its own would have been triple figure prices? Do you, it would have been yeah. 129 pounds. Yeah. Go back to our immediate days, not that long ago. Yeah. Yeah. No disrespect to immediate. A strand like that would have been probably about 129 pounds. Yeah, as you see, when I think about opal strands, I do, that's what I think, I think around that 80 pounds, things that, you know, yeah. that, that type of, yeah. We're not part of immediate anymore though, are we? No, we're not. No, we're not. We're right now at 20 pounds per strand and we are nowhere near stopping. We have a quantity of 100. A hundred available opportunities. Nobody is going to be paying £99 or £20 per strand, which is just madness. These are completely natural. They're also not doublets or triplets. We're not talking about little slithers of carrot weight here. They are solid, natural, genuine Ethiopian opals. They are guaranteed to be sellouts today. You get all five. You haven't got to choose. High quality opal. Remember, gemologists will say... Any opal that produces over 80% play of colour is regarded as exceptional. Right now, we're at £10 per strand. That's incredible. £10. Yeah. Pounds, less than 10% of what opal used to be on our screen some, what was it, five, six years ago? That's absolute madness. And literally, the main seam, which actually, dis where Ethiopian opal was discovered, they used to literally abseil in groups and sort of uh, and collect this gemstone, literally on vertical, vertical uh, uh, cliffs. You know, that's gone. It's completely and utterly gone. So it's not all of a sudden more available, and that's why we're getting these amazing prices. It's actually dwindled considerably. Plus, you're, you're not getting Ethiopian opal, which is lacking that beautiful play of colour. When it comes to opal, play of colour is the defining feature, and you have that in abundance. What we're looking at in the studio, you can still see those visions of greens, blues, yellows, reds. Reds being the rarest colour, by the way. Um... And I'm not sheltering it. You know, what, what's it going to do when you get this home, when you hold it in, within your fair hands, when you actually influence it to natural light in your home? Look at what you are achieving today. A tenner, a tenner per strand. Mind, yeah. Obviously, no reflection of the true value or worth. Janet Gloucester, Gabrielle, Julia, hello to you. Julie, Darley, uh, Dahlia, sorry, Suzanne, Karen, uh, Carol, well done to you. Antoinette, Caroline, another Caroline, Leslie, Christina, maker, maker, maker. Half the stock's gone. Look at the colours on there. Do you think we're stopping? Claire, did you know what we were taking this? I, I wasn't sure until I, I, I think, and then you've, you've said it, so. This will sell out. It, it Much seems, like your amazing. Brazilian Preba, we'd be, we'd, be, we'd be daft not to, wouldn't we? There are certain moments in our lifetime, I think, where we would think, oh, it'd be ridiculous for me to miss out on that opportunity. Absolutely. And it, well, I think when you, when you get it, and I mean, I didn't use anywhere near all of mine. Um, I, I've never had that, that sort of bundle of, of, of that gemstone in a kit. It's, it's just exquisite to work with. And to be able to do, you know, full, you know, large drops like that with all of those rondelles. 
I've got a jewellers local to well, Andrew Clare in Stratford upon Avon. There's a really lovely jewellers on the main um, in the main town centre, mm -hmm. that and she, uh, the owner, absolutely adores Ethiopian opal. And if you walk past her window, nine times out of ten, it's literally Ethiopian opal. There's not one single piece in her jewel in jewellers, which is a double figure price tag. Not one single piece, you know. And there are amazing pieces and designs, not as amazing Claire's, obviously. 60 of these have gone out of the 100 that we have available. The final 20 will disappear literally in a matter of minutes, I'm sure of it, because we're not even stopping here. I mean, how many of you can remember? How many of you can remember when Ethiop Ethiopian opal strands, no longer, they weren't necessarily longer, strands like any one of these would have been £100 plus. £39.99. We're talking about, what, £8? Eight pounds each. Madness, isn't it? It is madness. I mean, you, that's an that's an agate strand. I think if you put if you if you did a briolette wrap, you wouldn't even have to have the cluster on the top. Just a briolette wrap, and you had a, a pendant, an opal pendant of that size. You know that would be on a sterling silver chain. That that would be forty pounds, wouldn't it? All day long. All day long. That's one of them. This ring should be triple figure prices. You're using one opal. One amazing opal, mm. eight pounds. That's the price. No disrespect. I love agates. I love quartz. I love uh, you know. I love the more abundant gemstones. That's that kind of price tag, or a mm. jasper or something like that. It's not the price tag that you find with Ethiopian opal. And if you think that Ethiopian opal is in the shadows of Australian opal, I would disagree. I do disagree because once upon a time, yeah, opal, Australian opal dominated. But like I said a few moments ago, Ethiopian opal has gained its popularity and its achievement, not because of De Beers or a, a big organization, um, say Levion, for example, um, absolutely, although they are really behind this gem now. But what I mean is it's gained that popularity without their aid. Its beauty has driven its, its popularity. $39.99. Now, there is lots of lovely sterling silver to bring you as well um, alongside Claire's amazing kits. Um, this, this beautiful bundle here. So you've got your slider bracelets with your gemstones, which includes tanzanite, grand digerite, and turquoise. Can you believe that? How beautiful. I know. Would beautifully, wouldn't it, with the opal? Definitely. Box chain. You've got a lovely sterling silver component just here, and you've got silver wire. That's available on pre-order right now, so you can shop ahead on that. And any questions that you have for Claire, then do feel free to message us. But Claire, take it away, okay, lovely. Okay, so um, I, although I've done the earrings, uh, and, and so if you look back, um, it was a couple of weeks ago, but I did um, a whole kit um, on briolette wrapping and those bubbles, so um, you, could, you could look up uh, uh, for that to get that technique. So what I thought I'd show you is, if you did want to do it so that you've got, if you're working with your sterling silver, and to do it on a smaller scale as well. So I'll talk you through how um, how I made the ring, and then we can um, I can show you how to set the, the stones if that's what you want to do. So um, you would, uh, I've taken, so this is like, so one of the smallest um, opals that you can see uh, there, but it's, it's, you know, these are absolutely exquisite. So I really wanted to show them off um, with my precious metal. So I um, use my, the finer bezel strip to go round, the, you know, so you go all the way around, solder that, then onto your sheet, uh, saw that out. And that, that's when you've got, if you've got any of your um, little piece of scrap and you've got your granulation, uh, you can add into it there, which I think works really well with um, with the uh, you know with the opals as well. And then it's on. Um, we, I've soldered it onto a, a ring shank, so that's going to give you something that looks uh, like that. So you can see. So we've got the the bezel setting there. So even though we know we've got it's got the drill hole, um, and you can see it slightly, but it tends to just get lost um, in that, all that lovely play of colour. So I'm going to pop that in. And like I say, if you want to, uh, you know, if, if, if working like this isn't your thing and you want to, you know, there are drill holes in all of those um, strands that you can use. So I'm going to just take the, so if we have a look, I'm going to pop that in. So that's just sitting in there. So I'm just going to push that down. Now, because it's not that the flat back, so you'd just be looking and we want to get it so that it's, it's nice and secure. So, and, and obviously with all stones, we want to make sure that it's not moving around and we can start and just start to push that, that in. 
Okay, so I'm going to start now. So I'll be, I'll, it's a mixture of, and I'll have to move my thumb so that, so that you can see it. So I'm going to start here. Now what I have done is, if you can see ever so slightly, I have filed off a little bit of the bezel strip because I'm going to have a lot of silver around the, um, the top part there where the stone gets uh, smaller and less here. So I'm just going to start and just push. Now it's a, it's a softish stone, so I'm just going to take my time. So I've got my pusher now. And I'll start and push that over. But the nice thing with this sort of setting is if you wanted to, depending on where the drill hole is, you can you can actually cover it with um, with your the bezel strip. It sort of hides it a little bit as well. And I guess for those people that do resin, you could you could work with that as well. But I found it just it sort of kept it hidden anyway. So I'm just going to start and push this over. So making sure that that stone, because like we say, it's, it's not a cabochon, so it hasn't got a flat base. So I'm just holding it in position and I'm gonna start to rock and roll that bezel strip over. And you can see how this is then. I'm just gonna tighten that up just a little bit. So it's just really important that you take your time and just get it so that it stops moving around. With some stones that, you, uh, you know, I've, I've seen that people um, can sort of like, will pack something underneath. Obviously with this, because you've got the, um, depending on which opal you work with. I mean, if you have a look, I'm just going to carry on doing that. The, the one that you've got out on the necklace, the yeah. pendant, that's, that is a, it's, it's slightly um, uh, more opaque. And you've got, it's almost like a galaxy when you look in there. I mean, yeah. Again, you're seeing it in a really... It's it's all light, because it, yeah. it, it is that. It's a real like um, you know when you see like northern lights. It, yeah. That's that's what it feels like. It you know it is. So you can see I'm just going to keep working my way all the way around. So I've got my pusher and I'm just going working my way, pushing up and over. So that stone now is, is is has stopped moving. But I mean you can see this is one of the this is one of the the smallest opals that you'll get on that strand. And once it's gone into that setting, it actually, the drill hole that we know was sort of going across here, because you've got that big sheet of, of those fantastic colours there, it's completely, you know, it's completely distracting you. The drill hole is going to be covered either side by the bezel strip. So you shouldn't um, necessarily get, you know, sort of anything as you're wearing it, anything going into it, because it's going to be covered either end by the setting. So you can see, and I'll just, you know, you'd be taking your time, you know, as, as bezel um, setting like this, you know, take, take your time with it so that you get lovely, nice results. And I'm just going to keep going. And then I really want to spend a bit of time on that top point there. And you're pushing over. But you can already see, so that's a couple of minutes of just pushing over. So it's that, if we look at it like this, so I'm pushing up and then rolling over like that and going round. So push up and then over. And so I'd be spending time then going around this section where you can see, so I could actually even take a little bit of that off, uh, but you can see the, the gap of the, in between the stone and the silver. And that's what we want to, um, we want to push, push the, the silver bezel over. But you can already see, I mean, that, I mean, I could stare at that all day. I mean, I yeah. literally get no work they are mesmerizing, done by, by looking they? at that, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely mesmerising. Um, Claire, while you're doing that, shall I bring to air this lovely sterling silver bundle? Yes, yeah. Wonderful. So um, maybe there's only 50. This is very limited. 24 of you already have this in your basket. So you are getting three beautiful box slider bracelets. So you've got, as you can see here, your turquoise, you've got your tanzanite and you have the grand digirite. So you get all three of those. You've got a metre of your sterling silver box chain as well, which is just stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, you have your 0.4 uh, wire as well, so a meter of your 0.4, and then you have this absolutely beautiful sterling silver component just here, which is topaz. That's not cubic zirconia, um, that's topaz with that lovely graduation. So um, it could be a lovely addition alongside your opal. Look at all of this. You get a huge, huge, huge selection of this. There are only 50 available opportunities. Again, the fact that you've got the meter length is a box chain and your um, three slider bracelets are box chain. You know, you've got that perfect suite of jewellery, haven't you? They're, they're flying out already on pre-order. So well done to everybody. A significant gram way. So, um, okay. 
Open up this auction opportunity at, wow, that's very good, isn't it? 99.99, we're opening it here. So that means each slider bracelet, I mean, you've got Grand right Tanzanite and Turquoise here. Mm, yeah, all the blues that would go beautifully, wouldn't it, with some of the um, strands oh, that we had, cool. yeah, yeah. And the ones in the eight o'clock. But we're not stopping there, Claire. And you get a meter of your box chain, and you get your sterling silver point four wire, and you get your, to your uh, topaz um, pendant just here as well. We are not stopping there. How would you incorporate this into your opals then? Would you be able... So the 0 0.4 is, is what I used um, for doing your briolette wrap. So, so that's just, this. Uh, yeah, yeah. You could also um, make your own uh, featherweight head pins if you needed to with that, with that wire. It's a really, really useful gauge of, of wire. And I actually, um, it wasn't one of our chains, but Lola um, had broken one of her box chains. Um, and it was actually very easy to solder, which I was surprised oh, really? about. Yeah, yeah. So you could, um, you know, if you wanted to add anything onto that, you could. Literally can solder directly onto yeah, it. Solder yeah. the, what a clasp, literally. Well, yeah, she, she'd actually, she'd broken it. So I sort of soldered the two ends together. Oh, and we're not even stopping there? Not even stopping there. We had, we had 50. They're flying on pre-order. I don't blame you. Big. I mean, even if you're, even if you're thinking, oh, I didn't get Claire's um, opal. Maybe you, I don't know if they've sold out. They may well have done. But what an amazing stash essentials for, yeah, for high-end luxury those, components. Yes. Well, you are, aren't you? Slider bracelets are always so popular. Mm. You know, the slider bracelets. What's that now? One, two, three, four. Let's call. Five, well, six components, isn't it? So for forty nine ninety nine divided by six, about eight pound. Eight pounds thirty three mm -hmm. for those slider bracelets. Eight pounds thirty three for the meter long length of box chain. And that you could, couldn't you? Could make those into uh, necklaces if you wanted to. Yeah. Keep them as bracelets. Very useful. It's a lovely mix. Absolutely. Amazing. Make sure you check out your baskets. Lots of you getting involved. Back to you, Claire. That's it, pretty much. So if I show you now, so you just keep going. Um, it's, you know, bezel setting is quite, it's quite repetitive like that. But so you can see I've started to sort of push, it, um, push it over the edge. So if, if I sort of hold it like that, you can, you can maybe see. So the work that I'd be, I'd sort of continue to do with this. So if you can see as it's going all the way around there. So we can already see, so what I'd need to do, I'm just gonna, I'd carry on a little bit here. And what I would go and do is upside down so it doesn't fall into the setting. I would take a little bit of that, that edge off there and then do the same of pushing it. How, um, would, you, how would you remove some of the So silver? just, I'd go very, very carefully keeping it that way. And I'm just take off tiny bits and I mean tiny bits and, and that file is going nowhere near the stone. Just little bits there because we've got, like I say, so it's the smaller part, um, the smaller part of the stone, but you've got most of the, um, uh, the the silver there. So what you would try and do, which I did try and do, is to sort of I would slope that um, when you know. So before the stone goes in, just take a little bit of that that area off. But you just keep doing that, and then when you're when you're happy that it's it's set and it's not moving, you would then go round with your burnisher and just neaten up and, and shine that, that edge there. And you can see how that's then starting to, to shine. And the burnisher brings it back to good as new, doesn't it? Absolutely. Amazing. Stunning. And that's part Absolutely of your stunning. gem setting, uh, your tool set? Yes, in the, in the toolkit there, yes, yeah, yeah. So it's just a different, you know, we all, we, I felt we always talked about, or, you know, it, although it's got the drill hole, I would set it like a cabochon and treat it like that. I just thought it, was, it was, might be interesting for people to see, you know, there is a drill hole in there. We know there's a drill hole. Uh, but it's a different a different way of setting it like that. You can absolutely use the, the drill hole, and especially if you know you've got that last bundle with the 0.4, mm. absolutely do it. But it's another way could, to work with it. Could I use this technique with the tourmalines that we've had today? So your Pareba or maybe your on uh, the, other parcel? Um, so I have worked with bezel strip on slightly larger faceted stones but the you had didn't you you had the, big stones the, yeah and, and you had the um oh the my in there so yes definitely 
you could use Definitely. those alongside it as well. Yeah. Um, amazing, that same technique. Make sure you check out your baskets on this sterling silver mega bundle. There's a huge amount of precious metal within that uh, amazing $49.99. Um, how incredible is that? Lucy, Essex, good luck. Mary, Jane, good luck. Tracy in Manchester, Tracy in Lancashire, Beverly, Alison, Maker in Bristol. Um, hello, John and Kenna Digion. Hello to you, Alice and Victoria, Make and Multibine, Gillian, well done, tons. There's tons and tons and tons of you there. Claire, you are absolutely amazing. You really are. Thank you. I, I, I loved, I loved what loved I love so much about your jewellery is it's so, it's so wearable, your jewellery. Oh, thanks. It is, it, it's the kind of thing that I would absolutely go to a shop Thank and you. buy or an artisanal market. Oh, if I saw thanks. your gorgeous face, I'd definitely be buying it. Um, so we've still what, sorry? Less than 20 remaining of this amazing opal uh, bundle. You're not just getting the one strand, you are getting all five, which is absolutely amazing, truly amazing. Um, in different cuts as well. So this is literally what the bundle that Claire used to, to make all of your beautiful cre uh, pieces. Um, yeah, look at that. Five strands mm -hmm. of gorgeous Ethiopian mm -hmm. opal, 39.99. It's not a deal of the day. It's not a star buy, it's not an early bird. It is a steal of a day. Well, Ollie, Ollie, uh, we were saying earlier on, Ollie, do you remember when one strand was like £130? Yeah? One strand of Ethiopian mm. opal. And that was still a great deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, hello to you, Julie. Say, morning, ladies. I've been wanting to get some opal for a very long time. What a fabulous quality gemstone. And my word, what an amazing price. Definitely. Now is the time to do yeah. it, Julie. I wouldn't leave it in your basket, though, lovely, because they are getting quite limited now. Um, hello, Elizabeth, oh. saying, wow, got mine. Thank you, JM. Lots of love to you, Liz, as well. It's awesome, oh. isn't it? It is. It's so, uh, just perfect to have it in those different cuts as well, different shapes, sizes. Margot, Claire, as usual, you tutorials are ace. Oh, thanks, Margot. You are a thank tonic, you. my darling. Oh, you really thank are. you. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I mean, this vision of... And we're looking at it in its worst possible light here yes, in the studio. Yes, that's it, isn't it? Yes, get that's it home. That's the thing. Yeah. When you get... And so many times we have messages from our lovely viewers who say, oh, gosh, jewellery maker Opal, you know, when you get it home, you really see mm. what, you know, what, what Claire and I rave about all the time. The quantity that we have remaining of this kit, out of the 100, is just 17. And we have literally, look, almost... We're, we're in our fourth row of names now. So Edith, Lorna, Thomas, hello to you, Armando. Hello to Rachel, Francesca, um, Janet, Cornwall getting two. Well done. Mel, Worcestershire, Maker. Look at all of those. Oh, you, do you know, Michael, I've never seen that. I didn't know it did that. Yeah, I didn't know that happened. Let's look, look at this. Ready? Yeah, so, so it goes right below that. So there's always a I would say you disappear off the screens, but I didn't, didn't oh. realise it disappeared that far. Oh, amazing. How long have I been here and I didn't know that? We are over allocated. Claire, you have an amazing talent. She oh, does, doesn't thanks, she, Mandy? Mandy. Thank you. You are very clever, Claire. And they're using just Thank literally you. one stone from a strand. Because they are, except they you know, they are exceptional. And I think, you know, I mean that, you know, in sort of you're working on um, you're working on pieces, but then you have to stop for so long because they're just beautiful to look at. And I mean, these have been kept me mesmerized for for days because they are just exquisite. Keeps you out of trouble though, doesn't it? it sort of, for a little bit, yeah. <laughs> for a little bit. But it just makes you happy because, you know, when we it talk does. about like the treasure as well, I feel like, like that's what I look at. Uh, but opals, I, they're, they're treasure to me. They absolutely are. Yeah. Absolutely, I totally agree. William Shakespeare can't be wrong, can he? Amazing. Well done. The final eight of these. Beatrice Yvette's just got three. Jan, you've got yours. Lovely. Well done. Carol, hello to you. Jacqueline, Karen, Anne, Wendy, uh, Karen, Christina, Sarah. Yeah, this is the worst possible lighting that you will see your opals in. So it is really frustrating for us as crew because you know what? You go into a posh, you go into a lovely posh uh, uh, um, jewellers and they'll have spotlights, won't they? And they'll have a, it's all quite ambient in there. And they do that. To make the, you know, A, it looks nice from the outside and the interior looks lovely, but they do it to showcase the gemstones. Do you know what we're working with here at Jewelry Maker? Floodlights. And I'm not even exaggerating, they are literally bog standard floodlights. So it, look, you can see them above us, literally above us, floodlights. Yeah. They're not the most, uh, they're not the most ideal light sources to appreciate your gemstone. So um, know that when you get these home, they really are remarkable. Now, um, I've got, I can just give you, I, I can't not mention this again because there is only a couple available now. 
Brazilian Paraiba tourmaline, these opportunities truly do not come around every single day. Brazilian Paraiba tourmaline, and you know, just the smallest amount of heat treatment. Seriously, we, I can't believe we're at a double, uh, a double figure. That's the smallest of them, that in that Windex blue, you've heard that before, that Windex blue, shouldn't be 79 pounds it should be more than that that's the smallest stone um guaranteed uh, guaranteed certified as well brazilian preba um those of you that know your gemstones will will probably have thought like 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 myself and claire no i'll never own it i'll never ever own it because i don't have the fifty thousand pounds that or dollars rather that it can fetch i don't have even if it was like four figures i don't have that amount of money just to you know frivolously spend on beautiful gemstones mm -hmm. even when they are as rare as this I mean, £79 is making it possible for everybody, isn't it? So opportunities like this do not come around every single day. I got mine during the break. I hope you do too. The final four. Olga, well done getting two. You've got two carrots of Brazilian Pereba tourmaline. Do you know how few people in this world can say that? So few people in this world. So few people in this building... In this building, I know Toby, uh, Toby Cavill's mum's got an amazing Brazilian Pereba tourmaline. It's unbelievable, but uh, you can imagine the price tag to go alongside it as well. Uh, County Durham, hello, Shaim. You've got two carrots of Brazilian Pereba tourmaline. Victoria, you've got three carrots. Aberdeen, you've got five. How amazing is that? I've literally got a couple of them left there, so I'll leave that with you. But I was so excited, I have to, I had to mention again. Um, we have five of... Oh, oh, this, it's this one. I know this one. I love, are you ready for this? I don't say this lightly. This is probably one of the nicest strands of pearls you'll ever see. Not have ever seen, you will ever see. Oh, look at those. Do you agree with me? Yeah. I think it doesn't get any yeah. better than that. That is probably one of the best strands of pills the we'll ever see. Yeah. Everything, isn't it? How many of these are available, Ross? Five. When are we doing this? Oh, now. Um, gorgeous Dan. Is that the silk with it as well? Yeah. That is, and you that get is the clasp. Perfect. And you get the clasp, which I I'll be honest, I'm hardly going to mention. You get the clasp. It's lovely. You get the box. You get the silk, which is the perfect colour of silk as well to go alongside it. Um, thank you, darling. Yeah, that's perfect. What I will keep saying is these. this is probably the best, one of the best pearl strands you will ever see. And I genuinely mean it. They are flawless, completely flawless. You know, that's a word I use very, very, very carefully when it comes to organic gemstones because pearls are formed within a living organism. You know, you've got your five virtues. I'll briefly skim over those. So that means that... Let me put them down. I don't want to hold them like that a second just because if I drop them. Um, you have here size. Well, look at the size. Let me tell you, you've got eight and a half to eleven and a half, and that's the graduation there. They are perfect rounds, which leads me on to the second um, shape. These are perfect rounds. It doesn't say it on your graphics, but they are perfectly spherical. Then we start talking about the colour. Now, you can get pearls which are um, bleached and dyed. Nothing wrong with that. However, they're nowhere near as valuable as natural colours. These are completely natural. You've got the peaches and the purples and these wonderful, like, metallic -y gold bronze tones. Absolutely stunning. Then we start talking about the nacre. The nacre is like our skin. It's like our skin, you know... Um, if they are blemish free, then ugh, again, very, very, very much sought after. That leads into the final uh, fifth virtue, and that is uh, basically the luster. You can have a, a pearl which ticks four out of the five. If it lacks the luster, then it's not really a very beautiful strand. Luster is the most important. It's how reflective, how reflective that pearl is. They say fine quality pearls should reflect the colors of its surrounding. Your skin tones, for example, the clothing that you wear. It is one of those few gemstones where you don't wear it, it wears you, if that makes sense. You see those lovely colors coming through within the gemstone itself. This is truly remarkable. And I'll say it again, I think this is one of the best strands you'll see. You will see, not, not have seen, you will see. So now I've bigged it up, let's show it to you. Because they're already going. Sold it at the neckline first. There are only five. Look at this quality. It 
it gets no better than it's that. It's breathtaking, isn't it? It really is. Mm. Ross, does my memory serve me correctly? If you are somebody that wants pearls of the finest quality, this is probably one of the best you'll ever see. I truly believe. You go down, you go down Hat uh, Hatton Garden, Bond Street, you go to, I don't know, central London, you look, you look at any high-end jewellers which specialises in pearls, you will find this level of calibre and you will find it at five figures. I'm so sure of it. You know, we, we talk about Yoko of London, don't we? Yoko of London, renowned uh, here in the UK for supplying some of the most beautiful pearls. They are 20 grand. You're talking 20 grand and you've got far less pearls within their necklaces. What's so remarkable about them? Well, they're perfectly spherical. Um, they're natural in their colour. Um, the nacre is beautiful, nice thick nacre, which obviously equates to a wonderful smooth surface and an amazing reflective luster. Look, make it, I mean, we're showing you a photograph off their very website right now. If you want natural purple pearls from Yoko of London, I love that piece of jewellery. It's £22,500. We're at £299. These aren't imitation pearls. These are natural, certified natural pearls. There is one gemstone. Oh, do you know what, Ollie? I said, and I said this, Ollie, I say this to Ollie because we don't work with each other on a daily basis. A friend of mine, Ollie, asked me recently, what, what gemstones should I be buying? And I said, get the jewelry maker pearls. I think we're the best, uh, uh, one of our greatest attribu uh, attributes and strengths is our pearl buying. I buy more pearls than any other gemstone out there. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know what the pinnacle of quality is? What's on your screens right now? We're under magnification. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something quite unconventional. If you go back to what Ollie was showing you, find a fault. Try and find a fault in these pearls. They are literally faultless, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I would not this with the silk provided, and it's just me personally. And the reason why I'm not mentioning the silver class is I wouldn't put it on silver. I would put it on gold, and I know it costs money. You can buy a gold class for about 100 quid. This is why jewelry makers should do gold. I truly think so. Because this quality on a silk with an 18 karat gold class would probably be priced, well, in the thousands, definitely, if you were to buy it from a mm, jeweler's. I would get gold as well, yeah. Take two pearls off it. You've got a, a, a yeah. You've mm -hmm. got a sweet. You should. How on earth are we at one hundred ninety nine pounds? It is. We're so over allocated, and this is why. And I've I've kind of stopped going on about it now because I, I I was starting to sound like a little bit of a broken record. I was talking to the powers that be, just saying, look, we should sell gold. We should be selling, and I'm not talking nine karat gold. We should be selling eighteen karat gold class. Honestly, Scott will be rolling his eyes at me right now, our managing director, because I've, I've forgotten how many times we spoke about it. Wayne will be rolling his eyes at me. Why? Because of the quality of the pearls that I am holding for you right now. If your name is on this side of the screen right now, it's not guaranteed to you as of yet. I've got one left, Victoria, Cornwall, Mary. I have to tell you, I'm quite envious. I really am. I'm very, very, very envious. There's still one remaining opportunity. And get it home for forty nine seventy five. This is a pearl necklace that I would absolutely expect. I wouldn't be surprised if it was five figures in some places. You know, if I was to see this in Bond Street, it would be in one of those velvet sort of lined windows. It wouldn't have a price tag underneath it. Um, the final few opportunities, I'm running out of time. There is one left. And there's 12 of you with it in your basket. Have you ever seen anything more amazing? Stunning, 13 of you with it in your basket. Okay, come the come the break. I I'll be getting one of those if there's if there's one. Can I have a look at that? Of course you can. Okay. Have you ever seen anything more amazing? Mm -hmm. You do get the silk. You do get the beautiful box clasp as well, which I know I've hardly hardly mentioned. <gasps> I think it's sold out as it's gone. Well done, well done. Oh, honestly, enjoy. they are. And you get that too. But the reason why the reason why I have barely mentioned any of this. Is because me personally, use your silk, use your box, absolutely. I personally think that should go on 18 karat gold. This box, I think that would be best part of 30 quid, do you reckon? In some places. 
It's, I, I, I'll say it again. Je one of jewelry makers' greatest strengths is our pearl buying. Black diamonds, anyone? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, wow. How perfect are those? Oh, perfect for um, tube setting, aren't they? I'm going to open this box if I can. <gasps> they are midnight black as well. And it might sound the most peculiar statement, but there's a difference between high quality black diamonds and lesser quality. What, what separates them? Um, thank you, Claire. What separates them apart is basically black diamonds can be quite matte, quite porous in actual fact. Um, so they almost look like there's oil on water. Top quality black diamonds, there we go, thank you, lovely, um, will actually have the most amazing, still metallic in their appearance, but they will have, there's no porous texturing on the surface. Does that make sense? Um, when you look at these, again, Michael's going to show you under magnification. There, it, these are probably some of the best. You got, I don't think you can get oh, much better wow. than that in black diamonds. Look at that. Do you see where I'm coming from? They're almost mirror-like. There's no, they're not porous, they're not matte, they are literally like mirrors, black mirrors. You are looking at here two beautiful round brilliant cuts, the precision of that faceting as well. I mean, look at the coolie, look how precise that angle is mm. on the coolie itself. I mean, these are just crying out for your tube settings, aren't they? Um, yeah, absolutely perfect, or, or in one of the larger pearls that we've done, depending on what you wanted to do with them. But how great to have them as uh, rounds as well. I bought some black diamond earrings many moons ago from Gemporia. Um, Paula Bennett built them at the same time because they were in the staff shop. They were, I, I mean, think at the time, they're just in silver. They're, you know, they're in silver, teeny weeny, probably smaller than that in actual fact. Um, and I bought, I think they were about £100 back then. You know, £100. Tiny, though. They're minuscule. And they're not that quality. At £299... Look, I'm more than happy. I think that's a great deal. But I know, Roscoe, you're not going to stop there. He says, I'm not stopping here either. Ah. Almost said it with a head shake. So if he's getting all sassy in there. I think he is, well. yeah. Not stopping here either. Look at what we're getting. Beautiful jet black, precision cutting, high degree of polish, black diamonds. Perfect. Mm. Oh, black diamond engagement ring, totally like Carrie Bradshaw from Sex in the City. 100%. But why a black diamond? Because you're different from all the rest. I love that. I absolutely love that. It's romantic. Um, and we are in, well, surrounded by the love heart balloons, aren't we? Mm. Eve of Valentine's Day and all of that. How beautiful. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, absolutely. But you know what? A, black, a diamond is 10 on the most scale. A black diamond is beyond that. They're actually the hardest of all your black diamonds because there's a carbon content within there. That's why it gets this beautiful, obviously carbon, sorry. Um, yeah, there's, that's what gives it that beautiful intensity of black. As if we're going lower. Would these be easy to set in tubes? Your tube Three, setting? Yes, because they're, um, yeah, it's the, the sort of saying um, approximately three mil. So yeah, you just get your corresponding tube. That's the, yeah, wonderful. You know, you think uh, if you're going to make, you know, two rings with that. Two diamonds You, you know, you tears. think what you, you would, you know. Wedding bands, mm -hmm. pairs of earrings, into your pearls. You know, maybe you've got a lovely fireball pearl or something like that. You could yeah, it would sit it very nicely in that, wouldn't it? Clay, you could incorporate in the same techniques alongside your beautiful... Um, what did you call this technique here? The bezel setting and the granulation. Granulation. Yes. So maybe yeah. you can include some black diamonds in, 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 in Clay's yeah. designs yeah. like this. How amazing would that be? How amazing. £29.99. pence. Make sure you check out those baskets. Well done, everybody. What a mad deal. I can see the ring. Mad. I can see the ring. Can you? Like, yeah. You're yeah. visualising it. I'd do a very, very simple um, tube setting because I think you'd just wear that all the time, wouldn't you? At that price tag, me. I think I'd probably multi-buy and maybe think about eternity rings. Well, yes, yeah. Yeah, have a few, yeah. 
Amazing, amazing. Now, I've got a couple of deals before we dive into your early bird. Um, let's do a mega deal, Claire. Mega deal. I feel like I should have a Michael Wolf voice. That's a mega deal. Thank you. There you go. That's what we were looking for. Um, love this. <gasps> oh. Bit of you, these, aren't they? Um, it's, oh, it's, it's like nice. the introduction of a Bond film. Are you ready? Hang on. Hang on. Listen to, can, I don't know if you can hear this. Wait a sec. Can you hear that? This is bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> it was the sound. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look. I know! I know, I know, I know. Look at these. Your Cullinan topaz. Yes, they are named after the Cullinan diamond. The reason why this parcel, this, oh, look at that. Look at this princess cut. Seriously, look at that one there. Seriously. Um, ser I mean, they are named after the Cullinan diamond because this is arguably some of the best topaz we've ever discovered in its rough form. So it's, it's, it's almost an identical story to that of the Cullinan diamond. And again, we've got information on that, haven't we, Ross? Have we got many of these available? Oh, there's 100 available. You are getting this quantity as well. Look at that parcel. Diamonds are forever. It's, uh, it's like that, isn't it? It's like the beginning of a Bond film. I love all the um, different shapes you've got in there as well. Look at all the baguettes that you've got. They are it's all green. I need to please me. <laughs> sorry, I can hear Shirley Bassey right now. Um, how long, sorry? 100 people on the phone lines on your first price crash, says Ross. Because this is not what you are paying. We're going even lower. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Honestly, crazy. Ah, oh, 10 carats. They are utterly flawless. Oh, wow. Not what we are closing at. Let me just explain. Whilst you're all rushing to the phone lines, um, please do so in order, manner. Please don't trip. Uh, but dial as quickly as possible um, or use the web, of course, and the app. There's no cues there. What is the Cullen and Diamond? I think most of us know. Um, but we'll, 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 let me just give you the introduction on why this is called Cullen and Topaz. Well, the Cullen and Diamond were discovered in Transvaal, South Africa in 1905 and presented as a birthday gift uh, to Edward VII of England uh, by the Transvaal government. It weighed over 3,000 carats, making it the largest gem quality rough diamond ever found. When discovered, it was valued at over $21 million in today's money. Um, okay, so we're talking about the finest, most flawless, natural diamond discovered in its rough form. Uh, despite its tremendous value, the diamond was famously sent by registered post from South Africa to England. The rough stone was then cut into nine large gemstones, given, each given a name, Cullen and one to nine. And 90, 96 smaller st diamonds. I mean, seriously, this, this thing was vast. Um, the largest diamond is 530 carats, that's Cullen and one, also known as the Star of Africa, which now sparkles in the royal scepter of the British Crown Jewels. It is the largest colors, colorless cut diamond in the world second largest stone color and two is 317 carats second star of africa was set into the imperial state crown which is used at coronations which we will see obviously very soon coming up soon um, of british monarchs the other larger diamonds are variously worn as pendants and brooches and remain in, um, a part of the brit uh, private jewelry collection of um, elizabeth ii in 1907, the Cullinan stone, still in its rough state, was sent to London by Premier Mine Company owners to try and find a suitable buyer. Curiously, it was simply posted by registered mail while a decoy was used in an armoured ship everyone thought contained the real stone. Arriving safely enough, no private buyer showed any, um, showed any interest and so pushed um, by the Prime Minister of Transvaal, uh, General Louis uh, Bothell, uh, Botha, Sorry, the Transvaal government bought the stone from the Pre uh, Premier Mine Company and paid a price tag of £150,000. Seriously, I wish I was there at that time. Not that I've got £150,000, but when you put, you'd raise it somehow, wouldn't you? Mm. Um, somehow, over £80 million or £21 million in today's money. 
Let's show you a quick picture of the Cullinan diamond. Um, as there it is in its rough form, as you can see, completely flawless in its um, in its rough form, without a single facet. These days we know it more um, recognisably within the crown scepter, and of course within the imperial crown. I can quickly show you a photograph of that too. There it is. That's the scepter. That's Cullinan one, and then Cullinan two is actually in the imperial state crown. Um, it's vast, heavy, beautiful. So, you say, hey, they're all talking about the Cullinan diamond. When we discovered this amazing parcel that has equally been used in a collection on our sister channel, it, when we found it in its rough form, this, this boulder, if you like, of Topaz was the most eye clean boulder we'd ever seen. And we have made it last over many years. This is part of that boulder completely flawless. Look at the quality of each of these, uh, these stones. You're getting trillions, you're getting pears, you're getting emerald cuts, you've got princess, you've got rounds. I can't believe we're going even lower, Claire. I cannot believe That's it. That's crazy. 799. Seriously, I'm just going to pick up one. I'm not cherry picking here. I've, I've just gone to the one that's, that's nearest to me. Look at the quality of this stone. Should that be 799? It's too eye clean. Should I put it on a black background? Do you want me to put it on a black background? Sure, no problem. Sorry, Ollie. He says that we can't actually see it because they are that flawless. It's it's difficult for oh. um, for our, our cameras to pick it up. Look at this. <sighs> seriously, 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 they are amazing, aren't they? Look at the quality of these. Absolutely beautiful. Flawless, completely flawless, aren't they? And you've got a vast selection, seven pounds and 99 pence only. You've got emerald cuts in here. You've got princess cuts. You've got pears, you've got rounds, um, ovals. It's, I mean, seriously, the get, to get this quality for 7.99 is an absolute steal. Well done. Joyce, Victoria, Sally, Linda, Liz, Debs, Carola, Suzanne, Barbara, Janice, Margaret, Kim, Yvette, Ronald, Candy, Laura, well done, Joanne, Maker in Gloucestershire, Maker, Surrey, Charlotte, keep on dialing through. Still so much to bring you. We've got more birthday boxes to bring you as well. Coming up as your deal of the day, we've got some really lovely base metal, um, uh, base metal class that you can see Anne and Sue have, uh, have, have, have incorporated into some really beautiful necklaces um, or a necklace. You've also got those spools of chain. That's your deal of the day so you've got the gold plated and the silver um, plated they're available on pre-order right now so do shop ahead don't go anywhere more from Claire McDonald we'll be back after this Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hello crafters and makers. We're excited to announce that Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker and Sewing Street will be attending the Creative Craft and Sewing for Pleasure event at the NEC from the 16th to the 19th of March. We'll have talks and live demonstrations from some of your favourite guests and presenters, special offers on selected products and of course, the popular Tombola was lots of amazing prizes to be won. You can also receive 40% off your ticket by using code CREATIVE40. We would love to see you all there. So come and say hi at stand number F01. Let's get our craft on with Creative Craft. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. 
You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just want to give you the heads up about the 14th, Valentine's Day. Coming up, the 12 o'clock kits are incredible and it's all about love. Don't miss it. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. we've got to squeeze in. <laughs> Claire McDonald! <laughs> Did you know you were kind of coordinating with the Valentine's boxes today? Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, the, on the email it did say that. Did it? Yeah. Uh, didn't get that email. I generally yeah. didn't get that email. <laughs> generally didn't. I'm not just being really... Actually, actually, I don't know, you could say I went for the Valentine's vibe, couldn't you? Got a little bit of animal yeah, print. Yeah, Jassy. Could be a little bit... Yeah. Va yeah. <laughs> I'm the emoji. <laughs> right then, are we ready? How quickly do you think these are going to fly out the door? Already they going on pre-order, says, says our Roscoe. Now, um, Ross, which one are we starting with? Start with the clasps. The gold clasps, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you this, because you've got the spools, they're coming up, but they're on pre-order, flying on pre-order, but then you've got the corresponding clasps to go alongside it in three different designs. Ooh, I love these, absolutely love these. And then you've got the equivalent in the silver. So if you're wondering about how you actually complete the finished pieces of jewellery, well, we've got the class to go with it. Beautifully encrusted with your cubic zirconias. You've got that lovely uh, ball detail chain, which you can shop ahead and pre-order on. These are separate auctions. So what I'll do is the gold class first. They are all on pre-order, so you can go on our website um, and then we'll bring you the others. So here they all are. Look, three, they are precious metal plated. And I know I harp on about this all the time, but if you pop along to lots of uh, big jewellers, actually, don't just work with precious metals. They work with your base metal with the precious metal coating. That's exactly what these are right now. Um, but look at how expensive they look. I mean, if I hold them up to you, um, each and every single design, Claire, I mean, look at that. I love that. Interlocking hearts. Absolutely love it. It is three separate components. So you could take them apart, couldn't you? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Use them as little connectors, little pendants, they're embellishments. They're alone, aren't they? Yeah. I like this one too. Ready? Look at that. That's very shop hard. Very, very shop hard, that one. And then you've got one more design, like a paisley design. Look how beautiful that is. I love that we've got them in the gold as well. Oh, it's like a lotus flower. Doesn't it? Looks like a beautiful <laughs> lotus flower. 
They're stunning and they are precious metal plated. Now they are flying already on pre-order. We've got it in the gold and we've got them in uh, in the yellow, uh, sorry, in the silver. So you can shop ahead and pre-order on those. I mean, we don't often see, um, I think there's definitely a place for your base metal. It's not exclusively yeah, base metal definitely. though. It is gold plated base metal. Because at the end of the day, if these were silver or gold plated silver, you wouldn't be getting them at 19 pounds and 99 pence. Maybe each, maybe, so you'd be talking maybe about £60 for all three. That's our first price crash. You know, uh, uh, you know uh, it's like costume jewellery. Um, I remember saying it once upon a time that too, when I was actually on our, our, our sister channel, I was like, there's a place for costume jewellery. They were like, oh, as if I just sworn on air. And I was like, oh, there is, let's be honest. We haven't all got the budget to wear. So, you know, if that was shop art, I wouldn't be able to afford it. I wouldn't be able to afford it. So there is a place for it. I love those. And me. Like now we're talking about what, seven pounds something each. Just look at the detail on all of them as well. There's Maybe a place the for it. The same sort of detail, wouldn't it? And, and uh, finish. Okay, the materials would be different if it was your precious metal, but look how neat they are. Look, yeah, the construction yeah. would be exactly the yeah, same. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, it, there is definitely a place for costume jewellery. I believe that. But these, would you call this costume jewellery? Because it is actually gold plated. So there is precious metal plating in here. It's beautiful jewellery. Let's just leave it at that. In seven seconds, we're going even lower. And it does help with budget, doesn't it? You know, again, if these were silver, there'd be quite a huge um, investment of precious metal. Plus then they'd probably be your topaz. So I reckon you'd be talking at least £60 for this bundle. At least. Mm, yeah, yeah. Definitely. That's £5 yeah. per class. And it becomes the, the design, doesn't it? It's I not like just how... functional. Yes, yeah. But I, I'm liking how they're all stacked like that. I wonder if you could do something. Maybe, so they, yeah. They could um, just sit really well, don't they? We can bring you, uh, we, can, we can romance you with the gemstones. We say that, I've said this before, I'll romance you with gemstones all day long. All day long. But let's not forget the key ingredients to make your jewellery mm. beautiful. And that is your fastenings, your clasps, your findings. Pieces like this. We are as if we're going lower. Anne and Sue have created, I like this, it's a really contemporary design. It's incorporating, incorporating all the um, class, if you like, and turning them actually into a feature, not just something that is functional. We're at five pounds each and we're going even lower. Can you believe that? There is precious metal on these each and every single one of these beautiful designs. I love it. Again, very designer inspired. In 17 seconds, it's going even lower. Ross, remind me how many we have though. A hundred. Oh, it's quite a limited deal of the day then. Quite limited. Don't forget you can shop ahead on your spool. That's a good word, isn't it? Spool. Ooh. It's not a reel, that's a spool because it's tall. Ah. There you go, that's the difference. Reels are narrow. 12.99, that's four quid each. Just over four pounds per class. Yeah. They're beautiful. And you just had a little inspect, didn't you? Claire? Yeah, yeah, really nice. Could they could they house like multiple rows and things like that? I think they could, yes. I think it's entirely up to you, isn't it? If your name's on that side of the list, you've got to make sure you check them out. Yeah, I think because they are quite large class, if you want to do like a multi-row pearl, mm. say, or... Because you've got a nice big area, haven't you, to put your jump rings or your wire guardians or something like that into them. Yeah, I wouldn't have it around the back of the neckline. I would definitely have it at the front because that's the kind of, you know, that's that's as yeah, much see it, the yeah. design, isn't it? Um, I'm going to leave that with you. Now, lots of you have shopped ahead because we've got a lot to squeeze in. Less than 20 of the silver um, plated box, uh, bo no, not box class, sorry. Um, class designs actually available. These have always flown out. Um, the spools, again, you can shop ahead and pre-order on that. Twelve ninety nine. There's a ton of you there already. Re I think I'm gravitating unintentionally, but and subconsciously, I'm actually gravitating to this design. I like this design. Yeah, it's lovely, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I do. I, I mean, I like the heart, but then I like the one in the in the in the middle as well. They're all beautiful, yeah. aren't they? Five pounds each. Have we got the same quantity of these? One hundred and twenty, slightly more, but the, the call screens, yeah, say it all. So they will be probably a sellout. We hardly ever, ever see anything like this, do we? No. It must be quite difficult to And they're produce. so important, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So important to us as jewellery makers. You know, for example, even if you got these and you wanted to create like a m multiple layers, literally have like, you know, layering is absolutely amazing. You want to see the back of the class? No problem. Shall I pick up a different one? 
shall I? Just because I've been holding the same one over and over. There we are. Let me show you the back. So they basically open. Let's see if I'll do this. Can do this whilst I'm here. Like so. Can you see that? It's diff more difficult when it's not in a finished piece of jewellery. Come on. Don't knock that There one. you go. So it opens like so. So you can take them off. You could literally use that heart as a component on its own, couldn't you? I think, anyway. Yeah, they could. There, they do disconnect. Um, so you could actually wear that as, a, as three separate components if you wanted to. How beautiful are they? Hope that answers your question. Gosh, that's good, isn't it? That's four pounds each. Mm. Literally four pounds each. That's the back. Let me show you the front again. There's the front on the hearts. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But do be quick because these are flying out. I've got three full rows of names, lots of multi buyers. Hello to you, Isle of Wight. Zena, Joyce, hello to you. Uh, Pauline, Susan, London, Victoria, Dahlia, Jax, Rachel, Anne Marie, hello, Chris, Lisa, Tanya, hello to you. Yvonne, Justine, hello to you. London, Margaret, Sheila, Gail, Linda, Susie, hello to you. I hope you're well as well. 11 99 We don't see them very often. You know, and even if you were, yeah, four pounds, just crazy. Even if you were to, if I can find the end on this, probably not that easy, is it? I've put myself in a position now, haven't I? Um, if you just wanted to create those really lovely, like multiple layers, how beautiful would that be? Because you've got that open Perfect space. Perfect together, aren't they? Get the chains. Um, you can shop ahead on those. They are going lower than the price that you see on the website. So it's already a fantastic deal. And there's 20 meters, sorry, 10 meters on each of those spools, 20 meters across the two. How amazing. How lovely. lovely is that? Yeah. These are getting quite limited now. I can see there's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Make sure you check them out. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, keep on dialing through on these ones. Well done, everybody. They are flying out the door. I'm not surprised by that. Um, your spools, again, flying out the door. So nice. Spools. Um, 24 of... Yeah, let me show everybody. So this is what... Sorry, if I sounded misjointed earlier on, Ross and I were just talking about what's in here. Let me show you. This is high luster. It's a beautiful fireball pearl, honestly. It, it, it's absolutely enormous. So it comes box-like. So you also get a beautiful amethyst sterling silver bale um, to, uh, to suspend it from. But look at that. When we say high luster, this is like positively metallic luster um, there are only 24 it is very 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 exclusive so very limited look at that totally and utterly natural fireball pearl with the amethyst uh, silver bale as well so you can shop ahead on that that's coming up in a few moments time um, amazing right let's start i love this claire mm. Half of them are gone already on pre-order you're getting 10 meters i'm not going to find the end in time for here we here we go. No, I have. There you are. We just loop that over the back. Oh, of lovely. See. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Even if we were just to put them on bolt wing cast, how yeah. pretty is that as a simple as a simple bracelet? So you've got the, uh, the lovely kind of satellite oval, which has got a really flat link. That's why it's sparkling as much as it is. And then you have that ball detail. And um, when you say it out, gold plated, base metal, satellite, oval link, um and ball yeah and ball detail it's really lovely isn't it <laughs> but it doesn't sound the, the it's prettiest. a lot nicer than the name yeah it doesn't that's what i was trying to get my point the point i was going to mm. say ball detail doesn't really describe how pretty it is um we have to be quite descriptive i suppose um you're getting 10 meters on the spool how many have i got roscoe only 80 available and they are flying really lovely so beautiful have you got any gold plated uh, um, base metal clasps at home or toggles whether they're bolt rings whether they're lobster claws whichever it might be i mean you could literally just make it almost do like a production line claire of little bracelets Absolutely. couldn't you yeah i love that recording though it's great isn't it yeah buttery oh, isn't it yeah 
beautiful buttery yellow gold and it is precious metal plating as well Anne Marie Yvette Vivian Kerry Vera hello to you Sheila Isle of Wight Eleanor hello to you Sheila Anne Ruth Lisa Tessa hello to you West Midlands hello to you Anne Wrexham Angus Jack so you ready 10 meters brand new today probably a one show wonder That is brilliant, isn't it? It's just over a pound a meter, isn't it? It is just over a pound a meter. It's not my maths there, is it? Oh, I d I'm, I'm not. I don't want to commit to any maths questions. Hang on, hang on, Ross. You know when it's something sounds almost so good it's wrong. That is just over a pound a meter, isn't it? One pound thirty per meter. A meter, not 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 per bracelet or per mm -hmm. eighteen inch. That's £1.30 per metre, which you'll get at least two necklaces and bracelet out of, if that's what you choose. I can't the last time we did anything like this. Like a plain chain. It's definitely not plain, it's, it's, is it? Yeah, no, not at all, no. Love it. Absolutely love it. £12.99. Let me just loop it. That's an awful lot as well. I'm just thinking about that. Yeah, 10, 10 metre is... I mean, look at that. Yeah. I know I'm not, I'm not doing this very well, but look at that. Look how lovely it is on the neckline. Let me just move my hair. Look how pretty that is. And I think having that, that ball detail, yeah, that's, that's nice. Shall we open a box, Claire? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's open a box. What's in the box? What's in the box? I'm trying not to rip it. Try and find a really good one now. Hi, Code. Oh, I keep ripping them, sorry. Hi, Code. I think they're meant to be reused for tomorrow, so... <laughs> What's that all about? Why haven't we got one in there? Oh, there's only five that have got the codes. A bit Where? disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Remember, there's another competition on as well. You've got to count the hearts. How many are we up to throughout the course of the show? Um, and I will cue you when to when to text in, okay? Just remember, you've got to put your name and your customer number on as well. Um, okay, let's do the silver. These are going to fly out the door like hotcakes. Look at that. It's, it's lovely, isn't mm. it? Tassels, long line necklaces. Look how... Oh, okay, yeah, they've got already... They're, they're not sold out, but they have pretty much done so don't let that put you off dialing through they will be allocated on a first come first serve basis please tell me there's a bigger quantity of these roscoe please oh is there i i, I kind of wasn't expecting you to um he says there's almost 200 of the silver we know it is your most popular color um again a full-on spool you get loads and loads the amount of jewelry potential of what you can create from these as well maybe don't unravel it the way i'm doing because you run the risk of actually getting into a big knot then don't you um look at the core screen two full rows of names already already are we surprised Again, silver plated, so precious metal plating on these. It's really pretty. Again, I know the description isn't that perfect. Uh, silver plated, base metal, satellite, oval link chain, and ball. It's <laughs> but it, it is what it is. It's not singular, though, is it? It's balls up. Balls up. Does that sound better? Balls, yeah. Because there's loads, isn't there, which are very useful if you're doing. Um, it says singular so on, on our, on yeah, our, on our, yeah. it isn't there, no. it is definitely. But if you isn't. wanted to add, you know, add into that, it's, you've got very, very definite, haven't you, markings, that's very useful. I think it's the Valentine's vibes, isn't it? You could wear it for your it, body chains, actually, you know, remember, remember Jim and Crow used to do those yeah, lovely body chains? Yeah, yeah. Anklets, lovely. Spring and summers on the, uh, uh, you know, around the corner. I love an anklet. What are you doing now? Glasses, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, just come and show everybody what you were just doing then for a second. Ollie, uh, literally, Michael's doing this to us. Oh, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what you're doing? 
Oh, glasses changed. I get it. I get it. I get it. Well done. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. We had two hundred of them, but again, they're absolutely flying out. Tassels. Definitely tassels. Use them in your tassels. Opera length earrings because you've actually. Miss Janet just said what? Sorry. Definitely tassels to me. Mm. Great show. Lovely. What's that? Waterfall. Elle said waterfall. Yeah. All right. Sulking <laughs> now. No, that's a great idea, Michael. Waterfall earrings are a lovely idea. Yes. Thank you. It's a lovely contribution. It is. <laughs> Florence, Kim, Suffolk, Carolyn, Barbara. Hello to you. Clavil, hello to you. You've got to check out, though, if you're seeing your names right now. I've got four full ro rows of name. And as we have learned from Michael today, that you literally are probably Ooh, filling yes. two call screens yeah. once upon a time we used to have the names on the bottom of the call screen as well i don't know why uh, or how that's disappeared but yeah we used to be able to see every single one of you yeah. look at you all there hello to you pearl hello to you francis ronald hello to you neil and linda candy there's just tons and tons and tons of names um yeah three rows four rows <laughs> you can see your nose do it again do it again <laughs> 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 love it, love it, love it. There was two hundred, but as you can see, they're proven to be very popular. Um, amazing, amazing. Let's do a super quick auction, one price crash on the bees. Oh, the bumblebees. I hope these are on pre-order. Somebody did launch a little bee charm on the weekend. Do love little bees. I haven't seen these. These are lovely. Yeah, you get all of them as well. That's 50 bees. It literally is a hive, isn't it? It's a swarm. And they're double-sided bees as well, which might sound the most peculiar sentence. Um, now, we're going to do these in one price crash. So you've got the detailing of your buzzy bee on one side, and then if I turn it around, you've got the detail on the other. So if you are thinking about waterfall earrings, for example, how lovely. They'd be great alongside your chains as well. Um, so all 50... These are angel. I'd be using those for, you know, when people make little guardian angel um, pieces as well, I'd be using them for that. Yeah, lovely. Little wings. Lovely. And we do like honeycomb shapes, don't we? Things yeah. like that. That'd yeah. be really nice. Maybe your gemstones as well. Ah, pretty. I love bumblebees. I just I, I love the fact that they're just so cute, aren't they? So cute. Busy and, of course, integral to our environment. £9.99. pence. This may well be the last time you see these little this swarm of buzzy bees on your screen. I've not seen them before. I love these. They're these great, are, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, really, really good. They're always popular. Um, I would hope they're actually on pre-order because they have been very, very popular. And it's like they're like the little proper non-aerodynamic bumblebees. Have you ever looked at a bumblebee and thought, hmm... How do you get about, to be honest? Because they yeah. are they are so non-streamlined, aren't they? But amazing. So they're little fuzzy bees. Amazing. Well done. On the verge of selling out. I will, um, in, oh yeah, hope that they're on reorder because they're lovely. Um, okay, moving on to... Is it that pearl? Now, there is just under 30 available opportunities. This fireball pearl ticks so many boxes it's gigantic firstly a fireball pearl is very unique in the sense that it actually has that you've got that wonderful pearl but then you have this blaze if you like um of pure nacre like a wonderful tail or like a shooting star it's they're so sought after um at the moment within uh within the pearl industry it comes beautifully boxed it comes with your sterling silver and amethyst there are only 24 um it's up next as a star buy Okay, 24 of these are available and it, it's, it's astonishing, this pearl. Let's just consider something before I actually sort of show you the scale of this. When we're culturing pearls, it's not a case of, oh, let's just pop a little nucleated bead there and hey presto, it's going to happen. It's, it's, it's a science effectively and it's not guaranteed either. You know, they still go through that process. They'll still nurture that mollusk for however long it is, years in or, uh, ordinarily, probably even more when they're of this size and this scale, and then hope at the end of that process that there will be a beautiful pearl inside. 
And then you can't guarantee whether it's going to be a drop, whether it's going to be baroque, or whether it's going to be a rice pearl, or whether it's going to be a round. You certainly can't guarantee that it is going to be a fireball. A fireball pearl, and again, when you see the measurements of this, it's enormous. Any pearl that's over 10 millimeters in size, and this is, again, this is actually Charlie Barron's words, is equivalent to a three-carat diamond. They are very, very, very rare as single, uh, single uh, uh, treasures. The mollusk itself will have had to have matured even before the culturing process, in some cases, to sort of dinner plate sizes. And you think, no, surely not. A pill's only little, not this one. And they, have, they, they get this natural colour from the circumference, so the narrower part. So this, the oyster or mollusk, whichever, whichever variety it might be, would have been vast to be able to culture a pearl of this size. These are literally, uh, at the moment, well, our pill suppliers are saying irreplaceable. Or if you can find them, they're astonishingly expensive. It comes boxed, rightfully so. It comes with the bale, which I'll show you. I'll show you that first, actually. You have a beautiful, simple, sterling silver gem set bale. A huge amount of sterling silver. But right now, let's show you the pearl. Half drilled. It's literally like folded silk. I love this one. It's absolutely stunning. And it's gigantic. Look at that sash of purple. Can you see? You have a sash across the front, and then you have a sash literally folding itself around. Top quality, completely natural. Every single oh. fireball pearl will be 100% unique. The colours are absolutely amazing. It's from yeah. And every angle, isn't it? Uh, do you know, I'd struggle to, to, to decide which way yeah. to wear it. Would you? Yeah. Would you wear it that way, Claire? I'd have it on a long chair so it would, you'd get movement so there wouldn't be a... There wouldn't be a front or a reverse. I think, I mean, there would be as, as far as like the, the, the peg that you're using, but I mean, you, you'd be able to hold it wouldn't you and it would be fantastic from from every angle look at that it's unbelievable claire do you own one of these i don't i would i would absolutely love that oh. and i think that that the the peg is perfect it is because it's got that yeah. lovely amethyst ollie was saying that he bought his mum one um yeah i have one purely down to jewelry maker otherwise i saw the prices of them individually when they were over in um in tucson and they were incredibly expensive Incre and they were sold individually as well so yeah i wonder if i can actually sort of show you might sometimes they need a little bit of a ream yeah this one will you just need to ream it ever so slightly glue it into place this is fine quality mm. i mean look at that do you remember the back in the i'm showing my age now but do you remember back in the 80s when they had the cadbury's flake advert was that um lady in the bath eating her chocolate wasn't it and then and then they'd literally throw the salt uh, the silk in the mm. air throw the silk in the air and you'd have that lovely floating that's it you've got the you've got the music but it was how the silk literally yes. landed and it's like that. that was the yeah. whole story behind that chocolate advertising but it's like that within nacre it's pure nacre that has achieved that wonderful those lovely ripples so again you've got an enormous cultured pearl that purely by chance has this wonderful almost tail the fireball blaze of solid nacre the first one has already gone there was only 24 you can see that high luster status they are literally mirror like and um, every single one will be completely unique this is part of our sienna collection some of the best um that's the obviously the boxes there um the some of our luxury boxes to go with a luxury pearl of course um i mean all you need to do is literally a dab of your hypo cement or your e6000 i would go hypo cement personally um because you've got that precision nozzle and leave it overnight you've just made yourself high-end jewelry plus you get the box as well i mean how beautiful is that this put how big Anything over 10 millimetres in a South Sea pearl, and that's not just salt, uh, sorry, not South Sea, anything over 10 millimetres, whether they be salt water or fresh water, is, uh, they say, is equivalent to the rarity of a three-carat diamond solitaire. That's mind-blowing, isn't it? That's the rarity. You know, as, as a one-carat is like a magic number two of diamonds, 
10 mil is a magic number to a to to a pearl massively so they can they they, they appreciate tremendously when they go into double figure millimeters they're not measured on carat weights because they're organic gemstones they're measured on millimeters so even here at 1,699, I think that's a great deal. Look at the quality of the pearl. Look at that quality. It's almost, you, can, you look at it and think, is that a pearl? Because mm. it's, it's that light reflective, that luster is. And remember what I said earlier on this morning, out of the five virtues, luster is the most crucial. It's the most important. Because if you, do ha you can have, tick all those boxes, you can have, um, size, which we've definitely got here. You can have amazing natural color, which we've definitely got here. You can have uh, the most beautiful shape, again, which we've definitely got here in a fireball. I love fireball pearls. Um, you could have the most beautiful thick nacre. Well, obviously you have, because look at, look at all this. This is literally all solid nacre up here. Amazing. And then if it lacks luster, it just goes matte. It doesn't look, you know, it hasn't got that presence. This is, look at the beginning of your graphics. High luster, naturally metallic, purple fireball pearl. How beautiful is this? Oh, we're at 999. Should we half that price tag? You get the Sienna box, you get the sterling silver amethyst uh, set bale. We're at 499 pounds. And I think Claire McDonald. We need to open a box. Let's do it. Please be lucky this time. No pressure, Claire. Please be lucky. Please, 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 please. I want a discount code. First, it's a one-time only code. Oh. Open another box, Claire. We need a discount. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, it's a one-time code. You're cheating now, aren't you? Yeah, a bit. <laughs> Let's do it. You've got to find one. Yes, there you go. One customer, one-time only code. Are you ready? You can use it with this beautiful pearl. Amazing, Val 10, amazing, absolutely incredible. So that's 10% off the price tag if you use that discount code. You get the Sienna box, you get the beautiful sterling silver bale, but most importantly, you get this amazing high luster, naturally metallic fireball pearl. Um, we are going naturally colored also. We're going even lower. Use that discount code VAL10. One customer can use it. And definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity as well. It is completely and utterly natural. There was only 24 of these. It's the biggest fireball pearl um, that... Oh, the, the, the word natural in, a, in, in any gemstone absolutely dramatically escalates its price point. Yeah, yeah. Did you? You bought your niece a fireball pearl. Oh, a 10 mil natural pearl. Oops. Pink pearl said keep the certificate. Definitely keep the certificate. Absolutely, it's worth its weight in gold. It definitely is. In seven seconds, it's going even lower. There was only 24 of these available. I'm going to sound um, very indulgent now, but bear with me. Imagine, imagine if you can, if you can afford, if your budget allows to get two of these. Can you imagine these in earrings? Can you? £149. Use the discount code. It's a one-time only code. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. Ross is just saying in my ear, it is available on split pay. It's just not showing it on your graphics as of yet. Let me also show you that drill hole there. So very discreet in, in, at the top of the, uh, that pure nacre. How amazing. How utterly amazing. So on split payments, it's working out at what, Ross? Three-way. So it'll be, what, just under £50 per split payment, 0% interest. 
Debbie, Hat, well done to you, Hampshire, Julian, Merseyside, Catherine, Tyne and where. If you use that discount code VAL10 on your checkout, you get 10% off. How amazing is that? But it is a one-time only deal. Beautiful. Just to give you an idea of perspective, let me hold it up to the neckline. It is absolutely enormous. Again, always be mindful of the five virtues when we're discussing pearls. Um, first one, size. Well, this is huge. It's probably, it's probably about 20 millimetres in its actual size. It's a giant. Then we start talking about the shape fireballs are all the rage at the moment um, and I think Lady Gaga certainly had her part to play in that you have uh, color natural color being the most sought after that's exactly what you're getting here plus I want to add to this as well because we talk about metallic this is metallic color from a harvest of pearls it is estimated what um less that from a harvest of ten thousand pearls less than 10 will be naturally metallic so you've got that real rarity there um they are flying out the door we had 24 they are super 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 limited and of course you talk about um the nacre and that amazing luster if you want to get all romantic make sure you stay with us because we have an hour of beautiful heart faceted gemstones coming up um amazing so yeah that beautiful turquoise strand is Ooh, coming up yes, in the next yeah. hour um absolutely stunning stay with us because lots and lots and lots of heart shapes which are difficult to cut we all know this don't we um and i think perfect i think as we all get into the valentine's day mood if you're not and it's just not your thing it's just a lovely cut isn't it it's just a really nice uh, yep. cut of gemstones so don't go anywhere claire and i'll return after this Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hello, crafters and makers. We're excited to announce that Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker, and Sewing Street will be attending the Creative Craft and Sewing for Pleasure event at the NEC from the 16th to the 19th of March. We'll have talks and live demonstrations from some of your favorite guests and presenters, special offers on selected products, and of course, the popular Tombola with lots of amazing prizes to be won. You can also receive 40% off your ticket by using code CREATIVE40. We would love to see you all there. So come and say hi at stand number F01. Let's get our craft on with Creative Craft. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just want to give you the heads up about the 14th, Valentine's Day. Coming up, the 12 o'clock kits are incredible and it's all about love. Don't miss it.
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Dear me, welcome back, everybody. I hope you're well. I'm looking forward to this um, to this hour because we talk about we talk about the cutting, we talk about the gemstones, of course. I mean, it's amazing. And you, you say you've got say put yourself in an, in a lapidarous shoes for a second, um, and you've just pe been placed all these gorgeous treasures that Mother Nature has uh, uh, has created over hundreds and thousands if not millions of years and then it's your responsibility to go and cut them into a desirable shape you know i'm being honest and this probably says a little bit about my character if i was one of those lipidus i probably wouldn't go no i'm not going to do the hearts thanks no i'm not going to do the hearts because that's just adding pressure isn't it adding pressure to my uh, to my job title thanks um because and why is it harder because you might think oh hearts a simple shape it's a really it's certainly a simple shape to draw but not to cut gemstones. Gemstones have cleavages, and that's basically sort of how they can potentially split. They have different refractive indexes. They have different hardnesses. Um, and, and again, yes, a heart is really easy to actually draw. But when you start talking about the cleft, especially a pronounced cleft, the risk is that you shatter the gemstone literally mm -hmm. in two. A broken heart, quite literally. Um, so yeah, very few lapidarists will actually embark on a heart cut. Um, and there's nothing I could, honestly, these are definite hearts. Because sometimes, let's say as it is, Claire, sometimes, even here at Jewelry Maker, we'll have a strand and it'll be like, oh, heart cut. And they're more trillions, aren't they? They're, not, they're mm. more triangular-like shapes. These are definite hearts. Yes, they are. In turquoise. Yeah, look at that colour as well. It's got everything, hasn't it? brave cutter that did this mm. strand how amazing are they though and again i'm going to ask you think tiffany's and co think van cleef and arpels think about all those design houses that i have shown you and i will show you as well if you didn't see that presentation um that have incorporated shopard happy hearts they did like a happy hearts turquoise uh diamond ring and matching necklace i think it was for thousands and thousands of pounds their cut is no different is no different to ours. So this is coming up. I open it up. Um, if I open it up, you have inside. Heart oh my cut gosh. stones. I know. <gasps> Look how beautiful these are. Oh my gosh. Absolutely stunning. From your tiger's eye to your amethyst. Oh my word. Look. Look how pretty <gasps> these are, Claire. To your red agates, to your clear quartz. To your lapis lazuli these are coming up available for pre-order right now um at an unbelievable deal right okay i'm excited about this because you know what whether you go for valentine's day i'm not big into valentine's day i gotta say it look i i, I just i don't see the point personally i don't i i, I, th I think every day is 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 a day of love isn't it if you love someone, you should tell them every single day. Um, but I'm always about hearts, Claire, and I know it's your yes. favourite cut, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I love those. Would they work with your gallery wire? Yes, they'd be perfect with that wire work, everything. Or just to have in just a little dish. Gorgeous. Just How like pretty that. would they be just in a little dish? What do you want me to start with, Ross? It's coming out. Oh, I love it. Hematite. 
Love it. Shall we all text in now? So, uh, um, songs of love. What's your favourite romantic song? Your favourite love song? Ah, oh, Kiss from a Rose. Da -da -da. Yeah, what's your favourite love song? <laughs> so I keep putting you on the spot, yeah. Could it be magic? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, beautiful. Text in your favourite love songs. I don't know, I've got a few favourite songs. I like lots of songs. Um, which one do you want me to start with then? Start with the blue. Yes, lovely. Absolutely, this is gorgeous. These are really nice. And you think, you think it's like one blue, one black, one blue, one black, but it's not. There's, it's dual sizes, so it's blue and black. One side is black and one side is blue. So they're going to tessellate together. Does that make sense? Um, does that make sense? Absolutely beautiful, in idea. lovely hematite. I like this. I like this a lot. I think it's really playful. Again, great way of incorporating hearts into sort of uh, um, gents' jewellery, of course, and I think great way of using um, beautiful gemstones um, in things like, I don't know, wish-style bracelets. Hematite, genuine gem. It's a beautiful, genuine gemstone. has been included in jewellery for literally hundreds of thousands of years, Always incredibly popular here at Jewelry Maker. Shall we do an amazing romantic price tag? Ooh, yeah, let's. Shall we? Yeah. Just, I don't know what a ma ma romantic price tag is, but let's go with it. Just to kick off the hour, £4.99. Oh, There's nice. nothing, I, I mean, I don't get it. I don't get why I said it, but it's a good deal anyway, all the yeah. same. How many do you have of these then, Roscoe? 80 available. Oh, you're all feeling the love. All feeling the love. Oh, look, see things like this, beautiful yeah, designs like this. A little bit of a macrame, the side, wish style bracelets. You could use Either them in the your... day, they'd be perfect. Oh, lovely, that. yeah, perfect. Good old stretchies. Mm. Can't beat a stretchy, can you? Ronald, Janice, hello to you, sorry. Hello to you, Newport, Carol, Donna, Alison, Jane, Tina. Hello to you, Victoria, Yvette, Nuala. Hello to you, Diane. Clearly, lots of you feeling the love. Um, have you got a favourite love song, Roscoe? I knew it was going to be Beatles. Something. How, I don't know how that goes. Oh, it's not a song. The song is called something. How does it go? Oh, oh yeah, yes. that is lovely. Uh, and Ollie's got a lovely voice as well, Anita sings. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, we've got a fan of the Beatles, mm. haven't we? You are through and through Beatles, aren't you, Roscoe? Through and through Beatles. Jean, well done. Jacqueline, well done. I don't know. Mm. I'm trying to think. Ah, oh, that, I don't like that song. A million love songs are better. Million. Here I am trying to tell you. Okay, this is black and yellow. Oh, you would think I liked it the way I just sung it, wouldn't you? Um, okay. <laughs> this is beautiful. Uh, there's a class to this strand, I think. Black and gold, just absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Ah, oh, amazing. Let's take it under five pounds, shall we? Yeah, spread a little bit of love. I don't know, even if it's little things like, you know, um, little wish style bracelets, little token gestures. And, and you could just glue them to cards as well. True. You? That's a great they're, idea. They're really, um, they're really lovely. Uh, if you use that shape as well, take five of them. Um, they make great flowers as well. Oh, yes. Uh, wire them around a jump ring. That's a nice idea. Yeah, really, really useful. I love the way they sit and it almost looks like um, two-tone, doesn't it? As, as you're moving them. Like, I know the two different sizes. It looks like the light catching on them. I love that. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. And if you wanted to, if you wanted... Oh, no, I want it to be black. Then you could literally maybe set it like you did with the opals earlier on. Yeah, yeah. If you want them literally to be worn in like a cascade, then you're going to constantly see that, um, those dual colours. Um, let's do what? Sorry. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Like an antique gold. Like these, these. These are lovely. Yeah. How many have you got of these, Ross? I like this because it just, they undulate beautiful, undulating Look hearts. Look how oh, beautiful that, that is. Yeah. They're so pretty. It's that lovely matte texture. Antique gold, uh, hematite flat hearts. <clears throat> we're under five pounds, so we're not even stopping there. Did you say over 100 we have of these? 
Yeah, I, I think we're going to need every single one of them. I love it. It's really, really unique. If I turn my hand on the side profile, you can see they are perfectly flat. Genuine hebatite, beautiful gemstone. In its most uh, natural form, it's actually quite a reddish gemstone. Um, these have obviously been coated as well, and that's absolutely fine, but um, you can just polish it. You can, it's quite dark then when it's actually been polished, and you can have that really sort of, well, hematite, like gunmetal colour. We're going even lower. I love these. They almost look chain-like, don't yeah. they? I think this one is so uniform. I think this one might be my favourite. Yeah, you mine too. You could just add these, couldn't you, um, to or any of your makes, maybe on, you know, the, um, as your trademark, couldn't you? It's and clear, it's not breaking the bank, is it? It's not breaking the bank at all because you've got a full strand, 80 carats, and we're going less than 4 99 You could do little bows, mm. couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, literally turn them round yeah. so you've got sort of, yeah, tip to tip. And the other way with the round in between, couldn't you? Cleft to cleft. Yeah, cleft to cleft. <laughs> yeah. Say that first. <laughs> <laughs> Two hearts living in just <laughs> one mind. Uh, Two ninety nine. Incredible. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, speaking of Phil Collins, actually, I'm not sure we were actually. It was me speaking of <laughs> Two Collins. Um, I like this song. You'll be in my heart. That one. Oh. It's off Tarzan. Oh, Phil Collins. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for one so small, you seem so strong. I love Aww. that song. It's really nice. If you've never heard of it, listen to it. I'll keep you safe and warm. That one. It's really nice. Uh, hi, Azusa. My favourite is I've Put a Spell on You. I love that oh, song. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Now You're Mine by Bette Midler sings it bet. Absolutely love it. Yeah. What, Bette Midler sings it better than uh, Nina Simone? I love Nina Simone's version, though. Um... I'd Rather Go Blind by Etta James is really good too. I love that song. Love it, love it, love it, really. Um, uh, yeah. Hello to you, Roberta Flack, the first time I ever saw your face. That's beautiful, that song, Tessa. First time, yeah. It's lovely, it makes me sad though. George Michael did that. Pardon? George Michael. He did do that, yeah. George Michael, I remember that too. Beautiful song. Mm. Oh, now we're, now we're really getting into the, into the Valentine's mm. Day vibes. These are all great choices, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Um, I agree with you there, Tessa. That is a beautiful song. Yeah. Um, hello, Bernadette saying, good morning to uh, JM Team L and Claire. Mine uh, is original group journey, when a man loves a woman. Yes. When a man loves a woman. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. Ah, oh, it is lovely. Ah, oh, there's what there's a really nice Rod Stewart one that I can't think of though right now. A really nice Rod Stewart one. No, you're not into Rod Stewart. I think he's got a lovely voice. I think he's got a lovely voice, our Rod. Oh, controversial amongst the jewelry maker crew, clearly. Um, <laughs> I think your wife is brilliant as well, isn't oh, she? She is. She's a yeah special constable, isn't she? She is. Fantastic. Yeah, she is. Mm. She's working as well, isn't she? As yeah. A, as a, as a, yeah. yeah. I'm she's not sure amazing. if she's still a special now, whether she's natural, but yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Um, oh, let's get some more hearts, shall we? Don't forget, you've got those beautiful that pass. Can we shop ahead and pre-order on these, then, Ross? You can shop ahead on your beautiful cabochon hearts, and you can shop ahead on the turquoise. Ross? Yeah? On pre-order, double A grade. It's some of the best turquoise yeah, that we actually have. Them, yeah. yeah, you yeah. can see the level of quality, which obviously makes sense with the level of the cut as well. Um, okay, I've got some lovely heart strands here. Uh, malachite, yeah, I'm so glad you said that. There isn't many of these available. This is the quality of malachite that we currently bring you. Um, malachite, remember that beautiful gemstone in distinctions of greens? Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It's all completely and utterly natural. News on uh, the malachite scene, by the way, from the team who went across to Tucson only a couple of weeks ago, is that price of malachite has skyrocketed. Should, are we surprised, though, let's be honest, with Lola Rose, with... with Oh, no, there was no strands of malachite. You could get free forms, but you couldn't get strands at all. But you think about it. Dior, Van Cleef and Arpels, Piaget, Chopard, 
Lola Rose, pretty much every design house is actually choosing Malachi. It is so beautiful. Um, Hello Hampshire saying, how about John Legend? Yes, love that. Mm. Oh, love me. Um, and again, him and his wife seem very much in love, don't they? Mm. Which I always think yeah. is perfect. Is perfect, I think, with a nice romantic song mm. like that. I don't know. I'm a romantic, what can I say? What can I say? Um, amazing, only a limited quantity of those though as well. Um, let's do obsidian. Yeah, beautiful heart obsidians. It's amazing. Uh, what is that? What's he singing? I don't know, I'm very confused. We've gone off on a beaten track now, haven't yeah, we? Really? Haven't we? We're just thinking about the romantic songs now instead of thinking about the gemstone. Um, 160 carats of beautiful natural jet black obsidian. It's an ancient type of volcanic glass. Again, I love obsidian. We don't see mm. enough of it. We don't see enough yeah. of it. Have I got many of these available? 50 available. Not often we get an hour showcase of all about hearts, is it? I would go with pearls, I think, with this Yeah, one. me too. Um, stand by me. When the yeah. night. Uh -huh. and the, uh, 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 I can't think of the words at the moment. And the moon is the only light you'll see. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Apologies for my singing. I'm not well, going to. I, feel I would like to watch that film again. Stand by me. Seen Great it for film. So long. Great film. Amazing. Make yeah. sure you check it out your baskets. I'm not talking about these gemstones at all. We're just talking about nice romantic songs, aren't we? Musics. Mm. Um, um, we had at our wedding, Tom and I had, it was actually by the piano guys. Have you ever heard of the piano guys? Needs to say the pianists. Um, but they did uh, off. Oh, what's the vampire film? Twilight. Yes, their song. The song for that. No, no, it's Lost Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely wasn't that. Twilight, not Lost Boys. It was the oh. Christina Perry song. We had that by the piano guys. Um, amazing. <laughs> I think that's very romantic. Um, here is. we go. Lovely, lovely picture, Jasper. Oh, again, we, when do we see picture Jasper? And, where, uh, and oh, if we do, lovely. we don't see them in the hearts, do we? Yeah. If at really all, well, actually. The, the curves as well, doesn't it? Oh, that's pretty. Definitely not Lost Boys. <laughs> <laughs> that film terrified me as a youngster. Oh, I loved it. It's good though, isn't it? Oh, I loved it. Let me guess. Corey Feldman and Corey Haim for years. Yes. Oh, the biggest crush on them. Yes, everyone did, didn't they? Mm. Everyone did. No, yeah. I, I was always older brother, I think. Oh yeah, he was lovely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jason somebody. Michael, was. Michael. <laughs> Let's say it like that. Um, 999, well done. <laughs> <laughs> 9.99, well done for beautiful picture Jasper as well. I love it. I just love it because they're all so distinctive, aren't they? Let's go through them all. Mm. All the mar lovely markings on them, yeah. Yeah. Look, and they occur completely and utterly naturally. That one there literally looks like, I, I don't know about you, but I can see like some kind of beach scene. Can you? So beautiful. Let's move on. Amazing. Well done. Let's do the rose quartz. Oh, well, this makes sense, doesn't it? We, can, we can't talk about heart cut stone Absolutely. and all things Valentine's Day without bringing a bit of rose quartz because this is the gemstone of unconditional love, of course, and of friendship, of course. And I don't think Valentine's Day is exclusively for, you know, partners and husbands and wives or... Um, Husbands and husbands and wives, wives, whoever. I think it is basically, it's a, it's a, it's a day of love, isn't it? Yeah. So it can be friendship, it can be uh, um, family love, all of the above. 180 carats and this beautiful natural strand. You've got that perfect, that little soupçon, little soupçon of pink. Um, a lovely soft pastel pink. Oh, it is, is that what you're wearing right now? So it's a bit like that. So it's actually... Um, it, so same technique as uh, as I showed earlier. Sorry, I'll move my hand. But then just using gallery wire. So oh, it's not a flat, it's not clear. flat um, stone. So you just treat it in the same way. So you're just really careful when you're setting it. But yeah, you could absolutely do that with um, with that strand. You properly got behind the Valentine's Day memo. Oh, I you? love it. I absolutely, I, I, I love. Are you it, yeah. so you love Valentine's I Day? I just love that it's I don't know about hearts. I really love. You do it. like hearts. Yeah. 
you yeah. do like that. I mean, I'll, I've, I've bought that Connect Four game. Um, I'll play it, probably play it once, but I've got it because it's hard. Force Lola to play it with me tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Are you doing a fancy dinner or anything? Uh, I might do a, a quick dinner because then it is netball. Do you know what I'm tempted to cook tomorrow? A cheese fondue. Oh, uh, yeah, I just love a fondue. Any excuse? Oh. How naughty. <laughs> No stories, no stories. Just I just think it's be quite, it'd be quite nice, nice Valentine's meal. And by the way, we'll have the two girls with us as well. Cheese fondue, that's what I'm thinking. Um, OK, let's do some lovely Jasper, shall we? Beautiful red Jasper, colour of hearts, of course. Um, love this. Or uh, uh, it'd probably end up just being something really simple, to be honest. Never get round to the cheese fondue. Oh, um, so hungry. I now. know. Sounds good, though, doesn't it? Um, look at this. Beautiful cuts. Look at the quality of this colour. You know, it's, it's just beautiful, liquid light glossy. Um, and I'm thinking as well, if you wanted to incorporate uh, um, a larger oh, cabochon, yeah. you do yeah. have a red jasper in that lovely little bag of treats that you can shop ahead and pre-order on. So it could be almost like... That would be lovely. Like would, that, couldn't it? Do you remember the... Um, it feels like a long time ago now, the, the Wall of Fame this morning where it was the um, the star. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was, that was nice. And so you could do like a heart... Like one that. gemstone yeah. exclusive piece. Yeah, yeah. How amazing. It could be incorporated into your malas. They could be your guru mm. beads, of course. Turn them into flowers, as you were suggesting. Um, I've also got within that, there's also like a, um, like a, like a carnelian colour. So actually, that might oh, be nice. really well yeah. too. Or you could mix it up and contrast it completely. So you could put something like a, a tiger's eye. They're all working, aren't all they? Or the blue as well. Is it lapis? The lapis yeah. lazuli. Yeah. That's nice. How pretty. Shop ahead and pre-order on those. £9.99 pence for beautiful Jasper. Again, it is that definite heart, isn't it? You've got that wonderful precision cleave um, with generous drill holes, Claire. So even if I wanted to just put, I don't know, like say um, um, say Willow wanted to take in a couple of little wish style bracelets for it's her a nice little friend. Yeah. yeah, just yeah. put a nice thick gauge of cord running through. Isabel, well done to you, Yvette, Sheila, Kim, Yorkshire, Vivian, Jack, sorry, Hackney, hello to you, Isle of Wight, Mary, oh. congratulations inspiration just like this yeah um do have a little look at the website because we have uploaded lots of the different heart strands you can team them up because of the shape yeah i, I mean you only need the one don't you and also it sends that yes. obvious message doesn't yeah. it yeah yeah it's, it's that obvious too. message you know if you're gifting heart which jewelry has got sentiment immediately hasn't it it's got sentiment immediately mm -hmm. you, you give somebody a heart you, you you're adding to that sentiment i think mm. and that might yeah. be a heart of friendship whatever it might be whatever the you know the meanings uh behind that uh, that, that wonderful creation 9.99 only i'm loving these I, I really like the red jasper hearts i think they're amazing quality of color and look how liquid like this luster actually is um, we've still got one more is that right one more of your uh um this size and they are all the same size so if i put the the others alongside this one that you'll notice that if you wanted to put them all together and the obsidian they are all the same size hang on i'm going to add to it now green obsidian Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Sorry, aventurine. What am I talking about? Aventurine. Thank you. I'd Arlene. put that that green. Um, oh, it's spring with the, like the gold deal of the day. Ooh, Have that on, I think that'd be lovely. And how about that? Yeah, that's very pretty. It's something so spring-like about mm. aventurine, isn't it? I just, I don't know. It just always. It is that fresh, it's a really beautiful fresh green, isn't it? If you were to think about, if you think about all the other gemstones out there, like you think about your, I don't know, your Zavarite, or you think about your, your Jade, for example, if you think of your Pre-Night, Emerald, whichever, it hasn't got the same colour as Aventurine. Aventurine is a beautiful, beautiful natural gemstone. Um, it does produce a phenomenal effect called Aventurescence, I think that's fairly obvious, where you can see this wonderful play of light again this is completely and utterly natural but yeah it is it's like that i, I you know that, that 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 period of time in the um throughout the seasons between where you're literally coming out of winter into the spring months where you literally have that those symbols like uh, those little signals which are coming up every so often aren't they it sounds a bit like that this morning yeah yeah snowdrops but this morning felt lighter as well and yes Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? It is. I love spring. Spring's my favourite season of the mm. year. Um, okay, right then. What? Let's do the turquoise. 
Ross, can I ask you for um, the presentation that we were discussing earlier on? Okay. Now, I'm going to mention to you that, listen, we have, we have brought you turquoise here at Jewelry Maker for a, a long time. But still, they are very seldom, the strands of turquoise. Let me just explain why that is. Turquoise is often formed in the most, uh, some of the hottest regions, desert-like regions, literally where the earth is almost craving the waters. This amazing, remarkable blue is actually formed. The history of turquoise tends to change quite frequently, and that's because it is very, very, sh very shallow forming. You know, when we're, we're, we're digging to depths, uh, to the equivalent of the, uh, um, I can never say the name of the building. What's the one, the tallest building in the world? Thank you, Burj Khalifa. When we're digging to those kind of depths to, 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 to unearth tanzanite, that would be a pointless exercise when it comes to turquoise, because this is literally the surface crust at the very, very, very top. Beautiful turquoise, we've brought to you for many years, but this is one of the best strands we've ever seen and it is double A graded. There are only 37 available. I just wanna read an article to you. Um, and these aren't my words, this is actually taken from, um, I think it was, was, was it jewelry editor, Ross, at the beginning? Yeah, jewelry editor. Turquoise is a semi-translucent to opaque gem that ranges from blue to green and often has veins of matrix, which is remnants of the rock um, in which it forms, running through it. This December birthstone has been cherished for millennia. The pharaohs and other rulers of ancient Egypt adorned themselves with it. Chinese artisans carved it for more than 3,000 years. The turquoise birthstone is thought to possess many beneficial powers, like guaranteeing health and good fortune from the 13th century on. It was believed to protect the wearer from falling, especially off horses, and would break into several pieces at the approach of disaster. Hindu mystics maintain uh, that seeing a turquoise after beholding the new moon ensured fantastic wealth. They often call it the good luck stone, don't they? So in terms of its uh, uh, beliefs attached to it, they're all fantastically positive. Um, it also plays an important role in the lives of Native Americans. The Apache thought turquoise could be found by following a rainbow to its end. They also believe that attaching the December birthstone to a bow or firearm made one's aim more accurate. The Pueblo maintained that turquoise got its color from the sky, while the Hopi thought the gemstone was produced by lizards scurrying across the earth. So, uh, so we are talking about a gemstone that has been, you know, considered for thousands upon thousands of years. Um, turquoise also adorns the funerary mask of uh, King Tut as well, who ruled Egypt more than 3,000 years ago. It also appears in jewellery belonging to more modern royalty, Wallace, Grom uh, Wallace uh, uh, Simpson, sorry, uh, Duchess of Windsor um, and Edward VIII. Um, wore, famous, uh, wore a famous amethyst and turquoise necklace made by Cartier themselves. Turquoise is also the gem for the 11th wedding anniversary. Um, it has been regarded, we always talk about, we always think, oh, jade, literally thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years in terms of the history. Make no doubt about it, turquoise has equally got one of the oldest gemstone legacies. In European tradition, the gift of a turquoise rings, uh, ring means forget-me-not. Turquoise is considered a national treasure in Tibet, where it is believed to grant health, good fortune, and protection from evil. December's birthstone also imparts peace on those who wear it. So again, all those amazing positive signs. Um, here it is, uh, um, the Mask of King Tut. Um, this, it, it, in terms of the location, if I can actually show that, Ross, uh, in terms of the actual location, you know, it's arid areas like this. You know, uh, the Arizona desert where I was literally a year ago, arid locations like this where they don't have a great deal of rainfall and the skies literally are turquoise blue. Imagine finding this beautiful gemstone. But they are shallow forming and it literally is the <coughs> tiny cracks between the host rock where this gemstone actually uh, 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 naturally forms. It makes getting, you know, matrix minimal turquoise incredibly difficult. And yet here in this strand, you have the absolutely beautiful level of quality where there is minimum matrix, the quality that you will see in some of the pieces that I'm about to show. And I'll do that. Let's go to that. Van Cleef and Arpel. Oh, yeah. These are turquoise. Yeah. Look at that. Matrix-free, sweet Alhambra ear stud earrings, £2,700. I know they're a different shape. It doesn't really matter. You've actually got what a four-leaf clover there. 
there. Let's look at this. Uh, gold turquoise hex chain necklace. One single slice. £249, beautiful. You've got a nine carat yellow gold uh, turquoise large oblong necklace, £815. It's lovely, it's lovely, it has got some matrix. That I added, it's not even turquoise, no, it is actually, it's, it's um, Amazonite. It's actually Amazonite um, in rose gold. You've got a hundred pound uh, for that piece. Um, this one's actually Agate. Uh, three thousand eight hundred pounds, so not even turquoise. Again, agate, five thousand five hundred pounds. Uh, One hundred forty-nine pounds, not bad, is it? In sterling silver, really beautiful. Fabergé, look at that. Look how amazing that is, and it's really beautiful. Um, but again, uh, it's not actually turquoise. It's actually an it's enamel, amazing, isn't it? It's that because the colour's so wonderful. Uh, Piaget there, beautiful possession, open ring. It's actually quite a simple piece of jewellery, isn't it? But £2,900. Look at the quality of... And I'm not comparing designs here. I'm very aware that... I haven't said that. Look at Shopard here, using literally that beautiful heart shape. Very similar to the strand that you are getting right now. Again, £3,000. That's Tiffany's & Co, by the way, that this piece. £129 there, more cabochons, but again, really lovely. And that's just two beautiful hearts. How about going back through history? Was it more affordable there? No. Antique uh, Victorian turquoise pearl heart ring in nine carat gold, £995. And all the celebrities that choose to wear this, you've got Heidi Klum there, you've got uh, Beyonce there wearing beautiful, oh, uh, Taylor Swift, um, Megan Fox. I always go blank. Eva. Eva. Ross, Ross, stop. Eva. Eva. Mendes, thank you. There we go. There we go. Um, Cameron Diaz, Sarah Jessica Parker. There he is. Arnold Schwarzenegger. There you go. Dan's favourite. Rocking, absolutely rocking his turquoise. This is premium grade, beautifully faceted. <clears throat> I'm not saying it's completely void of matrix because you want turquoise, I think, to be obvious that it is turquoise but what we mean by matrix you don't want it to be black you don't want it to be so included with the matrix because then it's more host rock isn't it um than actually the gemstone itself this is an incredibly wasteful cut and not only just the fact that you're actually uh, what you're cutting away it's also um the amount that's lost the, the amount that is actually sort of broken during that cutting process you're acquiring 20 carats of that double a grade they are limited though in their quantity I mean, Claire, even if, like Chopard did, Chopard Happy Diamonds, again, it's, I'm not comparing, but that was one simple heart necklace, wasn't it, with doing, a couple yeah, of diamonds and above it? Doing the bezel set around simple. it. Simple. Yeah, which we looked at, didn't we? You can be inspired by that, can't we? Yeah, absolutely. And save yourself two grand in the process. At least two grand. Because um, we're not going to bring this strand to air for, I don't think so. Let me just double check what I'm saying. Yeah, we're not bringing it for £120. So, yeah. I'll tell you what, start there. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 standalone solitaires. Definitely, definitely one of the most recognised gemstones in the world, absolutely. And people, and most replicated as well. You do have to be careful where you source your turquoise from because turquoise, you know, you can get uh, uh, magnesite. Magnesite looks a bit like turquoise. It's not the same gemstone. It is gem, but it's nowhere near as rare and nowhere near as valuable. And you've got to think about that. Other gemstones are replicating this gemstone. You know, that gives, mm. that yeah. highlights its yeah. desirability. Even if we were to stop here. But it's not your final price. We are going lower. 37 available opportunities. London, Devon, Newport, Carroll, Gloria. £49.99. Wow. You know, again, just one of those. Uh, it's a great size to do it, isn't it? One on 
you know, rings or yeah. a pendant, it, you know, you'd still, it's, an, it's a lovely size to do that. And I think with that colour, you're going to get so much impact. So, using like, could, so again, could I use the same technique as what we were discussing oh, with your opals? <clears throat> yes, with that, the bezel strip, absolutely. Look yeah. how beautiful they are. And they're so perfectly cut. There's nothing heart-ish about it. It's not a heart suggestion. It's a definite heart. You've got right angles, if you like. If I show my hand at a sort of that profile, look at how perfectly mm. precise yeah. you know, that cut actually is. Perfect right angle. The cleft is lit a definite cleft as opposed to just being almost like a curved area. $49.99, a lot of collectors getting involved. Um, sorry? What metal? I love I love gold, but it's I think I think turquoise looks amazing with all colours of precious metal. Yes, what I do think you think? It does, there? Yeah, again, I'm like you. I would you know I love gold, and I think there's a richness to it as well that that works really well with turquoise. But then if you know with uh, other you know use it with another bright colour like you know your reds and um, you know corally colours works beautifully, doesn't? Yeah, it? lovely. Yeah, Ollie said the same actually. He loves uh, this gemstone alongside carnelian. Mm. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Uh, stunning. And, and again, I think you can keep it ultra simple. I think it would be really nice just to one, I guess, in amongst some lovely pearls or something like that. That little punctuation, that little pop of vibrant mm. um, azure blue. How many did I count? I can't remember. How many did I count? Let's count them again. Should we do it? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27. Tw so £1.85 per double A graded turquoise. And then you look at the, the prices of some of those... Um the pieces of jewellery. Exactly. Well, this, Tiffany's & Co. Yeah. yeah. 3,000 pounds. Yes, there's diamonds. They're tiny. They are tiny, tiny, tiny diamonds. And actually, the bail, I, I'm a bit underwhelmed by that piece, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? If it's, if it's Tiffany's & Co., I would expect a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? And it might be massive, I don't know. I'm literally going on the same photograph as you. I'm a bit underwhelmed by it, especially if I'm handing over 3,000 smackaroonies. Goodness mm. me, I don't want to be underwhelmed. Um, don't you? <laughs> inlay, yeah, inlay. Turquoise inlay. So it's a slice, a, literally a sliver. You are getting 20 carats of that premium grade. There's not a sliver, you know, uh, you know which could potentially break. You've got, you know, got, you know quite a substantial depth, I would mm. say, to these. £49, well done, Victoria, Gabrielle, Marion, Catherine. Hello to you, Joanne, Andrea, new customers, Teresa, stay where you are. Um, okay, we still have one amazing star buy to bring you. I think these are going to go like absolute hotcakes. Um, you've got your beautiful parcel of beautiful cabochons. I mean, you could give them individually, couldn't you? Mm. Yes. How nice is yeah. that? You know, lovely, in little cards for those of uh, you know our sister channel. How nice would these literally be in little gift cards, something like that? They do come within the Hessian bag. Is this coming up now? How many have we got? Let's get the housekeeping out of the way. There's a hundred available. Um, I've I've started Christmas shopping. I have, and I know it's only February, but I have because. <laughs> Saves me money. The long yes, I know, I know. I'm only being mean because I'm, I'm envious that you're that. But how nice. lovely. Yes, it'd be perfect. But you know what? Even and if I know they don't make it people, to Christmas, they yeah. might be a gift. Yeah. Just because gift, a yeah. birthday gift or something like that. I, what I mean is I'm buying gifts. Um, how lovely would these be as gifts? How many of us know somebody that just needs that little bit, little show of emotion? I don't know, just a little gesture. Little palm stones like this. It doesn't have to be all of them. Could it be just one? I think these are going to absolutely fly. They're up next in Starby. Sorry, I just spilled my tea everywhere. It's all good. Sometimes, yeah, it's all good. Don't worry. Um, Claire, should we do a box? Yes. It's all right. It's sorted down. Don't worry. Just use the sleeve. Don't worry. All good. Should we do a box? Yeah, let's do a box. Let's do a box. We've got a hundred of these available. Um, I love them. I absolutely love them. They do come within this really beautiful little jewellery maker Hessian bag. So they come like so. But if you wanted to, 
I don't know, maybe you know someone that, like I said, is maybe having a little bit of a struggle at the moment, or maybe you just want to show a little gesture of emotion, a little, 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 little yeah. token to say you're my friend, or whatever it might be, whatever the meaning and the emotions behind. A heart does that, doesn't it? It doesn't have to be a finished piece of jewellery. Or maybe you're thinking, okay, because you said it to me the once upon a time, you're like, I, I felt like I needed a bit of courage, so I wore my, carne uh, my tiger's mm. eye. Yeah. I remember you saying yeah. that to me. Yeah. So maybe you know someone that needs give, just a little bit that. of courage. There we go, just a little card from me to you. Here's a little, do you know, do you see where I'm coming mm. from? But equally, there would be lovely components to your jewellery making as well. Yes, they would. They're a good size, aren't they, for either or. I'll tell you what, should we go on your overhead? Because then you can see them all. You can see them all at once. I'll put the little hessian bag. You might need to scooch it down a bit. There we go. Yeah. Look at all of these. How sweet oh, are they? Wow. How lovely are they? Have you got a favourite, Claire? Do you know, I keep sometimes this one, but then sometimes this one, but then I, that, I, that's amazing, isn't it? I like that one. But this one, yes, the colours are <laughs> wonderful, aren't they? They're all so beautiful, aren't they? Are you ready? Gorgeous. Let's open a box, Claire. Oh, OK. Let's open a box. Am I doing this one? Because I've had I've had all the responsibility for the boxes. Okay. This one. Let's do it. Are you making me do this because I told you off for ripping the boxes? They are quite hard to open, aren't they? Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've ripped a box Not as well. Anything. Oh no, Claire. There's no. There's not one in there. There isn't one. Do you want to do another one? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I could do another one. Should we do another one, Claire? You do it. You choose, because I wasn't very lucky either. Go on. Let's do it. I don't think you can do it without... Oh, no, no. Is there, is there one in there? Yes! You ready? Val15, so use that one-time code, that one-time discount code if you want to get hold of your chakra hearts. Oh, I didn't realise they were actually your chakra colours too. So, into including in this lovely selection, yes, that makes sense, there's seven hearts. Seven, and they're chakra colours. So you've got your um, red jasper, rose quartz, tiger's eye, clear quartz, lapis lazuli, amethyst and red onyx. I love them, I absolutely love them. Wow. You know, if you wanted to do Reiki, yeah, absolutely. Any kind of meditation, have a look for just one of the stones, you know, specific for Reiki. The prices are incredible, carved gemstones, absolutely. We're at £10 each. Look These are that. what, 28 by 20, uh, to, 20, to 32 millimetres, that is approximate as well. So you might not go with the whole uh, chakra thing. You, you know, might be interested, maybe not get behind it, maybe it's not your bag. Who, do you love hearts? Do you love gemstones? You can get behind it on that reason then. Sorry, Ross, what was that? You're going to half that price tag. Remember, one of you can use that discount code as well. What is it? Val15, fastest fingers first. One of you can use that. And I have seen people checking out as well. So hopefully one of you has used it. That's £5 per genuine gemstone heart. The clear quartz is absolutely... It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. When I came back from Tucson, and, and, and of course, you know, you, you, my youngster was like, Mummy, you'll bring me a present back, won't you? Yes, well, of course. And I was like, I can't come back from Tucson and not bring her a gemstone. I bought a little hearts like this. Did you? Yeah. And she loves them. She's I got them she a little dish yeah. in her bedroom. Um, I can't remember what I paid, but I don't think it was £5 per stone. It was a bit more than that. As well. We're not stopping there. We had a hundred of these available just before your masterclass. Again, we've, uh, Claire has taught you lots. Uh, uh, we've, we've done shows with things like your um, bezel amazing. strips and your yep. gallery wire. Yep. And netting as well you could do, couldn't you? Susie has a book on chakra, yes. absolutely. Yeah. I would put these just in a little dish. Gosh, I probably did spill my tea down me, didn't I? 
just leant forward and realised I've got a big wet patch. Um, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. But, yeah, you could literally just have those in a little dish, couldn't you? Um, Victoria, think I got the Val 15. Thank Yay. you, Jewelry Maker. Yay! Well done, Victoria. Brilliant. Congratulations, lovely. How amazing is that? And we're not even stopping at 34.99. Everybody pays the final low. No, not drills. They're little cabochons, aren't they? Yeah, they're proper little Love cabochons. It. Look at that. Oh. I'd give them individually as well, Ollie. I think that's a lovely mm. idea. It's thoughtful. It's really yeah. thoughtful. You know, if somebody's got an interview, maybe you give them that. You give them. Yeah. Well, read into the gemstones. So, tiger's eye is basically for courage, don't you? Um, then you've got amethyst. <laughs> Amethyst is, uh, um, I'm not very good with things like your chakra, but there's lots of meanings behind the gemstone. This is a powerful clip. Yes, it's quite yeah. powerful. I mean, look how lovely that is. Just put a little poem or something like that with it. Nice little gift card or something. I don't know. I, ju I just think heart's so meaningful. Simple gemstone. Um, clear quartz is that master healer, of yeah. course. So it magnifies all the other gemstones. My yeah. niece collects, as she calls them, crystals. So you mean gemstones? I don't know why she says crystals. You know, do you know when you like that? She says it, and I'm like, mm, gemstones, gemstones, <laughs> gemstones. But they call it crystals, I guess, in chakra. She would absolutely love these. Absolutely love them. They're beautiful, aren't they? We had a hundred. A minute clock, and we're not done. That, yeah, it must, it must be, um, I don't know, it must be a teen, uh, maybe it's a teenage thing, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Is. I, I call them gemstones. And technically they're not wrong, are they? Technically. Crystal forms, absolutely. But they are genuine gemstones. I, that's how I would personally describe them. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like lapis lazuli. Some people pronounce it like that, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Do they? Lapis lazuli. Yeah, that's how my niece... I've never heard That's that. how my, my niece pronounces it. Yeah, lapis, lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. But everyone's different. Alex the Mineral Man. Labradorite. What did I say? Lazuli. <laughs> what? what did I say? King, what did I say? Did I say two? <laughs> Michael's just saying, hang on a second, do you pronounce King Tut as King Toot? Did I? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even know I did that. 19.99, amazing, amazing, amazing. That's working That's out what, brilliant. a couple of pounds. How lovely is that, Claire? That's so beautiful. So pretty, isn't it? Toot. <laughs> <laughs> How much, sorry? 285 per gemstone heart how amazing two pound 85 though how lovely you know again you can buy i know you can buy chocolates and things like that can't you you can and you can get you know, sometimes birthday cards or cards can cost more than that as well can't they but a nice little gemstone in there how lovely how lovely or just have them in a little bowl mm. <laughs> Um, nice little bowl full of your gemstones. They're very tactile as well. You They're just gravitate really, to really them, don't tactile. you? Yeah. Loving these. 19.99. They do come in the jewelry make a little Hessian bag as well. Hello, Hilma, Liz. Hello to you, Kerry. Pam. I'm still chuckling about toot. <laughs> 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 Sorry, there's a little reel on Facebook, and it's a um, it's a, a French bulldog puppy. Uh, and he's obviously, apparently they're very flatulent for bull, French bulldog puppies. And, he's, and there's a voiceover that says, it wasn't a fart, more of a toot. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just in my head now. Um, amazing. Sharon, well done to you, Liz. Kerry, Pam, Yvette, hello to you, Gloria. Make a Nuala, hello to you, Ricky. Anne, hello to you, Kamar, and Shanice, but tell that Victoria. Uh, Devon, hello to you. Um, Miss Janet, Yvette, Gloria, I can't keep up with you. I really can't. Lovely. So would your girls have a favourite? Which ones would they choose each, do you reckon? Oh, I think Ellen would maybe go for the clear quartz, Lola probably the lapis. Yeah? Yeah. And which one would you go for? Oh, I think the, this one. I think this is 
And the clear courts. Yeah, that's the one I'm yeah, loving the amethyst. To. And don't yes. forget, didn't we have our inspiration? I know it was, a, it was a star, but we had that lovely inspiration on the Wall of Fame this morning as well, didn't we? Yeah. That I think, you know, you could do this. Hang on. But I thought the old lady dropped it in the ocean in the end. You could do that, couldn't you? <laughs> you could, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could, as Britney Spears said. It's like the heart of the ocean. How That's lovely. Really nice, isn't it? Then they are cabochons, so obviously you'll need to do your wire wrapping, etc. Okay, let's do one more heart, but it's not just any heart. This is uh, gorgeous, Dan. Can I have a blackboard, please? Um, this is, again, certified completely and utterly natural, and it is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. It is pure in every sense of the word. Um, five carats. The cutting is absolutely unbelievable. Wasn't this, thank you, lovely. Wasn't this one of our early birds, Ross? I'm amazed we've got any available. Has it been under lock and key ever since? I'm not surprised. The quality of this heart cutting is gorgeous. So you have, you have a style, what I call like a geometric heart, and then you have a stylized heart, you know, where it's kind of usually sometimes a little bit sort of asymmetrical. And then you've got a voluptuous heart. This one for me is that voluptuous heart mm. where you've got that really pronounced, beautiful curvature, amazingly carved. Type A grade, you know what the gemstone is. I mean, how beautiful, Claire, would this be? It is gorgeous. With your techniques. Absolutely lovely. Mm. Yeah, totally. That it's The symmetry is wonderful, isn't it? But it's really pronounced. Mm. Can you see that lovely curve? Beautifully, beautifully pronounced. Am I looking at lavender? Yeah. Imagine some oh, of yeah, your wire gorgeous work, wire yeah. work. Yeah. Lavender jade. Do you know, it's, the other night I, I was sat... I was on one of the days off, evenings off, so I wasn't prepping or anything like that. And Tom went, look at this. Some guy's just found a boulder. And it's looking... Did you see it? Um, and the guy, he paid something like £800,000 for a lot for a boulder of jade. And he, obviously they don't know what colour is inside. And they opened up and it was literally all lavender. <gasps> so worth millions upon millions upon oh, millions incredible. of pounds. And you could see his reaction. It was just really lovely. This is lavender. It's actually one of the rarest colours. Um, Roland Schlussel actually says that he believes red and lavender may overtake your imperial green in terms of the price point. Um, in terms of availability, it's far less available than imperial green. Um, it's never really been stockpiled. So, um, and yet with the sort of the new age, so the younger generation, particularly in um, in China, they're not looking for the greens. They want something a little bit different, if you like. And black's got the attention not a huge amount of black jadeite out there um, red jadeite got attention not a huge amount of red jadeite because that's on the skin um, lavender jadeite just so 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 rare this was once upon a time an early bird um, it's totally natural certified natural definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity again you can see that immediate lavender it's not look, it's not purple I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's a it's like an ultraviolet purple it's a soft it's a suggestion of, of a lavender colour at £99 we are not stopping it might fit in one of those uh, sort of those designs at this price we're under 20 but look at that look how beautiful that is under £20 isn't it do you think we're stopping there, Claire? That's crazy. It is mad. That would be lovely in a piece of jewellery. Absolutely beautiful. And so much rarer than diamonds. So much rarer. You know, I, I forget which PowerPoint it is, but where it talks about, you know, when you dream about gemstones, you know, the investments of gemstones, these legacies that you pass on to future generations, most of us, certainly we've been programmed, if you like, here in the West to, to, be, uh, to be all about the big five, the diamonds, the rubies, the emeralds, the sapphires. But what about those gemstones that are so rare, so, so rare, that you don't see them on every single high street, so, so rare that they can be the price of a, 
a, of a family car or even a home. We are looking at that gemstone. You know, we again, Dave literally shares with you as much from the market as he possibly can. Something like this over in Tucson wouldn't have been 20 quid. No way. He even said the other day, get it home, but don't, don't sell it. Keep hold of it. Now is not the time to sell your jadeite. Because if you sell it, yeah, if you sell it, sell it at a significant profit. Who, well, listen, we're not here to tell you what to do. It's entirely up to you. But just know that the market for jadeite has literally skyrocketed. 14 pounds and 99 pence. Again, how much, you know, why do we do this? How do we get hold of jadeite, natural jadeite for 14.99 for our audience? Uh, again, we are one of the largest buyers globally, internationally. And traders, when they, when they sell to us, we will buy the vast quantity of it all as well. So that's how we negotiate those deals. Literally over in Hong Kong, within this shop front window, how much, how much lavender jade do you see? Very, very, very little, if any at all. I think that's actually white. Very, very, very little. And they're definitely not 14 pounds and 99 pence. How amazing. How amazing, not a single lavender. Well done, well done. 14 99 going to leave that with you. Do not go anywhere, though, because we've got our lovely Claire's Masterclass. I'm excited about this. Beautiful pieces too, of jewellery, yeah, as too. always. Thank Keep you. on dialing through. Keep checking out. Well done, everybody. Back after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hello crafters and makers. We're excited to announce that Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker and Sewing Street will be attending the Creative Craft and Sewing for Pleasure event at the NEC from the 16th to the 19th of March. We'll have talks and live demonstrations from some of your favorite guests and presenters, special offers on selected products and of course, the popular Tombola with lots of amazing prizes to be won. You can also receive 40% off your ticket by using code CREATIVE40. We would love to see you all there. So come and say hi at stand number F01. Let's get our craft on with Creative Craft. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just want to give you the heads up about the 14th Valentine's Day. Coming up, the 12 o'clock kits are incredible and it's all about love. 
Don't miss it. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. I'm excited about this. I mean, so again, let's show you Claire's jewellery. There are 12 kits. That's a lot of kits. And I, what I don't want is for me to spend majority of the time literally talking about the kits and obviously then eating into Claire's demonstration. So what we're going to do, Claire, talk us through your jewellery. And then what I'm going to do is kit one, kit two, kit three. They're all available on the website. So we're going to do it really, really, really fast. 12 kits is actually too many, at, to be fair. Look, look at that, that, Claire. So this is, um, again, so this is where you'll get the component uh, and oh, and then it's what you do with it. Open? So you can either do uh, do nothing nothing with the pieces that you get or you can add into them, uh, solder with them. Um, so it's setting stones in different ways. Ooh. So, I mean, they, I'd say if you've never done any um, stone setting before, tab settings are a really, really great way of, um, of, of, of starting out. Yeah, to um, count and, then the, and then you've got the bracelets as well, which are insanely beautiful. So there's a, bit, a little bit of everything there. The necklace that you saw is actually... Um, it, so, again, so you can either have it like that, where you just... Um, you, all you're going to do is snip off two little links, but then it's also if you didn't snip the snip the links off, it would looks like the bracelet there. So you can see, oh. really, really versatile. Oh my Aren't goodness! Aren't they incredible? Look at those. And these are genuine gemstones. Every single yes, one of these pieces, absolutely. and of yeah. course, sterling yeah. silver. Yeah. So Claire, what I'll do then? We're just trying. To, we're trying to work out how to do this. If I race through the kits, yes, and then. So they are all available. Yeah. And then literally just take over. Yeah. You can cool. take a yeah, over. That's good. Shop ahead and have a little look on the website. So let's do it. The faster we do this together, the, the faster we can actually. Let's start with that bracelet, actually, because that are, makes sense. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the setting on the gemstones are incredible. The setting on them is incredible and really, really easy to use, especially for like a multi gem. But the slider bracelet on these is. Oh, gorgeous. Is, is stunning. Absolutely look, gorgeous. Look the, yeah, the, yeah. You can feel the weight, can't you? You really can. There's a uh, the, you've got that curve within the slider bracelet, so it's obviously going to crest the curve of the wrist itself. It's really difficult for me to show you this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go. You've got that. Look at that big gram weight yeah. that you're seeing here, and then you have five beautifully colour matched um, natural garnets. Look at how amazing. I mean, we talk about romance. I think I think this is the gemstone of, of romance yes. and love and passion, all those things. I mean, again, big investment of sterling silver, three carats, 7.69 grams in this piece of jewellery. Wow. Think, you, you can tell, you can tell. It's got a, um, I like, I love all our slider bracelets, but I'd say this is a, it's a step up. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. I mean, look at that. And is that difficult or hard to actually set no, into those it, stones? No, it's not. So again, with this one, so what I'd say is when I worked with them, and um, because don't be put off thinking there's, there's loads of stones there. Just start in the middle and then and then work. Okay. Work out. Right. You know, because you've got you, you, it's, um, you've got good access then to that centre <gasps> stone. Claire, thirty nine ninety nine. That's amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. That's amazing for the garnets. Without that, all that what's that? All that sterling silver. Um, not even stopping, it looks like a pip. Um, really? Not even stopping there? I think that, I mean, that's, I think that's really, really good for even if you've just got um, the slider part. 
or the setting. You know, yeah. you look in other places. That would be hundreds, hundreds and hundreds. Well, I tell you what, let's give you a discount on the slider and all the gemstones for free. How good is that? If you want the yellow oh, version, we'll do that next. The yellow, by the way, is some really beautiful salon peach garnet. Mm. Amazing, absolutely amazing. 29, we shouldn't be able to get a piece of jewelry like this for 29.99. No. That's, that's amazing, over seven grams of sterling silver. Absolutely incredible, a full parcel of your beautiful Mozambique garnet, which are just color match to perfection. 29.99, how many do I have of these then, Roscoe? 50, Tracy, Maker, Pauline, Nuala, Maker, Claire, Tracy, Jackie, you're all there straight away, you're on this, well done, lovelies. Um, make sure you do check out your baskets. If you want, can you pass me that little, um, no, those bracelets? Yes, yeah. of course, yeah. And then you can, I can show the one that's that's coming up straight after. Um, amount, isn't it? Look at all that. Look how beautiful. 29.99 how amazing we're going to be bringing you um literally mm. the, the other the peachy garnet in a few moments wow what a great price says elizabeth totally agree yeah. with you elizabeth 29.99 hello to you jalanta hello to you pauline lancashire vivian i can see you all there we're going to be quite fast running through um, all of your kits so I can bring... I can't believe there's 12. There's 12 different kits to bring you. Um, okay, let's do the next bracelet. That makes sense. Keep on dialing through. You can see the setting. You can see that beautiful design. There's your beautiful... It's a pack of three. And then those. Oh, and you get those. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Claire. Yeah. I was a bit confused then for a second. Could you tell? So you do get five. There we are. And they're so, so, so bad, pretty. Course. So you're actually getting one extra, is that right? No, no, no. No, no, you do get five. Yeah, one's a pack of two, one's a pack of five. Yeah, so you do get, yeah. And they're natural as well. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to do it in one price crash. 12, 12 kits. 12 kits. <laughs> it's a lot of kits. It is, isn't it? 39.99 now these are salon garnet so very rare beautiful it's kind of, it's, it's a little patrachesque i suppose mm. um in their parents you maybe nice mixing and matching as well wouldn't it what with the red the yeah that'd yeah. be a nice idea yeah just peachy this kit's called amazing uh 39.99 because you're getting the two parcels you've got the two certificates and again over seven grams of sterling silver within that lovely bracelet as well 39.99 again i mean outside of these four walls i'm sure you'll see pieces of, of jewelry like this for literally hundreds of pounds even our sister channel i don't think can do that mm. I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be curious to know what our sister channel would retail something like this. I doubt it's going to be 30-odd quid. Um, okay, let's move on. Okay, Claire, which one next? So maybe maybe these ones, the, the ones with the um, so the tab setting. Oh, yeah. Oh, that beautiful necklace. Yeah. Let's pass yeah. them back if you bring the piece of jewellery to me. So I love tab setting. Even I can do tab setting. Tab setting is, is, is brilliant. So like I say, if, if maybe you haven't um, done any gem setting before, this is a great way to, to start. And, and, you know, I've snipped off the, um, the connectors. You know, you can just, you could put that in a slider bracelet, couldn't you? Yeah, um, it's lovely. Yeah, attached chain to the end. The, the the gemstone and the setting it's what you'll get is if you look at the side of the of the setting there are um some little tabs and you just push those over just the there the, you can yeah, just about see it back of the stone and it holds them in place and you can just use your chain nose pliers to do that taking care you know of the angle that you go at and that's it a brilliant yeah it's it. it's basically if i take it off here you can you might just about see yeah, there we go. As Claire showed, under modification, you might be able to grab it then. Can you see it there? Those little tabs fold into the pavilion, and that's what stops it falling out. I love this, Claire. That's absolutely it's beautiful. Stunning, isn't it? But I mean, look at the stone as well. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. No, these are tab ones, so they are. They literally kind of they kind of hold support the bottom of the pavilion. Mm. Really beautiful. Look at that. Forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence, and of course that is sterling silver. Um, yeah, you can keep it as a connector, as Claire was saying. But it's nice to have have both. That's what I love with all of these settings. It's up to you what you do with them, isn't it? You leave them as they are, or or you add or take away. Oh. Ross, 
That's incredible. Do you know what? Just, if you, do you know what I loved about that then, Claire? Completely silent with that price drop, wasn't he? Just completely he was, silent. Yeah. He was. A bit sneaky, really. That's the price of the stone, did you say, Ross? No, it should be more than that, surely. It's a honeycomb. So you've got almost like a, um, a little bit like the concave cut. It's like this wonderful, it's like, a, I don't know, a, a pavilion of mirrors. Yes, it is. I mean, it's, it's absolutely, when you look at it closely, and I think that setting works really, really well with it as well. It, you, you don't want anything too fussy with this one. That's why I just left it very, very plain. And the beauty with these, the tab settings like that is, you know, the majority of the chains that you've got, you don't need to do a bail or anything else because it, it'll just, you just slide your chain in through the back of the stone. Oh, lots gorgeous. Of Keep dialing through, Claire. I've just realised, here's us getting all excited about this. We've literally got 12 <laughs> kits to get through. So sorry. Um, right, yeah. And it is busy, busy, busy today. We need to pick up the pace, don't we? Let's move on to the next one. So same, um, same oh, principles here. Oh, beautiful. Different. Love that. We've got a big quantity of these. Look at that. Look at how high clean that beautiful uh, sky blue topaz is. And that's eight millimetres. Then you've got the matching um, earrings in blue topaz. And then you've also got some lovely additions of your Rose de France. How fabulous. Plus, this is sterling silver. So that's all you need to do. You should put that on that. And you've got some extra stones to go alongside. At twenty nine ninety nine. What are you doing? Do you want these under 20, says Ross? That's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. And if you've got, you know, the, the smaller ones, if you're happy to make settings yourself, you can do that. But also with your lockets, they could go, they'd be beautiful in there. They're a nice size for that. 14 99 I know, it's madness, isn't it? Absolute madness. And again, with that one, the same, you know, you could pop a chain through. You know, when we, th when we, th when we thought about things like the, the you know, the, the tourmaline parcel earlier on, you know, which were amazing, beautiful cuttings. This is like a specialist cut. You know, it's... It, and the setting. And the setting as well. Fourteen ninety nine. If you If you got... Yeah, Clay, your bee charm yesterday, uh, that would go... Yeah, it'd be nice. It would, it would sit, yeah, on, just on top, wouldn't it? Yeah, just that little one. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Victoria, Ronald, Brendan, Karen, uh, Elizabeth, Jan, Pauline, Anne, Donna, Rose de France, Sky Blue Topaz. Gorgeous. I'm blown away by that price tag. You know, I, I, I definitely, definitely, yeah, exactly a pair at 14 99 would be absolutely amazing. Mm. And that's the amethyst, possibly. You know, Sky Blue Topaz you don't see for under 20 quid, do you? Amazing. Make sure you're checking out. I've got a lot of kits to get through, so hence why I'm going quite fast, because I want to, obviously, Claire to have the time that she needs. Um, oh, if you love that, is that the right one? Um, I, don't know. I didn't get that one. I'll come back to that um, one, because I'm not sure. Let's go back to that. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. Oh, yeah. Love this one. So I've got citrine in that beautiful honeycomb cut. Oh. So again, that's, you can. Honeycomb um, cuts, unbelievable. It's amazing, isn't it? So again, you can see there, so that's what same setting as the one we had before, but this time you can, you know, I've left the, um, I've left the uh, little loops on. And so oh. that's, in, that's in, a, in a bracelet there. Oh my goodness Gorgeous, me. Gorgeous, aren't they? I mean, at those at those prices, can you imagine if you if you multi bought a, a mix and had a long line chain? So just put your sterling silver chain in between. Maybe had three or five of the um, oh, like the um, like a like, like an Alhambra yeah. style. Yeah, yeah, that would be beautiful. Gorgeous. Can you believe these are nineteen ninety nine? I love that card. You know, at the beginning of any Star Wars film, you know, when they're travelling mm. at light speed. Yeah, at light speed. That's what I see. You could almost the coolie is literally that light speed and yeah get up close and you can see the actual hexagon cut how amazing are these Anne, well done jamati karen lorna lincolnshire victoria olga claire fiona kath tons of you getting involved i mean claire's made this into the bracelet to show you obviously that these um do come with the actual bales as you can see but also if i bring your sky blue topaz version maybe you would prefer to wear this in a necklace, then you just cut them away. 
Or, and, and one, you just cut one. Say so you maybe want to have, um, you know, can you imagine that incredible pearl that we had earlier oh, that yeah. sort of hanging from that? You might want something like that. So having the connectors there are really useful. Yes, you just need to file it and just and then buff it back up. But it gives you the options, doesn't it, of, of what you want to do with it? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm loving these. And again, 19 99 mm. that's mind-blowing, isn't it? How good. Um, OK, let's move on again. Just, ooh, because of, uh, hang on a minute. Shall we do, which one next? You tell me, Claire. Uh, oh, they're all lovely. They um, are. Th those are beautiful. Okay, uh, swap these. Yeah. Let's yeah. do that then. Put that one there, put that one there. So oh, one. You, oh so again, this is where you can see, so you can just, you can use, so a d different setting um, now. Love these. So you, it's, it's sort of just like your prong setting that I'll show you how to do as well. And then taking it, um, and making your own ring shank and then and then you work work with it like that so you solder those on um and i had no problem soldering i've hand polished these so i haven't put them in the tumbler because of the the stones that are already in there but i've had no problem look soldering the them those stones. absolutely beautiful look at the quality of those stones it's really art deco isn't it yeah stunning absolutely stunning i mean um, these are these are sky blue topaz, but they also look like the finest grade aquamarine, don't they? 19.99. 50 chances of these in your lovely emerald cut. Or We've described them as baguette cut. I look at these more like emerald cuts than baguettes. No. Nine ninety nine. So that's adding it in. I mean, what, uh, like a, a couple of pounds worth of... Sterling silver? Yeah, I mean, five pound of stone and all that sterling silver for free. That's pretty mega, isn't it? We only had 50 of them, then they are flying out the door. We've got 12 kits to get through. So yeah, but it's a good job we're working, we're working to de uh, together here. I mean, these prices are massively helping them, fly, uh, them flying out. We shouldn't be able to source genuine gemstones like this. <laughs> and under £10, it's amazing that we can. Um, well done, everybody. And, and, and Claire, I remember you coming up with that idea of taking, like, one setting and kind of transforming it. Mm, I, yeah, it's a, and again, there's nothing to stop you from doing this. And then if you, I know it's a different stone, but taking the same, and if you wanted to have it, as so like this one here, mm. where you do... Um, you put a, a bale at the top. So that's just like a soldering a jump ring um, to the top there. So, you know, there's so many different ways or with that ring that you have it portrait instead of landscape. I like that. I like the fact that you decided to do it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Should we do the turquoise? Oh, Egyptian turquoise. Did you get this one? Uh, no. Oh, here no. we go. Now you are getting four beautiful certified Egyptian turquoise. Let me move some of these out of the way. I'm making a right mess, aren't I? Um, Egyptian turquoise cabochons. You get one of the same settings that Claire, you, we were just yes, describing, yeah, but slightly yeah, bigger. Yeah. And it is calibrated, so it will fit your Egyptian turquoise as well. You're getting three additional, three spare. That's fabulous, isn't it? Nine by seven is a, is obviously a calibration um, of of stone, so you can get mounts and uh, shanks and things like that um, on a separate occasion. They may well even be on our website. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence only comes with the certificate. So here we go. Let me just show you that. There it is. So it comes within that certificate as well. Have I got many of these? Okay, we've got 60, but straight away. And this is the only kit we actually have um, with turquoise. £14.99. pence. Amazing. Um, purely because we've got so many kits to squeeze in this hour, we're lowering the prices even more. £12.99. It is ridiculous, I agree. I mean... If you were just buying the stones on their own at twelve ninety nine, it just mm. well, it wouldn't happen mm. to be truthful, will it? Would it? And that can potentially be four high end pieces of jewellery. Absolutely, yeah. Twelve ninety nine. Hello to you all. Well done. Good afternoon, Beatrice, Nori, Nuala. Hello to you, Francis, Caroline, Monica, Linda. And there were sixty of these, but again, they're absolutely flying out the door. I've got, I believe, if I've if my maths, maths is right, I've got four left. Oh, five left. Five left, I think, if my maths is correct. 
You've got seven. All right, we really do need to pick up the pace then, don't we? Amazing, 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 amazing. Seven kits still to go. This one is lovely. Okay. I do like that, that Mario like this. I, oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Oh, Look at that. Look at that. that. It's, it's stunning, isn't wow. it? Wow. Oh, it suits you, that gemstone, Claire. That is beautiful. So this is... Uh, um, beautiful, isn't it? Mariah Light or Mar yeah, Maria Light, whichever way you pronounce it. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Very fiery. Mm -hmm. If you're a big fan of Sphene, you'll like this gemstone. Uh, yeah, Mariah Light. Really pretty. Do you want to pop your hand just here? <laughs> just because that piece of jewellery is so lovely, Claire. We need to see it. 12.99. That's amazing, isn't it? And that's that. So, yeah. Brilliant. It's a cushion cut as well. Cushions are, you know, they are expensive, aren't they? They almost have it's, that. It's like a vintage feel, I think. Yeah, I agree. Gorgeous stone. I like this kit. It, uh, amazing. A beautiful gemstone. Again, if you're thinking yeah. I've not heard of uh, Mariah Light, it is very, very rare. It's really lovely. If you're a fan of Sphene, you'll like this gemstone. Um, this, this setting will actually really... Um, um, compliment Mario Light because it is quite a soft stone so you do have to be quite mindful of it but this setting I think is going to protect it really beautifully mm. so because you have got that full halo design 12.99 only again if you love sort of golden tones with a, I think a slight undertone of a green there's a definite greenish presence but again full of fire um, within absolutely pretty it's so pretty well done 12.99 that's lovely Claire absolutely beautiful thank you um, which one next Shall we go with Canary Kunzai? Oh, lovely. Are you sure you didn't have this one? No, I didn't get that one. The Canary Kunzai is actually rarer than Pink Kunzai. It's rarer. No. Um, no, because so Hidden Nights are barrel. couldn't you? You could do the same. Kunzai's a spodumene, isn't it? So, although they do have similarities, I think, in terms of their appearance. Uh, it's so pretty. Um, so, yeah, rarer than pink, uh, than pink Kunzai. You get this really beautiful, almost like a champagne colour. I don't expect it to be literally, like, canary yellow. Um, it's lovely. Yeah, it's not, it, it, it isn't like a canary yellow. It is a very soft, delicate, um, I always describe it as like a champagne tone. Beautiful octagon cut, and you've got the matching. See if I can get that to. There we go. Um, the mat, matching mount as well. So the same techniques, Claire. Absolutely, yeah. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Really pretty. Super, super pretty. I wonder if I can actually imagine it in there. Yeah, a little bit of gemstone setting. Lovely. Um, I'll leave that one with you. Congratulations. Uh, shall we do the Malawi? Let's do the Malawi. Got on it. Here we go. This one's slightly more curved. Malawi garnet, I love it. It's um, one of the most intense colours of garnets out there. Hang on. I think that might be the one I'm demoing with, so you can oh, see. Oh, is it? I think so, yeah. I'll yes. just sort of show you. There. Oh, sorry. I haven't set it yet. Oh, uh, I love the colour of Malawi garnet. It's as close to being like a ruby colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, really beautiful. It's got that wonderful, wonderful hot pink. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to dive straight into the demonstration and then we can literally cue um, all the kits as and when Claire does. So now we've actually got a sort of reasonable quantity okay. remaining. If you need me to bring them, just uh, give me a holler. So, okay. um, so, so you're going to show, you're going to demonstrate with this Malawi that yes, we've, uh, I am. That yeah. we've shown. So I'm going to show you um, at the stages and how, and how to set it up as well. So the first thing that you'd want to do is obviously we've got the setting. So if we look at the components that we've got, have the stones uh, and the setting uh, and then I've added in um, some sterling silver wire from my stash and that's what we make a, a ring shank with um, and then we're going to solder the, uh, the setting uh, on there so that you get something like that. So you can see this one, it's pretty much the same but I've just done, um, I've used two and then um, soldered at the back so I can talk through that one as well. But essentially the same, the same type of um, thing. So the first thing you would do is I'm going to um, uh, make um, 
make the ring itself. So like a plain stacker ring. So you'd be looking at um, standard things when you're making um, stacker rings. So thinking about our soldering, we want to get a really, really neat join. So something like that would, we can already see that there's a little bit of a gap there. They're not particularly well um, lined up. So you would just go in and you're just gonna take off tiny bits to make sure that it is that it lines up really well. And I'm not going to I don't think I'm going to I'm going to not going to do soldering. I prefer to show you how to then set it up. So but if I bring it over here and I can show you the different stages mm -hmm. of, of the soldering because then we can go through um, each of them. So this would be the first layer of, of soldering that I would do. So if we think about it, um, I'm going to use um, we, we need to solder the ring shank so that it's closed and then we're going to solder um, we're then going to solder the setting onto it. So this first one needs to be with our hard solder. So thinking about um, what we want to do is we want that solder to um, join here so that we've got that complete ring shank. So the first one I'm going to use, I'm going to use a little piece of um, hard solder. It's quite a big piece just so that you can see it. I'm going to sandwich in between. So by sandwiching like that, I, I know that if we think what we want the solder to do, we want it to, it must be touching both sides, it needs to be quite even. And if we solder, if we sandwich it like that, we know that it's definitely it's touching this side and it's touching that side. Flux it and we everything that we would do normally if we had, obviously, so the other way would be if we look at it. So if I pop it down on here and then we're putting it on top like that. So by, by doing that sandwiching version, it just means that you would avoid, can you see it's very easy to just shift it yeah. so that it goes onto the one side. By sandwiching it, yes, it's a little bit fiddlier, um, but it means that you know that it's definitely touching and you have less cleaning up afterwards. So that would be my first, that's gonna be the first way I would solder and that would be with my hard solder. So that's at the, um, you know, the, highest, the highest temperature. I'd then get that, um, clean everything up, which should end up something um, like this. So we know we've got a full, a full band. We know that it's, um, it's the right size. You can then uh, clean it up, flatten it, do everything that you need to. Um, but we've got um, like a, a, almost like a, you know, it's like a, st a standard stacking ring. So this is where we then start to work with the, uh, the setting itself. So what we're looking for with something like this, whether you're gonna work and have it so that it's going, um, if you wanted to go landscape or, or portrait, entirely up to you. So it's now looking at how we then set up on our, on our block. So if we have a look here, so I'm gonna work out and do a couple of, let's put a couple of lines in. So if we look at how, if we say we've got, so it's looking at about 10, 10 millimeters, so about, a centimeter so I'm just going to put a little dot halfway and I'm going to do the same on this side so again I'm just gonna and you can take longer than this but you get the idea so we want to mark out where that is there so about the half halfway point so then what we're going to do is going to take the time just to set set it up and you're going to use your, so I'm just going to bring it actually, I'll bring it that way around. So if I try and get it so that we can see. So now what's really important is we want to be looking at, and I am going to use the, the piece that's, that is soldered, I'm going to have that coming down here. Now, if I can try and get it in what, what we're what we're looking to do we don't want to have too much of the um the ring in in the in the holder here because what's going to happen this this um third hand will it will steal the heat and sometimes that can work in our favor so if we think about the um the piece with the the bail the small jump ring that can be really really useful so that small small jump ring is going to potentially melt uh, much sooner than the the setting itself. So sometimes if you you use that um, that heat sink, it ca it can actually help you. But this one, I don't want too much in there because it's quite a big setting I'm going to work with. So you can already see if I did it like that, it's completely um, 
it, you know, it's, that's not positioned well. So you are looking at it from all angles here. So like I say, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to solder. I'm just going to talk you through because this is, the soldering part, you see lots of demonstrations. This is, it's about how you're sort of setting up here and taking the time to not barge it. Um, but so I'm looking at, I want to get it over that Sharpie. And if you need to, you could also put, because what will happen is it can look very, very similar and just bright silver. So I can already see, I'm going to, that's where my solder, it, solder join is. I'm going to pop that there. And you're going to take the time to position and have this here. So let's have a look. We can see. So I'd be going, sitting uh, like that. And then I would also, I don't know if you could, so I'd be looking from the top as well. So I'd be getting my head over the top. So I'm going to go over the top. So I'm going to look like that. So you're looking all around the piece to get it um, as neat and as straight as you can. And that's why putting those lines um, can really help you with the, the Sharpie marker. Obviously, all of that will, um, will burn off. But you just really, really want to pay attention to how straight it's going to um, sit. Then what you're going to do is you can either, depending on how comfortable you feel, whether you're going to put your uh, pallions of silver, obviously flux everything and um, get it in, and whether you're going to get them and try and get it where. So if you look, if you can see from the front again, you can see the, the slight areas where it's touching. Just remember, we need silver to touch silver. So it's the ring shank of where it's touching on the side. You can file um, little grooves into the ring shank if you wanted to. Um, uh, so that it fits really well, but you've got a lot of area that does touch here, or you can use your um, your sterling sil uh, sorry your solder paste. So now we, we know we've done a hard solder here, so I'm going to use um, an easy uh, drop down uh, there. So I just popped a little blob of the paste underneath each side, heat it all the way around, get lots of heat in the shank, a little bit in the tweezers into the setting and that will then join uh, the two together. And it shouldn't interrupt the first lot of soldering that we've done because that's the hard solder. So you do all of that, get everything neat and tidy. I'm just gonna move this out of the way now. Mm -hmm. Move that out of the way. Which then gives us, so if I bring this in now, that gives us something that's gonna look a little bit like this but if you think about it what we've done is we've got a complete ring shank before and you can you so you can see here that um i've taken the bit away so I if i turn it over yeah so i'd solder it all the way um all the way around but then for the stone to to go in you don't have to it depends on the depth of the stone as well you can see so i've just gone in and i've snipped off so I've gone in with my flush cutters and snipped off the bit that's there and then yeah. you just solder down and you can see how that then sits there which means that then when I come to pop my stone in and again you would take your time with this let's pop that in so you can see all the way around the back as well uh, let's bring that round Do you know what it is? Uh, Ross, I haven't asked, that's why. It's my fault. No. Did we? No, I don't think I did. Text in your answers about the hearts. No, I haven't said. I definitely haven't said. It's not, it's not. Uh, yeah, that's my fault. Text in your answers about the hearts. Sorry, totally forgot to ask. Remember to put your name and your customer number on there and your answer, of course. Um, yeah, text in ASAP, and if I'll give you a few clues if anyone doesn't look like they're getting there. Okay. Customer number is really important as well, so make sure you do te uh, text that, include that. Sorry, Claire. That's all right. So all you're doing, and you, obviously you, you probably put it in your um, uh, into the, uh, the clamp if you wanted to, and then, so you've got your stone in, and you can just go in and set your stone, whether you prefer to do it with your pliers or your prong pusher so I'm just setting both of these but hopefully that has shown you each stage of the process of, of working with the so you're making your ring shank 
and you've seen that. lots of demonstrations about prong setting so i'm just going to do this very quickly so you can see i mean look at that stone ah oh, claire i mean what a collection that's so beautiful look at that yeah absolutely amazing and you totally yeah that kind of tessellated stacker style look how nice isn't it so you know whether you um you you know make them individually and then um i mean look at that so i mean you could make um yeah have we totted up the kits for for, for that finger basically have we it's not a huge amount, is it? I'm going to say probably less than fifty pounds. Which is crazy, isn't it? Less than fifty pounds yeah. for all of those. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? And we've still got a few more kits to bring you. Keep those messages coming in. How many hearts did you see throughout the course of the show? Remember, we need your answer. Was it? Um, make sure you put your name and your customer number as well. Okay. So we've had a couple in. Keep texting. Keep texting. Um, should we open another box? Let's do that. Let's do this one. There is only one code left. Oh, no. So I hope I get the pick it up then. Here, yeah, don't rip the box. Don't rip the box. Hang on. Hang on a minute. <laughs> it is in it. I got the code. <laughs> yes! So there, are you sure there's none in there? I can't believe it. There's none in there. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> um, right then. Okay. Ready for this? Oh, it's a Ooh. different code. There we are. We just wanted to make it right, Val, N, time, 10. There you go. First, oh, it's a one-time discount, discount code as well. Um, okay, let's do this alongside the gooseberry gracile garnet. I love this stone. You've it's definitely incredible, made this, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. So beautiful. Yeah, that one there. Um, the, the gooseberry bit is quite confusing. I do get that. Quite confusing. And you'd expect it to be green, wouldn't you? But it's not. It's this really lovely, yeah, orangey One red. It's like a there. fire opal. That's yeah. what I always think. It looks very similar to a fire opal. Yeah. Um, so you've got the calibrated mount to go alongside it. Your gooseberry grossula garnet, also a mouthful, um, um, is totally natural. It's certified as well. Natural is a lovely eight by six millimeter cushion cut. So um really pretty i like this one i'd be getting involved on this one it's really sweet and again you can use the same techniques claire as what you just demonstrated yeah. yeah yeah you could natural grossula garnet look at that it's like a it is fiery isn't it absolutely beautiful remember you've got that one-time discount code first come first serve valentine 10 keep those answers coming in remember to put your name and your customer one correct answer will be selected at random. At random, and we'll announce that at the end of the show. Yeah, we'll announce at the end of the show as well. Twelve ninety nine, Claire. It's incredible, isn't it? It is amazing. I really like this one. I think it's one of my favourite stones it's a out of the whole. Glow, there. isn't it? A yeah. Really, really lovely glow. And we're probably looking at it in its worst possible light. When you actually see this out in natural sunlight, yeah, it's it, it's almost fiery, isn't it? I don't get a description. I don't. I'm sure there is a reason why it's called a gooseberry grossula garnet. Mm. I get grossula because that's a type, isn't it? It's a type of garnet. But why gooseberry? I don't know. It doesn't look like a gooseberry. No. Or Green, does it? it? No, yeah. yeah. I don't mm. know. It's pretty though, all the same. Make sure you check out twelve ninety nine. Amazing, absolutely beautiful. Um, and again, same techniques as what Claire was showing you. You could do these. You could turn them into beautiful. Um, <laughs> um, beautiful solitaires or pendants, whichever it might be. Well done. How many did I have then uh, of those? Only thirty. That one is quite limited. Amazing. Um, okay, let's do. Oh, let's do do the uh, tocantin. Tocantin. It's lovely. Again, same mount as the one you had with your gooseberry. Gooseberry. Gosh, you garnet. <laughs> it's difficult to say. <gasps> oh, wow. I love garnets. It's my, one of my favourite oh, gemstones. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Ready? Mm. Look at that for a stone. Seriously, Tocantin, it's beautiful and that's natural. This is as close to being a purple hybrid garnet as, yeah, as, uh, as, as I've ever seen. It's a natural 
large stone, beautiful cushion cut, which means you almost got that hourglass uh, faceting in the centre. Look at that colour. It's all Mother Nature's doing. It's I love gorgeous, this. Did you add yeah. this one? Um, I don't know that I did. I don't... I bet you wished you had this one. Yes. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? £14.99. pence. Looks like the same, same stone, maybe, but maybe different setting. Maybe. Maybe. It's beautiful, though, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Yeah. 14 99 Well done. Oh, no, Claire. That's right. I've got the wrong mount. Hang on. Can I go back to the specifications? Let me double check that. Because it says tab. It must be, I must have the wrong setting. Can we, that, you, that is right then, Claire. So you get this mount. I beg your pardon. You get, yeah. I love that. I think that's perfect for this, uh, for this gemstone. Nice, so that's a tab setting. Yes. Yeah, so, um, that one is the same as the, um, the, so you know, the sky ones. Blue. That, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think I prefer it actually in that setting because A, it's easier to set. It looks lovely, yeah. It looks lovely because mm. it's really simple. It's all about that wonderful natural gemstone. London, Susan, Janice, Claire, Kath, Maker in Bristol, one and two, Jean, Rosemary, Geraldine, Norma, Kim, Elizabeth, Christine, Christine, uh, Christina, sorry. Um, you've got last couple of minutes now to get your answers in. Have we got any right, right answers? Yes, we've had a few right answers. Um, basically, um, they, the winner will be chosen, selected at random, and we will announce it just before we duck out of today's show. Helen, well done to you. Lincolnshire, well done to you. Suzanne, well done to you. Um, I, th I should only have one more kit now, Ross, but I'm not sure if it's right because I've got these. But what's the mount you've got? tab okay but i don't have a hexagonal tab setting sterling silver back setting mm. i don't know if this is right i didn't have this one no i'm not sure this is right um, but, I mean, seriously, I'd be dialing anyway for those. Look how beautiful they are. Exactly. It's absolutely yeah. amazing. That citrine is so beautiful. You could literally just use a round mount, couldn't you? Gorgeous. Um, could just use a... Ah, there we go. Hang on. That makes sense. Now, Dan's just passed this to me. I don't think it is... I've, I had a circular, which is why I was questioning it. There you go. That's right. That's right. Here we go. Got it right. Now, that makes sense. We might have the wrong picture on um, the website, so this is actually what you're going to be getting. Uh, 19 .99, how amazing. So again, literally just little tabs. If I put this on its side, go on. I've, oh, my nails now. Can you see there's the little tabs there, Claire? And that's all you do, isn't it? Yeah, just push in. Pokes them underneath. Sometimes what you might have to do when you've got a shape like that and so there's more angles, um, if you get, um, sometimes they just push in, but otherwise if you've just got like your needle file or, you know, even if you don't have needle files, and you know from the original toolkit. Mm. And the, oh, the um, trusty reamer. Yeah, you just go in and you can just take little bits off the, um, uh, the angles in there, obviously of the setting, not the stone, um, until, it, until it sits in. There you go. Amazing, absolutely amazing. No, I've only got this, this one. Oh, yes, there is. There is. He's on it, is our lovely Dan. Here we go. Right, here we go. Last but by no means least. Whew, it's a lot of kits, wasn't it? That was a lot of kits, oh, Claire. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. Simple rubbed over setting. And that's with, everything, isn't it? In there, yeah. Yeah, love that. And again, is that tab setting? Yes. Um, and it's got the pendant actually attached to it. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color. Let me pick it up with a pair of tweezers so you can appreciate. Um, amazing color. Had such gorgeous gemstones, haven't we? Today? Really have. Yeah. That's lovely. And again, all you need to do is the same technique with, as with your other tab settings. What, drop it in and then just gently coax yeah, those tabs yeah, over. Yeah. All that precious metal, these are proving to be popular on the call screens. Mm. I don't blame you. I've not seen a tab setting which has the bale attached to it. No. Oh, that's brilliant. How have we done that? 
have you seen one of these before? No. For four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Uh, okay. So tempted to multiply with that for and look at other um, stones that you've got that would go in. There. Yeah. Okay. Well, you just drop it into place and then obviously set it. Amazing. Um, now the winner of 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 count the hearts is Joe in Cornwall. Congratulations! Yay! And the correct answer was ten. Amazing. Well done to you, Joe. Congratulations. So, what does Joe get? What does Joe get? Oh yeah. A goodie bag, Joe. We're going to be sending you a goodie bag, my lovely. You lovely. don't need to do anything. We'll be doing exactly the same tomorrow because it is actually Valentine's Day uh, tomorrow. So count the hearts. More amazing uh, one-time oh. discount codes as well. Claire, we love you. Oh, I love you um, too. Full of love today. Full of love. Yeah. A nice little heart, love heart jumper and everything. When are you back with us? Uh, Friday. Friday? Yeah. With me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be nice. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Well, it's not Valentine's Day until tomorrow, but happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day Eve. Eve. There you go. Yes. How lovely. <laughs> that will be a thing now, you watch. Yeah. You watch like, like yeah. Christmas Eve boxes. Yeah. Valentine's Day Eve. Yes. Every day should be the day of love. Um, make sure you do check out. Amazing. Hey, stop it, Michael. Just because you're not romantic. <laughs> Oh, you just gagged. You just literally gagged at my statement. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Have a lovely afternoon again. Make sure you check out your baskets. The last kit, by the way, absolutely flying out the door. We'll see you soon. Take care. Lots of love.